I just was like, yeah, you're you, Ben. Just like it. <laughs> um, mm. Alrighty then. Live we are. So, oh, what are we go on, tell you a little lamb story, Mel. What was what yeah, we so saying? I mean, it better be you a story, are the lamb. A great ending. It's... No, I, 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 I just went offline myself. Muller is the lamb. Because I, I just, I just said I did a, I did an EFAP waiting lobby. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, I just uh, played played Color to Lamb for for like a couple of hours. It's pretty fun. You 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 have to start a, a cult for some some evil being. Oh neat. Because you're the you you you're like the last one. The other the 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 gods of old want to kill, and then they try to kill you. But this this being's like, ha. Ah, you're now mine, and I'll keep you alive. And for that, you need to start a cult in my name. I was like, okie dokie. It's not I'm on too it. evil, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Do they make it's you sacrifice like, yeah. animals and stuff? No, n not animals, but I... I, I but people? I already sacrificed... I sacrificed one of my followers already. Uh, oh, yes, no. I did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I started naming people from my chat. Uh, oh. one, one of the people at, uh, were like, hey, don't judge me, but I always wanted to eat poop. Can you prepare some poop soup for me? I was like, sure. Um, if you're going to get rid of a, a cultist, you probably want to get rid of the poop eaten one. Yeah, that one is, is the one I sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> That'll prevent a lot of issues. Well, the, well, the, the gods road. really appreciate that. <laughs> like, oh, you gave us I that mean, guy. that god told me, it's like, hey, by the way, if you want more power, you just sacrifice some of the followers. <laughs> sacrifice um, the good ones and you right. get more power. The poop eaten ones get you like an extra day of sunlight over the year. Yeah. Oh, guess. that's the strategy. They're like, oh, they're sacrificing people tomorrow? Uh, I better start eating poop. Then they'll want to start I won't eating give poop. You power. <laughs> oh man, you wouldn't want to sacrifice me. I'm the poop eater. You know, I, yeah, I'm the, I'm the poop eater. I, yeah, it's, it's, I'm pretty yeah. low They're like, prove it. You're like, oh, I do up. it. At the times. <laughs> I do it a lot though. <laughs> Trust yeah, me. Yeah, I, I started ages ago. Yeah. Matt, what what's your intestines think if you eat poop? And they're just like, what what the fuck is this? What? Didn't we just doing? send this out? What's what, going what is I, I, out? I, what are you doing? What's this? <laughs> what am I supposed backwards. to do with this? I already processed this. Why do you want me to do it again? Like you, this is very inefficient. Inefficient, Mel. Wow. Inefficient. Shut up. <laughs> like German uh, intestines. This is, this is, <laughs> Germans don't uh, know what. Germans don't know what inefficient is. That's true. Yeah, they're all about. <laughs> they literally don't know. Uh, just, uh, never, never heard of it. But yeah, it's basically uh, we have like a mix of uh, rogue light and base building. We have to build some 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 stuff and have to keep the followers fed. So when you go out to your little little maps like in Binding of Isaac that are generated, poop count to... as a f food resource. Uh, uh, sorry, say that again. Does poop count as a food resource? Can this increase uh, efficiency? No, but you can use this fertilizer. I mean, I guess you can make you can you can make poop soup. So I guess it counts as a food resource. I was about so, to say. Yeah, I guess you're right. Does the what does the poop soup have as like a nutrition value? I'd say if the crops uh, aren't that good a, this year, like it has a fifty percent chance of giving your follower diarrhea. So <laughs> it's just more poop. Is that ironic? It's or? just more poop. <laughs> you can make more poop soup. That is poop soup, really. You make, yeah. But then people can get sick, apparently. And, apparently. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's funny because they're like, man, we have to poop on the floor. Can you build an outhouse? It's like, sure. And I look, oh, I have to be a tier three cult to build a poop house. But I can build a demonic even... summoning circle first. So that's apparently more important <laughs> to the cult. If you were to ask me to build one of those two things, if you said rags, I need you to build either a demonic summoning circle or an outhouse, I would feel more confident that I could complete the outhouse. Probably, the yeah. I'd go with the poop soup. That sounds like something like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poop and I don't water, think I, I guess. do that. I couldn't bring myself to make... I couldn't bring myself to make... Well, not water. What a but I don't think I can bring myself to make poop soup. So yeah, until I reach cult level three, I have to go around the base and get the poop away for everyone. Because you can tell them to chop wood and get stones, but clean their poop, I have to do that as the leader. So that's great. That's you not know, a very becoming job for the leader of the cult. No, that's right? That's, that's what I'm thought. like a bit of a bee. <laughs> like, oh, you're the leader of the tribe? Yeah, they have me clean up all the poo. I'm the leader. You're yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> no one else is allowed to clean the poo. Only <laughs> I am allowed to clean the poo. 
This is my sacred who privileges. Duty. Wow, <laughs> it's crazy. People ask, why is that? How come you are the only? How come you're the poop cleaner if you're the leader of the cult? He said, well, that's because the poop demons are the ones who resurrected yeah. me. Exactly. So we have to, you know, give them offerings to poop. <laughs> so yeah, those it. photos even come up to you, go like, "Hey, it's filthy here. There's poop everywhere." It's like, well, fucking get rid of it. Well, so stop pooping here, then. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I mean, you are a bunch of animals, but not in that sense. I mean, you yeah. need to. Go well, they are animals. The the the, the little characters are animals, so I guess saying. you're still right. Yeah. I know you're oh, yeah, a bunch been... of animals, but it's no excuse to poop inside. Exactly. <laughs> oh, welcome uh, to but yeah, it's pretty, cool. pretty fun so far. Now we talk about poop. Go, go right ahead. Welcome to um, every frame of pause where we talk about things, movies, every frame, every movies, frame and poop, nothing else. Not necessarily excluding poop. Um. So, Poop tangent yeah. for that. Hearing if at 198, we are two episodes away, well, one episode away in a sense. Well, not two, because we got all of this one to go yet. Uh, until we get <laughs> to good old anniversary th themes. Um, oh, boy. And we finally, after this should have happened in 2018, look how long it took, we finally got Deck of Shadow on. Uh, how you doing, my good man? Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Deck of Shadow, the internet personality with the best hair. Hey, hey, hey. I think some people in chat have already started saying that, and I'm like, <laughs> um, we that's just a soundboard. He's impressed in that one. <laughs> we, You're not we... even saying it for real. <laughs> What's it's not even for shit? You try saying it 700 times with the same enthusiasm. Uh, he's, he's, uh... <laughs> Don't even so... get the real thing. We brought you on live in person. No one's gonna believe you're the real, the real guy. Thing. Gonna think you're just a guy with a soundboard. We can't have that. Uh, yeah, 2018. That was that was quite a year. That was quite well, yeah, a year. We we kind of crossed over. Didn't I have a clip of you in my video? Uh, yes. and vice versa. It's hard, it's hard to find my uh, little. It's hard to find my little video of my reaction review to the Predator because uh, YouTube hit that with the uh, demonization, the violent content. Uh, I I know it was a pretty heated discussion I was having with myself in that car, <laughs> but I, I still think that was a little bit overboard on YouTube's behalf. Just saying. Oh, yeah, I think my Predator video got demonetized as well, though, because at least uh, I think I actually had footage of lots of death in it, so it doesn't really surprise me. This is that typical. Much. This is all the lobbyists and Big Alien yeah. got YouTube to <laughs> sign I, I just in, had that know. pulsating vein in the middle of my forehead. That's enough gore for YouTube to demonetize. But yeah, we, hmm. uh, I think we lined up a little bit on that movie. Probably should have talked to you about it back then, but you know, just you know how the internet is. Things get in the way, lots of things happen. That's true. I, I, wanted, I wanted to make sure that everything was fresh, so over yesterday and this morning, I watched all of the Predator movies. Oh! How many, how many movies are there in the Predator franchise? Well, there's Predator, Predator 2, Predators, The Predator, Prey, and also, if you count them, AVP and AVP Requiem. Yes, there is. I have been Once lucky you... enough to see them all. Five, arguably seven. I have seen surprised four. that I'm not hung over this morning. I, I, it was hard making it through the Predator. Like men, like hung over <laughs> in a sense of having trouble. I can't. Yeah, you rewatched that. No, I mean beer. I mean beer. I was gonna say that makes more sense because you would have had to have gotten through the Predator somehow. But yeah, there you go. That's the answer. Um, that's still one of my most like hated movies of all time. Uh, <laughs> and it's only remembered for the one big law change they made, which. Um, Shane Black decided on that. Can you believe it? Yes. Of all the, I remember people saying, "Man, this one's gonna be good because Shane Black's making it." The guy from he was in he was in the original. Okay, why would anybody from the original thing make something bad related to that thing? And then you're like, "Wait, he also died first. Wait, what'd you say? Sorry. He also died first. That's true. So he wasn't mm. in that much of the original." <laughs> Didn't he make script, script edits, though? He added some stuff in? The original? Sure. Yeah. Cause I, 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 I would assume he wrote his own jokes. Yeah, which um, uh, land quite well for me, at least in that movie, in terms of... Um, it's less so his jokes, more so the reactions to the jokes, right? From uh, Billy. Yeah. Really yeah, you don't have everyone acting like what he said actually was funny. But you, you more so laugh at his uh, goal to say them. And then... His, his attempts, his, his valiant efforts... And, and putting like, a smile on Billy's face. Yeah, which kind of works. Especially if they lad with Billy, that's just really funny on its own. Um, so, 
Yeah, we could do like a little little history, little recap, because um, Predator One just just glorious, the best thing ever, one of the best movies of all time, bulletproof almost you might say. Predator Two, I'd be curious, uh, what is your opinion on Predator Two, Decca? What do you think of it? It's been a while since I watched Predator Two. I remember I, I reviewed it right? years and years ago, but that was when I started doing the whole movie online critic thing, and back then I was more just basing things on. Hey, did I like it? Was it cool? Whereas after spending years and years on this, you, you tend to look more into how, what quality of a film was it? Like, mm -hmm. how well did they put things together? How coherent was it overall? And, uh, yeah, Predator 2, still fun, still a lot of fun, but it goes a little crazy <laughs> in more than a few ways. But one thing that it does that a lot of sequels do, that Predator 2 I still think did better than most, is it took the mysterious creature from the original and it tried to explain a whole bunch of stuff. But the stuff they added in Predator 2 was, like, cool. Like, I enjoy it. Yeah, uh, I think the changes or additions to the Predator lore, as we could call it, uh, worked out pretty well from Predator 2. It's just... Um, it feels scientific to me at this point because I did rewatch it. And I've always felt kind of this yeah, way, can. but when rewatching it and looking at the actual time code, there's like a, a cutoff point for the goodness in that movie. Okay, Quality, a real, yeah. real good. I think it's doing great right up until Bill Paxton's uh, spine is ripped out of his body. That's where um, things get really weird. And I honestly uh, think it's around like... Around when he popped in at the subway, it was where I was thinking, you know, this Predator is seeming less and less like a Predator and more like a slasher killer. He's, it wasn't... Like, that, that, it, that, it, I kind of, like, allowed that in my head, but it is weird, right? To, to, how did He, like, jumped on a moving train because he knew that there were p people inside the train with pistols that he wanted to take That's out. how good he is, Mahler. It's a strange choice for the Predator, but okay. to be in the neighborhood. Yeah. This was... This was what L.A. in the late '97 or whatever. '97 well, movies from 1990. That is from the mystical futuristic year of 1997. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got guns on the subway. That's why the Predator came to L.A. What's well, the thing, right? If everyone's got guns, probably wouldn't go to the subway. Probably go for places where he has a better way of escaping instead of like a steel box. Nah, nah. He wants to get him in close. Yeah, he wants to get him trapped in that steel box with that. Well, either way, narrow, this hallway on rails. A lot of people like to say Predator 2 is campier and it's fun to have the camp. And I honestly don't think they crank the camp in until more than halfway through in the same way. Like having him get struck by lightning okay. while going, woo, it's like, that is that was really weird. camp. <laughs> That's a little strange. And I don't think it matches yeah, the first half at all. When, that, when they're examining the Predator technology and they're just given the. This is amazing. It matches uh, nothing from the periodic table. Oh, yeah. Holy <laughs> what could it be? That, that's, that's campy as all hell. I'll allow it. This metal is <laughs> off the charts. Uh, hey. It's a really... Yeah, I think that's the idea, right? Super strong and super lightweight. Whoa, that's what it always yeah, is we don't... with sci-fi metals. We it have to do with this. Yeah, this is some I, sort I, of... I'm just here, like, you know, ballistically, it needs to have some weight to it for the kinetic energy to do its job. No. <laughs> Not for <laughs> this guy. Um... I like Predator 2. I give it a thumbs up and everything. I just, um, I think it's quite a a mixed bag. Like, the, the most classic of mixed bags, where it's literally half and half, it, down to the fucking time code, like I said. Kind of, yeah. Um, it's like a new movie starts in the middle of it, and then we have to watch that movie now. Uh, but as was said, though, like, with the uh, the idea that they they, like, reward um, the cop with a, with a like a trophy for defeating the Predators. Like, that's neat. I like that. Yeah. And the, the idea that we're all just watching the fight play out and stuff, you know, and it's, it makes you think more about what the Predators are really up to. What do they want? Um, then, I guess, because in my head, I guess I do count it, but I, I don't... Because Alien vs. Predator is canon to the Predator. So maybe if we decanonize the lot in our heads that would be for the best i don't know mm. um but it was interesting that in the predator the little sort of spear that's made from the alien tail that in a little trophy case ah we don't just pretend like avp one and two set didn't up. happen set no, up even and set up. pay off they don't even pay that off actually. well i mean they don't uh. have to it's in a little pro trophy case uh 
Batman vs. Predator is fire. I've seen that YouTube video. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to wait until Matt Reeves is uh, okay on making that. I'd watch it. Batman vs. Predator. That so, could be cool. What about Predators? Oh, hi, Fringy. Oh, hey, Fringy. Um, Hello. Uh, uh, Decker, what do you, you reckon about Predators? Did you rewatch that? Yeah, I rewatched that as well, and I still really enjoyed it. But I feel like one of the things that they really failed to accomplish, which they could, the the movie was just begging for it, was to have more variety of the sets. Mm -hmm. Like even it, like they have the part where they kind of go into the hot spring looking area for one scene and then leave and never come back. Yeah, uh... and. And then later when they run, reach a different clearing, then they no notice that the sky has all these giant planets in it. And it's like, oh, crap, guys, there's a problem here. <laughs> well, um, it's, mo it's mostly jungly, which is interesting, right? Because it's a fictional jungle, so they could have done whatever they wanted. You know, they could have made whatever landscapes they wanted. Yeah, yeah but even then, they, it's like you had your jungle, and then the bit in the spaceship, there was the campsite in the jungle, and then they'd return to the campsite several times. Mm-hmm. Um, well, uh, what do you think of, like, the character work and the plot, if you will? I, I like to think of the convict as the Shane Black element. Oh, yeah. It's like Paxton had the jokes in Predator 2. He, he was kind of the Shane Black element, but he's still Bill Paxton. Uh, the convict was more of the Shane Black element. Well, the characters just seemed like... It just, uh, it was too easy to pick and choose... This might be interesting here, that might be interesting there, but you ended up with people who didn't necessarily have any camaraderie there. It sort of grew a little bit, but not really. Yeah, because they, I think they were playing with that, right? Like, Adrian Brody's, his character is almost that of, like, I ain't making friends, you're all as expendable to me as any of these predators, because I'm, I'm here to survive, that sort of angle. Yeah. Um, but then he, he comes through in the end, sort of, sort of I think, because I haven't seen it in a while, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's like the only one to... Well, okay, so, uh, the lady also was kind of doing that, but the guy had... The, it was a dark... Do we spoil that or not? We're spoiling everything, aren't we? <laughs> well, I was, I was, I was just going to lay some groundwork, see, see if you get some people... Because I figure it was, it was pointless in establishing what everyone thinks about the original, but maybe it's not. Maybe you hate that movie. What do you, what do you think about the original? Get some, get some thoughts oh, and ideas. Oh, dear God. Oh, man, that was tough to get through, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, an actor, seriously. I know. Why would they even? It'll hide never him? work out. It'll never work out. Cringe. <laughs> uh, I, I, I really liked <laughs> watching the first one again. I noticed something that I didn't really pick up as well is just the way the ordeal affected everyone. I mean, by the end. Like, you got, you got uh, people going crazy. You got uh, people who are just hunkering down and swearing absolutely nothing's wrong anyway up until it legit looks them in the face and they realize oh yeah uh i guess i guess i guess the shit really has hit the fan mm -hmm. well and uh of course yeah, how it ends with uh like that, that oh, shot from oh, the yes. helicopter it's like oof. but you did um all right well um i think that gives a good idea see the predator franchise is all over the place is kind of the point i was going to conclude on <laughs> uh you guys were there, I think. Uh, I'm speaking to chat for for the Predator, the days of the Predator. That was a nightmare. Um, actually, was it Fab before uh -huh. or after that? When did Predator come out? Was it I early think... 2018 or late? It was or pretty. I think it was late 2018. Oh, okay. I think. So. Well, Earlyish time. Phase one. Phase one. Um, yeah, I just mean, did Efab start before or after? I couldn't remember, but all I know is. The Predator decided a bunch of crazy, horrible decisions, and it like it slots in with my um, little team of movies that are just like, how did they get this Ruined bad? everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, the, it's the TLJ movies where they like destroy the franchise they're a part of, like in universe, as opposed to just being a bad movie. They like they like they want to dismantle um, a lot of the things that are established up to that point that the other movies rely on as rules, they're just like, nah, we're taking it apart, saws, and you're just like, oh, that's a bit mean. Um, we're not like other girls. In, in, in Predators, the lady specifically said that they did not have a name for the creature. Oh. 
And, and here comes the predator, like, oh, no, we had a vote and we thought this was cool. Now let's make fun of how dumb it is. Yeah. That was worse than that. They were like, yeah, we thought this was fucking cool. And then everybody's like, yeah. So what is this? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> That's another weird one of like trying to have almost meta conversations that they think are funny, but in the in the universe or something. That seems to pop up at this yeah. point as well. Um, so yeah, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible experience. And then we all found out Prey was on the way, and it was. And I'd written it off pretty much. I was like, yeah, that's gonna be shit too. Yeah. Um, and then and then we watched it. Uh, well, I, I think I was cautiously optimistic. I I'm very I got like I, I I wasn't willing to say that it was definitely gonna be good, but I was looking at the teaser, and I'm like, you know, I don't see anything I hate. Um, I think I was pretty much in that camp. I was just, I think I was mostly just like, just let me see the movie. I don't want to, I don't want to base anything too much off of anything. Yeah. I think it's hard to get excited nowadays for like a new installment in some big franchise. Like, it seems like, uh, it's just a recipe for disappointment. Although mm -hmm. you're setting yourself up for disappointment, rather. But, um, with this one, I was actually going to, uh, pass whatever formatting choices may or may not be made to, uh, Mr. Rags. Um, right I you. think bef before we begin, I think it's important that you guys are forgetting a very important installment of the Predator franchise, which is, of course, uh, Predator and Fortnite. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. What, what the fuck isn't in Fortnite at this point? I don't know. Seems like this is Fortnite's shtick, is that it's amalgamation of pop culture. <laughs> oh, it's like Pop Figures the game, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Run around just whoever you want. Um, yeah. The demon who makes trophies of uh, men. I'm, I'm all right. That's, that's nice that they Build did that in. instead of saying the demon who hunts um, for evolution. <laughs> I believe <laughs> that it is the demon who is on a galactic quest to find all of the victory royales that he can. <laughs> well, I hope he succeeds in the world of Fortnite. Um, that would be nice. But yeah, I was going to say, uh, Rags, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, it's on you. Boy. Well, Mwah. well, I am, I guess I'm the one, it's me. I'm leading the charge on this one, so to speak. I watched Prey a couple, I don't know, when did we watch it? Four or five days ago? Six? Uh, Friday, I don't know I think. how time works. I don't know, whatever. Uh, we watched Prey, and then immediately after, we watched Predator 2. And I had yeah. not seen either of these movies before, so it was interesting to get both of them back to back. Uh, and we thought uh, on our first viewing that Prey was pretty decent, not great, mm -hmm. not terrible. Uh, I think a little bit better than average is what we said, that 5, 6 out of 10 sort of area. And while other people worked on other things, I uh, went through and I took notes and I watched the movie again. And I have all my all my little notes here. So we'll go through it and we'll see just how well it stacks up. And we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the plot and the characters and what happens. And is it good? Is it bad? Uh, we'll find out together. So okay. um, it starts off with. Um, what I assume is uh, Comanche lingo. I don't know what it's called. Uh, a long time ago, it is said, a monster came here. So I suppose this is sort of a, a retelling of events that have that has occurred. Um, we open up very serene sort of landscape shots. This is 1719, uh, as we will learn later, but you know, might as well say it now. Uh, we are introduced to our protagonist, Naru, and the dog, Sari. Which is its name. I'm not apologizing. It's okay. it's, sorry. Oh, is for the a name second there, there, I was there. like... Oh, 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 no, I don't yeah. apologize. Never. I, I hesitated. Damn yeah. it. So she gets woken up in her teepee, and she goes out to do mundane chores. Super normal, super average, but she doesn't really like it. She would rather throw a tomahawk. She throws it at trees back and forth. She's practicing. So that's good that they're showing that she does this, that she throws it. It's something that she likes. She doesn't just, you know, throw it, get a bullseye, and that's that. Um, by the tree that she's throwing her tomahawk at, she notices that there are hoof prints from a dur. Oh, how very amazing. Now, 
it takes her a while, I suppose, to notice these footprints there, even though she's been to that tree many, many, many times. But that, that's all right. That's all right. This, she notices details. And so she goes off to try and hunt this deer because she that's what she wants to do. That's what, what she wants to do. She goes out with her dog, hides behind a log and tries to catch it. Well, before she's able to throw her tomahawk, she hears a very strange noise. Oh, my goodness. What is that? It's coming from the sky. It's very unusual. Whatever could that be? We'll probably never figure out what that could be. <laughs> That's strange. But it spooks the deer. And then she starts chasing after it. And I think it's total horseshit that she's able to keep up with it. <laughs> well, All right. we could probably yeah. know why. <laughs> before we stop there, there's then, no right? It's like an intro scene. <laughs> it's like... Okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's like, oh, I think it's weird enough that she's trying to hunt a deer with a like a hand axe. Um, well, she, yeah. I think that's, I think it's what she had on her at the time. Oh, okay. Um, it's because she didn't have her bow with her. But like the, she only has her. That's tomahawk. gonna be tough, you know. It definitely oh, yeah. could be, but if you if you're really good at tracking and you injure it, then you could follow the blood trail. It'll slow down eventually. You could probably get it, and if an opportunity presents itself. It might not be the best circumstances, but you'll you'll try to make do with what you've got. Yeah. Um, but she uh, she and her dog, they're they're on the same wavelength. She's trained it. Um, but it total bullshit that she's able to like run and <laughs> chase after the deer. But she misses oh, when, she, when, circle when she a, circle around the front of the deer and direct it. So she might not be going like in a straight line at it like. Kind of coming in from the side as it's going around. I don't know. The dog would have to be faster than the deer, though. The dog could probably also be, a, yeah. be a bit of an ask. It looks I'm like sure. that she's running parallel to it for a while yeah. when it's like she shouldn't. She's even yeah. ahead of it, seemingly, which is like that shouldn't. It's a good, like, I don't know, eight seconds of that. And it's just like, man, that deer would be I, out of there. Listen, I don't know about all you city slickers in the chat who ain't ever seen a deer run in the woods. Those fuckers are fast. All right. Yeah, I this thought is... the nature of like hunting deer is that if they notice you, it's GG. It's over. Chasing after like, it's they're tough. Gonna get away. You gotta the, yeah, this nail is their... that first shot right. That's how it usually works. A deer mm -hmm. in the woods is its element. All right. This is you're in you're in its you're in its territory now. So you better watch out. It'll, it'll it'll it'll, it'll dead, run away real quick. Um, but she does make a throw, and she misses. Uh, yeah. She does a few Apex Legends slides, very impressive, under the logs and everything. She does it uh, a bunch in that movie. It's kind of weird. Yeah, she does. It's a thing. <laughs> I like Leia did around. it too. Leia when did she do was it being, in Kenobi. She did true. the Apex Legends slide while she was uh, being chased through the woods of Alderaan. Uh, it head. looks looks very strange. I've never done an Apex Legends slide, but it looks very... But I mean, oh. for a time there, all the video games wanted a slide. Do you remember? Oh, that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, like 2013. That was like when all the video games were like, "Yeah, sliding's pretty cool, isn't it?" It's like <laughs> I don't use this ever. I don't know <laughs> I what remember, to tell you. I, used I remember this when they put this in jumping. I used it in Titanfall because Titanfall had mechanics that were built yeah. around sliding and maintaining momentum. But in every other game, like in Call of Duty Ghosts, we got a slide now. Ah, uh, thanks guys. It's truly next gen shit we got right here. <laughs> I remember when they put this in and Battlefield. Battlefield 1 had a slide. Yeah, yeah, it was really weird. I was like, I don't want to slide. It's fucking it, weird. It works fine. I mean, it works. It's, 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 another, it's just it. a little movement mechanic, uh, but it, it it's a thing. I don't know. But this is the origins of the slide was here in 1719. Well, there was never a slide before 1719. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Bunch this, of the Comanche saw her here. and they were like, whoa. And then they were Whenever like, anybody oh. was running and then they crouched, they just started, immediately lost their momentum and just started. <laughs> <laughs> you got to slide and angle yourself the right way. And you have to make sure that you like slide on the side of your leg and not destroy your knees horribly. <laughs> Very complex, but you live in the woods. Look out for rocks and twigs, personally. I, it's just from the knees down to all calluses. Can't feel a thing. Mm -hmm. That's the that's what happens in the wilderness when you live out there. You got to be yeah. tough. Um, felt so like she throws a signal yeah. that we're next gen if we have a slide. Felt like and now it's like cringe. Anyway, go on. <laughs> see, the white man cannot slide. They had to learn it from <laughs> the American Indians. It's, not in the history books, but it's true. This movie shows us that. Now, after a short uh, chase, she throws her tomahawk and she misses. Alas. Uh, but her dog is 
hurt off screen. He has snagged his or her tail in a trap, a metal trap. And it seems as if I don't think that she's aware of like metallurgy and metalwork. Mm -hmm. This is a new material to her to the point where she tries to like it beat rock, it with right? a rock to try and break it, which is understandable if you don't know what metal is. Yeah. Um, but uh, she has uh, she gets the uh, dog's tail out of the trap and she puts some herbs on it. She's good with medicine. It seems she's pretty good with uh, she knows about the herbal remedies and whatnot. The poultices. She has a high skill in survival. Um. As she is examining the trap, though, uh, there's a noise in the sky. It, she hears it again. What is this strange noise? She goes off looking for the source of this sky noise, which is an odd thing to do, I suppose. But she goes off looking for the sky noise, and then she notices <laughs> that there is this strange flaming thing in the clouds, and it's sort of parting the clouds, not... Not very, it's it's very prominent, right? She notices it. And then we get our logo. Oh, yeah, we pray. We should talk about how strange it is the dog tripped the, the trap with its tail. Yeah, I was about to mention that. I, At least got I still don't know how that yeah. happened. The dog was trying to do the slide too, and it just didn't go so well. <laughs> you would think like, well, more, that's cool. You would think that more legs would help you slide, but maybe, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know. It's a secret that I'm not a privy to. Or maybe I am. Who knows? Uh, but I think what probably happened, in, if we're trying to explain it, I assume it was moving really fast, and, and so it hit it with job. a paw, yeah. and then it happened to snag the tail. Yeah. But and either way... I don't I mean, the real it, reason it happened is the writers right. wanted it to get caught but didn't want to do permanent damage to it. They don't want to hurt the dog yeah. too much, which is... Yeah. That's fine with me, all right? I don't want to, I don't want to see the dog hurt getting hurt too much. Yeah, I... It, Go on. Yeah, establishes. I saw the dog in the movie. I was like, I swear, if I see the skull of that thing put up on a on a I, I trophy rack, point. I was legitimately worried. Like, uh, Dude, what you, uh... I think it's become much of a thing. Like people want to avoid it now, mm -hmm. just killing the animal. He brought her a rat. I was like, oh no, the predator will know he's a hunter. No, leave the dog alone. <laughs> <laughs> the predator's like, it killed a rat. That thing is worthy prey. <laughs> Anything that can kill a rat is a trophy. <laughs> um, we were worried when we watched this about the dog. We were like, oh god, oh, yeah. no, please. Not the dog. We, but we may, by the dog. end of this, we'll, we'll discover if the dog makes it out alive. Perhaps it Protect is. Perhaps the dog doesn't. at all costs. Perhaps the dog is unharmed. Well, mm -hmm. I guess not unharmed. We already uh, it already harmed, but maybe makes a heroic sacrifice. Maybe it sets off the explosive while everyone else gets to safety. Who knows what happens with the dog? Who knows? Um, we get our logo, and when we get back, um, the next scene cuts to her with her brother. And I'm thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. You realize that you were just in the woods. You found this complex mechanical trap that oh, stopped yeah. your dog. And it's made of this mystery Ooh. material that you've never, ever seen before. That's so strong. You, you can't like it damages rocks, not the other way around. That's really weird. You should probably bring this back to everyone and say, yo, look what I found. Isn't this something that's really weird that we should be aware of existing? But actually, because yeah. that means they're in range of the uh, trappers. Yeah, and must be close by now. Yeah, yeah and that's, that's something true. that they could probably figure out through tracking. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if they know about the white men yet. It's oh it's, no, it's kind mean, of unclear. It wouldn't. I think that they might, right? Seeing like that, it's a might, yeah. My point is just that seeing that you're going to look around, and that thing is going to be in range at least of the trapper's campsite, I'd imagine, right? In some oh yeah, probably yeah. Like, like, range. Way too far away. Yeah. And so if they were to go and search in the vicinity, they'd probably find more of these traps, and then they might even find more evidence of people. I imagine that they're not going to be hiding all their tracks, the, uh, the French. Uh, so. Yeah, because I, I don't know how much they go into, how much they've mixed. Uh, they have horses, but I horses that, um, escape and get wild, so who knows where I they got them the from. That would be the, the fact that they are... The now, of course, there's. I would imagine that there are multiple Comanche like groups and whatnot. Yes. But the mm -hmm. fact that one of the French guys knows Comanche means that 
and knows it fairly well that there must have been some amount of interaction. Probably, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but we get to, we meet Tabe, who is the hero of the story. Uh, he is an absolute Chad, and he's the best character. <laughs> yeah, in he's movie. really cool. He is pretty cool. Spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert, Tabe is the most amazing character. Maybe in all fiction. Uh, <laughs> I, my, my attitude towards him was pretty darn high on a first viewing. It went up further on a second viewing. Yeah, same. Um, so this is Naru's brother, who, and he is a Chad. And they are talking by the river as they look at a hawk with their bows. And he makes an insane shot hitting this hawk mm -hmm. out of the air with an arrow. How incredible. What what incredible skill. But in and she said and he, and all while this is happening, he's telling a story about his uh, uh Kutamia, which is the big hunt, right? Mm -hmm. And uh she says that she didn't shoot because she was waiting for the bird to circle around because now he has to go and fetch it on the other side of the river, right? So we get oh, this like uh, yeah. Is that, is that true? Or I I like to think that she was legitimately waiting. I don't think she has the skill to actually hit it, though. Yeah. I I don't think she's that good. He is very very right. good. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Is like, oh yeah, we're just waiting for it to circle back around. It's like uh, I think I think there's I think she knows that she wasn't quite able to make that shot. So sort of, um, I guess like an element that leads into what's going to be pretty relevant, like to her going forward. It was brought up uh, in, in Open Bar, because I, I was trying to check it out when we were discussing it. Um, it seems to me, I can't tell if this is a fail or if this is character. As I've talked about this in other movies. It's, sometimes it's hard to tell because some writers don't realize sometimes, how much they're yeah. characterizing people with action. But she's like pretty much drawn the bow and she's just holding and holding and holding. And it's like they always recommend archers, right? You don't want to do that. You know, yeah, that's like, tough to do. You're holding so, back a lot of tension with your arm. What I'm willing to believe in that case is that she's holding that shot because she really just isn't confident she's going to hit this thing, and she keeps, like, you know, hesitating, hesitating, which I think tracks with what she does with the mountain She gets line. target panic. Yeah, I, I, and I think we see that again in a next bigger moment to do with hunting. Um, and mm -hmm. so I, I'd like to believe this is deliberate, that they're trying to say she was going to shoot if she was ready, ready to, but she just really wasn't. She wasn't... And I think her brother noticed. He was like, yeah, I got this. Boom. Yeah. Done. And then saying, like, well, you got to go walk to get it is kind of compensation. Like, just a little bit of deflection, I guess. Yeah, uh, which I'm willing to believe characterizes them both. Yeah. You I think so, yeah. Um, so then, after uh, he kills the hawk, uh, he gets a two for it's got a fish. How incredible. Double kill. Um, oh, that's right. It's at this point that he that she tells him that she has been practicing she is ready for her kutamia she's ready for her big hunt she wants to do it and um then she says that she saw the a firebird in the sky or a thunderbird in the sky like it's a sign and i'm like man i i don't know how i feel about this if i saw what she saw I would be, I'd be going back and like, guys, you would not believe yeah. what I just saw. Just or like, would I, saw I be God like, or something. yeah, or would I be thinking to myself, I might come across as a crazy person. Maybe I shouldn't uh, go around running and saying that I saw a sign. I don't know. I think it depends. Different people might have different, I suppose, methods of relaying that information to other people if they saw something that incredible. I'm just, I'm yeah, really not sure. Be. It it just sort of happens where it's like, oh, I I saw this I saw this sign in the sky, um, so yeah, pretty pretty incredible, pretty crazy. Um, back to the tribe, not say anything, and everyone would ask me why my pants smell so bad. <laughs> but I guess because these are your only pair of pants is the answer. Uh, I've been doing all that sliding in them. These are your only. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> slide, sliding in them, <laughs> wearing them to bed. Yeah. Again, I don't know uh, if that's characterization or not. The fact that she's not making a bigger deal out of it, and the fact she didn't bring back the the bear trap, or uh, wait, that is the name of those, right? Or am I? It's am I... that that's that's just gonna. I would. That's just just a trap. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not saying it's meant for well. bears. I'm just mean that is the name we usually give those, right? Bear traps, or am I crazy? Yeah. Yeah, people often call them bear traps because oftentimes they're big yeah, and yeah. spooky 
And these are Some... probably just to catch anything that steps in them. It sort of traps their foot in there. Yeah, yeah. So that it doesn't. Yeah, know, some people in my chat yesterday said that it might be a fox trap because it looks a little bit smaller than like a real big bear trap. D but I... it's, a, it's some kind of trap. This I, might demonstrate my really lack of understanding. But... Type of trap as bear trap. So what did chat just said? Guys, they knew what the traps were. It's like she didn't. She literally no, she didn't. No, she That's... clearly didn't. They specifically Those weren't had even a... invented yet. Dude, like, she was like, we, examining we it like she'd never <laughs> we, seen it before. She she tried to break the chain with a, just a, a rock, rock that she found and yeah, hit this, it. Yeah, this ain't That's the like, Halo show where you can do something like that. This is uh, more realistic. Okay? <laughs> uh, no, remember, in the Halo show, it didn't break the chain. It broke the motorcycle. <laughs> Which was <laughs> metal. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Even though the rocks would no. come apart when she hit yeah, it. Yeah, they it. would disintegrate. They were fucking worthless. <laughs> like, they didn't do anything. Except Not even the were. rocks on this planet are good. Uh, yeah. We get our big, the Northern Great Plains, September 1719. So we're establishing where we First are. Many very nice uh, shots of the environment. Yeah, the film is pretty mm -hmm. beautiful. It, could probably say it is. It's a gorgeous film. film. It's, there's it's an eye good. behind it, that for sure. A lot of good landscape shots, a lot of good sky shots. And as we progress, even though virtually all of this story takes place in the woods, you never get like scene fatigue. You never feel like oh, you've been yeah. here before. The terrain is changing. The time of day is changing. The the weather. foliage is changing. The weather. It is you always it, you always just feel like you're going through different places. Um, you're not like, oh, we're in the woods again. It's like, yeah, I, you're going to be in the woods a lot in this story. Mm -hmm. But it's a-okay. Kind of it is a very woodsy movie. We see our... Uh, da, 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 da. We see our uh, protagonist and her dog just sort of walking through camp. She's... You, you just sort of get a little establishment of this is where she lives. People around. Sets up the aesthetic. Um, pretty... Pretty normal. Just walking through. Here's uh, here's where she lives. Goes into the teepee where she has a conversation with her mother, who is there. They're inside. They got their rock set out. They're grinding up plants and things of that nature. You know, doing work. Gotta you know, gotta pay the rent. Gotta keep those bills you know in check as you do. And they have a conversation, which is, I guess, our our longest, uh, our first long conversation, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Why is my my subtitles aren't working? I have all these notes, and yet my subtitles Damn, on this VLC file, they like sometimes they just like to stop, and you have to. It has like a start stop sort of issue. Mm. But um, let me see here, checking my notes. Um, she says that referring to sorry, the dog you trained. Uh, did you say you trained him well? I don't think that's yeah, a, I do not him. think that's a male dog. I don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> you trained him, him well. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, she says, you trained him well. And Naru says, it's easy. He's smart. And then she says, not every smart creature is easy to train. Oh my goodness. Uh, I guess. Parallels. Oh my gosh. Um, it's, it's not so subtle that, <laughs> you know, it's not crazy subtle. It sounds like just something people would say to one another if they're trying to be mildly, mildly subtle in a moment, but not so much. Uh, I guess she's implying here, what my takeaway is that she knows that Naru is very talented and smart, but she's against the grain. She doesn't want to be like the other girls, I suppose you could say. Um but not in a not in a particularly mocking sort of way. It's just more of a kind of matter of more fact. I think. Yeah. yeah, just more of an observation. This is just kind of how you are, you know. Um, she's cutting up a fish. Naru is. She gives the tail to the doggo, and uh, she starts using this tomahawk in order to uh, cut it up a bit more. Uh, do, 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 do. The mother is preparing medicine. Naru asks, Naru asks if it is for the war chief's bad knee because he's been apex sliding the wrong way. And so you yeah. get a bad knee if Broke you do his that. Leg. Yes, it's very bad. It's very, very high skill uh, maneuver. Uh, now, 
Naru notes that in the medicine she's making, there's no orange tutsia, which is a, an herb. It's like a flower, right? And her mother is surprised, and she asks, who taught her about orange tutsia? And Naru says, it was her. You told me. It dun, was dun, you. Dun. Oh, my goodness gracious. The and then the oh movie ends. God. The credits come in from the top, rolling oh, down man. slowly. We now know where she learned about Orange Tootsie from. Overall, uh, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. Chekhov's... Wait, or am I mixing this up? This is Chekhov's, Chekhov, uh, Chekhov's right? Flora. Well, yeah, the, um, Or am I mixing it up? <laughs> well, I, I think it's just legitimately... I think this is supposed to tell us that the mom just legitimately forgot that she had told her daughter about this uh, particular herb before, but Naru learned about it and she kept that knowledge. She's good at learning. I think that's what they're trying to say here. Like she listens to people. Or at the very least, her. she she's absorbs not information. The stuff that she's learning, even if it's not directly pertaining to what her main goal is. I think. Yeah. It lines she right it, up. Picked it up with. Picked it up through observation, like she does most things, very, very quickly and strangely. And it um, she I think she says when she's uh, leaving the camp, not too long after this, like if they if they don't see it, show them or something like that. And I I, I imagine that would line up. She says it. She says it later. Uh, if uh, yeah, when she goes out to hunt the strange creature after uh, the the lion, uh, she says if they don't see, uh, then I'll show them. Yeah, like and you could say uh, this is in microcosm that she's shown that she's actually the taking in the information where the mum kind of implied just a second ago that she probably wouldn't have. Like, ah, I did. Like, maybe, and, and I think this might also say that the mother didn't specifically actually tell her about it, but she had watched and seen her mother using it, yeah. and so yeah. it was a detail, yeah. Which is less of an information sponge and more of an information sham wow. Oh. So I yeah, mean. she's pretty good at holding information, but not like <laughs> insanely good at it to the yeah, point where a, it's magic. Yeah, I'm not trying to like you know say it's incredible, but there is a very particular way she learns stuff that's very present throughout the whole film. Kind she of sees yes. it happen, absorbs it forever. Yeah. Um, we have her. Uh, she's cutting up the fish with uh, the tomahawk, and she says, "Your father uh, left you that to cut plants with." And she says, I almost caught a deer with it. I ran very fast and I slid amazingly well. You should have seen it. Oh, yeah. And her mother says, well, we can't eat almost, which is not just a snark line. Like, that's important. This comes back later, as we will mm -hmm. as we will see. You got to go to the finish. You can't do almost. You, you got to bring, bring it, home. it home. Yes, you got to bring it home. And she's and her mother asks. You're talented at a lot of things. Why do you want to hunt? And then she says, Naru says, because you all think that I can't. Wake up, Fair Mom. Enough. It's 1719. <laughs> Come on, I mean, Mom. It, I think it's fair. Um, it's everyone, fair. yeah. Like, well, so this is a point of contention for a lot of people. Is, like, it starts Apparently, with, Apparently, like, yes. Should, should someone like this exist at this time period of this part of the, these people? And... I don't know, is this so much of a stretch to believe there is one girl who felt this way? Exactly. Well, all you need is one, and I'm sure that there was more than one. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think yeah. it's unusual at all. It's a totally normal personality trait that people have. They want to prove people wrong, and she's been practicing at it and working at it. And as we're about to find out, we're going to get reasons why she might want to do it. I feel like this, it's um, inevitable that if you have lots of girls who grow up with all their brothers and fathers and stuff doing all this stuff, but they just don't get to ever do it, the, the, at one point, you'll get one of them being like, I mean, I'd like to try it. Can I try it? Can I not? And then everyone goes, you can't. That is I mean, such it's a signal of like, I, I can't? Oh, okay. As in, you're not capable, not, not allowed. And you know, yeah. when you, when if you someone play, told me I couldn't, I'd be like, fuck you. Yes, I can. When you play with like the, the people growing up and maybe you just try out some of the things, you learn to do the, the archery and stuff, and then you learn that that's what they're doing to kill a lot of the prey they have. And you're like, I, I, could, I could do that. And you find it exciting. Yeah, I don't know. I just, they're just asking me to believe there was this girl who felt this way. I think that's fine. It's I totally think it, fine. It's certainly shown me that on the internet and amongst us everywhere, we have a lot of uh, American Indian cultural experts 
that I had no idea that we had so many who were among us. And now luckily we have this film and they could tell us everything that they know in depth about how this is totally impossible. And and I guess, um, I guess if, if that's even going to be a thing that comes up, then there's once again, the conversation about, well, what does historical accuracy actually mean? Like, when we're trying to, yeah. Um, yeah. cause why can't I extrapolate the frustration of this all the way into what do you think of alt history in general? Can I just claim this is yeah. alt history? I mean, it clearly is with a predator, oh, <laughs> like, but, yeah. um, but you know, can I not just say that, um, yeah, this is a, a fictional take on some references that they're keeping accurate in the same way that we've talked about with predator or inglorious bastards, sorry, not predator, fucking patriot, wild brain. Nice. Um, Predator totally happened, guys. Okay, that was a also a movie that was historically accurate. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just um, I think I think people blow this way out of proportion. It sounds like a totally normal thing that a person with a personality would say. And she she's it's like because she says because you all think I can't. Like generally everybody doesn't think that I can do this, and I think mm -hmm. I can. So I don't even I'm, think it like stems from. I think it's just that it in terms of who she is and where she's at right now she's like underestimated yeah it's a in fact so. she well <laughs> i think you're right that she feels underestimated and that will come into play later in our story very uh, I mean, very bluntly yeah. and i think we have uh some strong half and halves of she is underestimated unfairly and fairly like yeah and fairly uh, yes yeah, yeah, fairly absolutely. speaking of who she is estimated fairly who should come in <gasps> Is right now, then the hero of our story, Tabe, oh your God. brother. So you were going to say the predator? <laughs> like, the, the predator, predator comes in and he says, listen here, your daughter is incredible and you need to support her. <laughs> I'm going to be out in the woods. Call me if you need me. Go. <laughs> and I'll know it's you. I kind of so, like, the, like Tabe, the banter yeah. too. Yeah, everyone talks like people talk. I feel I, the dialogue is very relatable. It's not overly clever or overly, you know, unreasonable. I think all of the characters pretty much in this are, I totally buy it that these are conversations people just have. It doesn't feel like a script. It feels like very natural sorts of conversations. Oh, fuck. I would also uh, add that I, I go for it. Chats reminded me that that was Sitch's take. He doesn't like Inglorious Bastards because Hitler died. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not coming from. Well, was that Sitch's take or uh, was that Adam's take or was that Duba? No, it wasn't it, Duba. It was it was Duma. Doomer. Funny, he didn't want to have. He thought it was like it alt history that's just no, trying to no, make them. No, 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 no. It's definitely not Duma. Duma. Inglorious Pass is one of his favorite movies of all time. It's oh yeah, Duma. you're right. You're right. You're right. Yes, it is. It is Sitch. I think. I think yeah, it was. Yeah. I think he didn't like it. He. Oh, well, I don't well, understand the historical. <laughs> I like. I don't. I don't to, understand. To, like just to clarify, <laughs> it's. Oh, what was it seen as? I think the argument is disrespectful to like how history went and stuff like that. Um, it just sounds funny it out was, of context. <laughs> it, it it seems almost juvenile to make a story like that, where it was oh, this is how we really kill Hitler after all. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, oh, it was it was East sort as um yeah like a childish wish fulfillment thing where we we yeah take history yeah. we change the events to better match what we would like to have had happen. Um, I like the sniper elite that, version where you shoot be, him in the ball. That <laughs> <laughs> ball. <laughs> I remember that. That was good shit. <laughs> I wonder if Sitch would be okay with that or not. I don't know. <laughs> Sitch is it's just a fine person. We you know, like, fine fellow. Oh, absolutely. He's just awful much. on media. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if he'd be okay with like Wolfenstein, uh, or if he'd be like, nope, disrespectful. Cyborg Ooh. Nazi zombies. Hell yeah. Next time we invade his stream, we'll do that. We'll ask him about Wolfenstein like, and the cyborg mm -hmm. Nazis. That's right. Like imagine your World of War comes out and you're you're over your friend Sitch's house and you're playing and then he's like oh, I don't I don't think I can enjoy this like the, the Nazis are never zombies. I would I mean could you push it further? It's like <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guy who planted the flag on the Reichstag wasn't Petrenko. I think he had a different name. Like I don't think he was that guy that you played as. Oh, that was that was Bill. <laughs> that was old Bill. <laughs> yeah, that was Bill. Old old, old Bill up there Bill. in that photo. Bill went him. through a lot. Bill's Bill had it, you know. I'm glad Bill got his moment because man, he's been through a lot. Speaking okay. of people who've been through a lot, Tabe comes in Wait, and he so, comes back. Sorry, just so it's like, yeah? don't be a Go ahead. Sitch, like this. Come on, it's just like that is that. I'm pretty I sure that's the, take, right? his, that's the take, right? That's the take. I 
Yeah, we like Sitch, right? Um, we would not incorrectly recall information purposefully. Like I, mean, I, said, I think that was sure his take. Yeah. Wish fulfillment, he thinks that explicitly thinks that that's like a almost like a cowardly way of trying to run a story. I think that's how he put it. What about um what about like wish fulfillment in like an action film or like superhero stuff? Like what does he I think he was only applying it to history if it's like fiction entirely. Why why what what why would Hey why is that go on their show and go ask him, all right? <laughs> We're here to talk about <laughs> prey. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, what the distinction is there. All good. Let me see here. So he comes back with a hawk that he was able to shoot, and, and Mother is immediately impressed. She's like, "Wow, you caught a, you caught a hawk in this wind. Uh, very impressive." Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that goes into one of the reasons why she wants to hunt. It's just immediately impresses people that you're able to do it. You know, it's it's not as important and stuff as it is to go out and get herbs and gather food and things like that. It's not it's, it's not as impressive when you come back with four yeah. beats. You know, yeah. it's really <laughs> impressive when you're like, I shot a fucking hawk with an arrow. Yeah. And that's that that is insane that I was able to do that. Are not I amazing? He doesn't say it like that because he's actually quite humble. He's um, quite understated in his coolness. Oh, yeah. Uh, so. I, I think it's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I want to impress people like that as well, you know. Um, there's a little banner back and forth about uh, with uh, the brother and sister, but it, they don't have an unhealthy or combative relationship. They're on very good terms with one another. This is just how they talk. It's just a little snarky back and forth sort of thing. It's not bad faith in any way. Um, so it, it, we're just we're learning more about their uh, all of their talks have been like the first time they talked, he was talking about his uh, Kutamya and how it was wet and the bowstring got muddy and she jokingly started to snore and then he hits it with a hawk because he's really talented. Um, but it's not like they're, they're not trying to like they actually really like each other. Uh, you know, they're just young people being, you know, that way as as, as they do. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me come back down here. OK. Now, guys, next yeah. scene. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Guys, yeah. guys. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. I, yeah. Guys, oh, I need God. to listen. What? Look, oh my, guys. I'm did, sorry. It, did, I it's the, it. Oh my God, it's the predator ship. Look at it. It's, oh, it's the no, one. No. It's right there. Oh my gosh, yeah. look. There it is. It's, it's invisible. Right now it's oh, flying I, away. I, I look. They should have shown oh, wait. this. Can we... It has an engine. It can fly. Hey, uh, I, I, I think there's an interesting <laughs> conversation to be had, but I wouldn't mind finding out with unfiltered from uh, from from Deck. What do you think of showing us the Predator arriving? What do you think? Well, I mean, the uh, Predator arrives in... I, I feel like you know, in the original Predator, we, the first thing it shows is a Predator ship and then pop out a little escape pod into shooting star little thing. Now, you don't see from the planet's surface quite so obviously in a way that hundreds of people would easily be able to see in that populated area, hey, there's a thing right there in clear broad daylight. Like, the Predator even lands at nighttime in Predator 1, if you notice. Mm. I think... Be well, I think one of the issues that needs to be... Because I think this all works out in the lore, um, that the reason that the, we see the Predator ship here is because it spent a lot of time looking for the spaces underneath elevator shafts, but it couldn't find any out here in the Great Plains in 1719. <laughs> So uh, it, it had, you, you'd make do with what you got. So it just drops them. Yeah, up. it's worth mentioning. How the fuck did that ship end up where it was? <laughs> yeah, it was that building. In Predator 2, and that was weird as hell. why did they dig a hole underneath the elevator shaft? <laughs> like, By the way, just so quick, the second half of Predator 2 is bonkers. bonkers. It's pretty, it's yeah. pretty strange. Uh, that when we watched it, I was like, "What? We're here, and this, there's just a hole underneath the elevator <laughs> Dude, shaft I, in this building, and it leads to this underground cavern where there's a predator ship, and he just I falls think into it." The most what bizarre part of it all is actually when he's he's hanging on underneath the elevator, and it starts to go lower and lower. Which, to be honest with you, isn't the worst thing in the world when you're trying to go down the shaft. The elevator's coming yeah, down. It's like, so, like, you know, I'm going to get lowered down. Obviously, it would be really bad if it started to lower you down when there was a flat surface and it was just going to crush you. But you know that's not going to happen because the Predator went down there. So clearly, you know, he's not gone down there because it's a, a dead end. So just, just hang on and just, you know, it'll cycle you down. But no, he decides for some reason in that moment, I've got to jump off. I don't know why. Yeah. And then he does. And then it just cuts to him grabbing two ends of like a hole. 
<laughs> and it's like, yeah, he like falls to the bottom where there's a hole and he just grabbed it as he fell, which bull bullshit. And then that is, oh no, and then he falls into the predator ship. Oh, and that's convenient. Movie. I don't even know I why think... they made it that way. I think it's it's just because they had to cut two th other things together, and they were like, "We're running out of time," or something's going on. But it doesn't feel like that scene was probably, supposed to go yeah. straight to the ship. That doesn't seem right. It's like a dream sequence, the way <laughs> yeah. it goes. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, a there was it, it. It was just missing a, missing a little potion that said "drink me," and then he gets smaller or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the predator did it. It didn't at all. That's how that way. They could have just had him run outside, go to a sewer, <laughs> like. And then the predator, I guess, tracks him through that hole and gets into the shit. It's it's really the last. That's that's a strange movie. And no. Oh. Um, yep. Anyway. So <laughs> anyway, wow. back to well, prey. Yeah. So what I was sorry, more Decker. interested in asking was just not necessarily like, um, what do you think of the predator's arrival? I'm fine with that. I'm also talking about what do you think about showing us it? Uh, the, what was that? Eleven minute mark? Something like that? Yeah, it's eleven minutes in. I feel I like am... the Predator movies generally do showcase the Predator, but the technical reveal of the, like, when the Predator actually joins the fray, full-on, gloves off, still doesn't happen until around 45 minutes in. Every single bit we see of the Predator is, like, hunting little things, just yeah. a little here and there, kind of examining some stuff. It's similar to how you see the Predator tracking stuff around in Predator 1 and just kind of sneakily on the side. You know there's something there, you know something's up, but it's not until much later that he really joins the fray. Versus Predator 2, where he's right there, like, at the beginning, fucking people up. Yeah, yeah, because that's the one thing you have to keep in mind with all these movies, is they are very aware of all their other movies that have happened already. Which is why everyone mm -hmm. usually argues, yeah, well, Predator 1 got to be the most subtle because it was the first one. The other movies can't be as subtle anymore because the audience know. What do you think of that argument, Fringy? So, I think that it would have been a better idea to not show the Predator explicitly until the bear. Um, yeah. And have that be the first actual, like, reveal of the Predator. I think that everything else we should have seen was evidence of his existence, but never anything explicit. I think we should have seen, it. like, what's up? They do, a, they do a better job hiding the white people. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's true. That's true, they do. <laughs> and I think, that, I think that it would be, uh, I think that it would be, this, this film is pretty fixed in its perspective. Um, like, Naru is the POV character, like, all the time, except when we cut to the Predator doing Predator stuff. And it's not that I think these scenes are bad, because I think that these scenes tell us a lot about the Predator and how he's operating in this world. And we see, like, the escalation in terms of mm -hmm. the targets that he's hunting. So, like, I don't have a problem with the scenes themselves. I just think that it would have been cooler if the film was almost made as, as if the person who was watching it had never heard of Predator before. And so, like, they could watch the film, see a lot of weird things, and kind of wonder and try and figure it out. And then, you know, they eventually see the Predator soaked in the blood of the bear. And that's, like, the first full reveal of the Predator. And then it means we're right there with Naru. Like, we are seeing it exactly yeah. as she's seeing it. I, th I think that's the way that they should have done it, personally. Well, uh, I agree. I was going to say, this is something we were talking about a lot on our watch through. It just, yeah. This is to, I, but I do, like, that's absolutely what I want. I'm not sure they'll ever go for it though, because enough. I don't know. I don't think so. A lot of a people slow burn, almost murder mystery kind of. A lot of people setup. complain that this movie, on as it stands, is way too boring in its opening forty minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just with this, this, this oh, God damn, dude. So yeah, because oh. uh, because obviously we're trying to go through it piece by piece and tell you what stuff we're drawing from it and what I believe is there to be drawn. Um, I was quite happy with the the slow burn. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and to be honest with you, like you I said, us three, which apparently we're just like unicorns of the world, baby. Or I, I, I'm mm. only speaking for the, the people I know feel this way. I, it could be more of you. Um, it, it, when it showed the predator doing his little thingy, we were like, oh, it could have been cool yeah. if he didn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think I the less we see in the first half, it really, it really lends a whole lot to building it, um, it up, getting that big reveal. Well, so having I, I guess we're character. jumping ahead a little bit, but there's a part in the film where uh, uh, there's the hunting group is like going through the forest, and then we hold the shot after they leave. We just hold it for a couple of seconds. It's like fuck. That would have been really cool if we did that a lot. Yeah, where we'd like hold frames or have like weird framing that draws your yeah. eye elsewhere. 
and, and just um, to like fuck with you, you know, like to, to make you wonder if the if give it's a there. little bit of an olive branch, like boredom. You know how it works, everybody. Everyone can have it or not have it. Super gonna... duper duper subjective. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I, it is. Uh, but like we weren't bored. Uh, I and no, we I've seen not. the movie twice. Um, on my second run through, I had plenty. Of, I wasn't bored. Is kind of where I was going with that. It's like a meme with that because of the whole three times not bored thing. Um, <laughs> like you know, for real, like it's just a lot of people probably wanted to know if we thought it was boring. This this also comes into like pacing, I guess. Which Decker, I think you said in your um your video that you thought it was well paced, right? I thought it was probably the best paced Predator since the first one. And that's the thing. Um, I think the pacing's good as well. What yes. I'm finding, if I'm right. being completely honest, from everything I've heard from everybody, a lot of people think it's really poorly paced. Uh, oh, I, I, I I don't understand that. I don't know what to yeah. do with that. I'm just like, well, I I don't know. I I was really Something's enjoying always... all of the clues, all of the hints, all the characterization. I guess I... it's uh it's interesting because it has a hyper conventional structure as well. I think like so. it's got yeah, a it pretty quick conventional. Yeah. Like it's not an abnormal film structure at all. Very simple plot. Yes. Yeah. It's quite simple, in fact. Well, I mean, um, it's it's it can clearly be divided into your three act breaks, like absolutely, very yes. clearly <laughs> broken up. Yeah. yeah. Um, Our um, if it was me, but basically the scene we're talking about, the ship shows up, pl clear as day. Yeah. As clear as movie. day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally clear as day. It looks. You know, well, um, I just want to um, say, in the sky. It, just real quick, because I mentioned this when we were talking about it, um, but I don't know how, if you feel any similar, Decker, but like, I actually think the only thing I would change if it, I had a cut of Predator was probably removing that scene where we show it arrive on Earth. Uh, yeah, that, that is the most overt, yeah, there's an alien here kind of thing, because even the little bits of Predator you see in the first half of the movie are from the Predator's point of view, and until the hand shows up, you don't even know what is looking at them. Oh, I love And then That's still, right, man, the... it's invisible for a lot of the time. Yeah. Because you get it's, the... Um, it's, it's very, very well hidden. They show you the heat vision, and then they show you something p picks up that scorpion, and it's like clearly a hand, but the hand is clearly not human, and it's just like, oh, this is... We're doing good. This is what I mean about Predator. It came out so long ago, and yet it has so many, like, film techniques in it that feel like they've been completely forgotten in terms of yeah. how to escalate your story nice and uh, steadily. I don't know. Obviously, someone might be like, well, yeah, but that film was way more interesting because you had a bombastic, enormous action scene in, like, the first, the opening 10 minutes. It's like, yeah, I mean, you know, you could still have done that with Prey, you, I guess you could have. Schwarzenegger picks up a car and throws it at a bunch of people and they all explode. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's the thing. You can do that. And if someone said, yeah, and that's why it's more interesting, I'd be like, all right, well, I, all right. I, I don't know. I'm fine with a slow burn. Because um, I don't even know that I'd call this a slow burn. <laughs> I I don't think I, I would did. call it a slow burn. It it's a one slow and a half hour long movie. It's it's not that slow. This uh yeah the the ship shows up and it leaves. It takes it does a warp drive jump or whatever. It leaves. It's gone and it drops off the uh, our single uh, predator. Yeah. And there he is. Uh, and I would have I would have just not had this scene at all if I was going to recut the movie. Just would have removed it. Yumbus. Uh. uh da, 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 da. As, as Naru is out gathering up Orange Tootsia, she hears a commotion back at camp because it seemed... This is really weird. Uh, we didn't really... I don't know if we picked up on this the first watch through, but uh, she hears some people running back to camp. There's some commotion. She asks, what's going on? And someone tells her, a lion took Puhi. Puhi is a, a, a young man, a hunter. Um, I guess they know that a lion took someone. I don't know how that works. I was actually going to um, ask if you guys I, knew I about this. Lion, like, yeah. Is that common? Do lions ever do that? It feels like the lion would have killed him and then tried to eat he's... him. I can picture it dragging him, but like, do you see how far it would have but had how to have dragged you... him? Yeah, yeah. Like, how, would, how would you know? How, how do you have information? Is I'm guessing like they could have just said Pooey went out hunting and he hasn't come back and we found some lion tracks Seems or maybe something. So. Maybe, a, maybe one of the kids yeah. saw it or something. Maybe, but, but again, I guess like, someone... Man, that lion would have taken that, ages, man? though. It would have taken <laughs> ages to, to drag a body all that way. I just don't... Mm -hmm. Is that a thing Probably that they do? Effort, it's worth doing. Know? It's worth get putting effort into. <laughs> I guess it's, yeah, like that's a lot of energy to expend when you could go get a deer. I guess. I just like, would have thought that I would have eaten him on the spot and then ran off when it gets company, as opposed to is it dragging mm. it back? To yeah, his... that is how lions operate. You're right, and that will come up later. Well, well, maybe uh, they were like out 
as a group because we see them go out as a group all the time. So maybe they were just doing something, scouting, I don't know, whatever they do. And then they went to the lion's den, as they call it this whole time. And got too close, so maybe. Someone said he left a ransom note. <laughs> it's like, I have foodie. <laughs> These are it. my demands. Um, but very strange. I would have just reworked it to where he went out hunting, hasn't come back. Yeah. Maybe yeah. someone was going to yeah. help. Um, so she follows a search party, a hunting party. And one thing that will pop up a lot in this is that all of the other characters are pretty competent. Everyone, no one's a, no one's terrible at what they do. It seems like everyone, there's just a general basic competence that people have. People are good at doing things. Um, the someone in the back, uh, I forget his name, uh, but he hears her approaching before she is able to be seen, and he points his bow in that direction. And Tabe, who's in this hunting uh, search party, he puts down his bow because like, he knows before anyone else that it's a person coming. And sure enough, it's Naru and she shows up and um, she says, you know, I'm coming with you, you know, to look. And one of the hunters in the group says, we won't be gone long enough to need a cook. And a few of them Ooh. laugh a little bit. Thick uh, burn, bra. Sick burn, indeed. And Tabe says that she tracks well, and if they find Puhi alive, she knows medicine. Tabe is a very good leader. He is. He knows the skills of the people around him. He knows her skills. He wants to give her an opportunity to be a part of the group, even in front of others who are skeptical. He, he wants they like, need a healer. Yeah, he's like, oh, this is good. Yeah, she she's not just a cook. She actually has skills that we we might need. She should come with us. She wants he wants everyone to feel like they have. He's good at delegating jobs. He knows to get people to use their skills. He's a, he's a very good leader. If you are in a group and he's leading it, you will probably feel valued, and he's going to take advantage of you in a good way. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, let me scroll here. And then now we have a really weird scene. Um, we have a scene where you have an ant. Yeah. And the ant is so. This is this is like I don't like this scene. It's strange. So yeah, an ant starts crawling around the grass, and then it crawls onto an invisible predator as he's sitting there in the grass. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> a rat comes by instantly, a, a mouse, and eats the ant. And then, right next to the rat, there is a coiled <laughs> up snake. And then the snake, right? The the snake gets the rat. And then the snake notices that there's like something invisible right next to him. And the snake's like, whoa, what's up? This is strange. And then the predator kills the snake. Yeah. And that... <sighs> Very it's literal it's, apex it's, predator. It, yeah, it's thingy. such a like I understand film. Yeah. I very much understand <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's all it. one continuous shot, and so all the creatures are CGI and the predator CGI, and it's not the highest quality. It's, it, yeah, he, yeah, there's some good right. CGI in this, but this ain't it. No. Um, I don't even know. What are the, we supposed to believe? That it's all a coincidence that they all have to be there at the same time? Or that he c collected them all and then put them all down and was like, go. <laughs> Show me who's fight. the strongest. <laughs> fight. <Yeah. laughs> this this ant right, might be able to take out a rat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I all of there is a there is an ant, a rat, a snake, and a predator from space, all in the same <laughs> fucking spot together. We're talking with mm -hmm. it was meter. very important. They're all right next to each other. They're, the predator doesn't have to move. No. All of these creatures are in all, all of God's creatures are within arm's reach, just killing each other in the circle and of life. I could just and he the predator starts climbing to this planet. He's just spine. trying to figure this stuff out. Those ants can pick up a lot. Seriously, <laughs> he, just, he just wanted to make sure which one was the prey. This is this is the thing. I could totally see the director, or rather, the person who came up with that scene being like, "Yeah, well, okay." So the point of the scene, I'm like, I know, I know the point of the scene. Like, <laughs> I know the point. <laughs> So like, this is like it, a truly. terrible, terrible way to give me the point. There are way faster, better, 
ways for me to like they should have had predator vision as a snake hunts a rat as a snake yeah, catches yeah. a rat you get the pov of the predator hito vision looking down and the little spooky triangle appears on the snake and then that's the scene and because this is shown up later with a wolf and a rabbit yeah and i was about to mention we'll that. That. Exactly exactly that, yeah. snakes have a bit of a thermal kind of sense as well they, if i'm not mistaken like some they're do. very good at Snakes are very good at sensing vibrations. Their right. vision yeah. isn't that I great, that but I, yeah, the, uh, the but snakes feel they feel vibrations really well. I don't know, it's part right. of their bodies. That so just on the ground, you can lure the snakes away from all of the people with oh, the batons. Yeah, yeah. Save them. Now I'm directing a different movie in my head. I'm like, but what about the snakes POV going <laughs> after the rat? <laughs> I was thinking that would be oh that would be an interesting subversion though where would, we yeah. think we're seeing predator vision but we're actually seeing snake vision. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking uh, I can't remember if I said this on Open Bar or if it was when we were watching it, but um, maybe it would have been neat to have seen predator vision of the snake going after the mouse or rat or whatever, and it fails because the mouse or rat or whatever does something smart, and the predator's just curious about that because um, it seems to be. He seems to watch just classic <laughs> examples of animals killing other animals. But it would be neat maybe to, to line up with what the film's going for, where the snake's like, ah, I've got you, you're done. And then something happens and you're like, oh, that was a good move from little mouse there. Predator could just be like, interested and curious about that. And then we can think about what that means regarding our main character. Perhaps it could reflect how, what the mouse did in some way. Let's scale. I don't know. It's just kind of weird as it stands, because it's very overt. It is extremely overt, and I don't like it. There's way better ways to get this concept across. Um, so, the, the ant scene is done. Some people might call it a mouse scene. Some might call it a snake scene, but well, that's... I don't know. Who can scene. truly say? Who can, who can truly who knows, say? Whose scene is it really? Is it... Who knows? Now, the next scene is our hunting party. They are, uh, uh, sorry, who is, again, very strange, clearly a female dog. Um, find it, which is just, I guess that's what confused me that they, an error like that would be, I don't know. But sorry, find some animal poop. Oh my goodness, it's poop in the woods. Naru nice. knows that this poop, this, it's not a wolf. Tabe notices the crushed bones and stuff in there, and he says, it's a lion. And whoever, made this poo is big because that is a big shit in That's the woods poop. scat is scat tracking it's a thing so yes. naru finds some blood on some nearby leaves she notices details that others might not uh, might not pick up on and they do some tracking and they find Puhi, who is alive he's at a tree he's been yeah, scraped exactly well, though. huh if not exactly well as max Payne would say he is, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bit hurt. hurt. Yeah, he's got big scrapes across his chest. He's laying there. He's not doing so well. Uh, so she, uh, Naru starts making some herbal medicine for him, and the others get to work on making a stretcher. Everyone gets their tasks set to them. Tavi delegates all this stuff. Progress is made. Everyone is competent. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, there is a progression with That's our light. Those, those fake uh, primitive technology channels. Oh, yeah. Dude, did you see the one recently that was going viral where they made like this? I think it was like a swimming pool in a bar, but like primitive. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. But uh, they, they, they whip together that stretcher and make all that rope real quick. Well, no, they don't. It's not real, no, quick, actually. Really, uh, they... because the the progression of the light shows that they've been out a while, and it takes a while. It's not night until they finally get them loaded and are carrying yeah. them back. Okay, maybe yeah. I was just really slow in Boy Scouts <laughs> when I was making. My <laughs> I mean, it's tough to do, but these people are. I would assume these I mean, could be faster at it than most. Yeah, they're probably quite good at making this sort of thing. They know what to do. Um, you yeah. see them cutting down trees and chopping wood, and they even yeah. test the stretcher with a foot to make they sure. It wouldn't be a video way. I'm part of without me saying something stupid. <laughs> oh, we're we're all. We're yeah, all, to be fair, I don't actually know how long one would expect this to take. I just appreciate the fact that the sun did go down by the time they'd made it. Yeah, they even yeah. have to make uh, torches and stuff. 
and they get like all right. the stuff from the trees yeah, and true. yeah it's in my notes here yeah, cool. the, the torches specifically um that uh so that we get a we get a montage of naru not practicing body substance isolation which you should do in a first aid scenario but that's all right no. uh, as the men make the stretcher time passes they test the stretcher to make sure it holds weight they make torches with like mushrooms and stuff that they gather that'll keep light longer so lots of competence going around these people know what they are doing they live out here everyone's everyone knows what to do there's no losers okay. here uh let me see we get her feeding him the orange tootsie of flour, which cools his blood, which is the first setup we get for its properties. Chekhov's herb. Chekhov's <coughs> flora, yes. We're talking about Did that it. now, just the, the idea alone is a, let's call it a writing we, idea, I guess. We'll, we'll do that when we get to its payoff later, I think, will be the best time to bring it up. Because right now, all we know that it does is that it cools the blood, which makes sure it doesn't flow as fast so that people don't mm -hmm. bleed out. Um, that's all we know so far about it, very is that it cools well. you. And it seems to have a very quick, like once you start taking it, it acts very, very quickly, absurdly quickly, one might even yeah. say. But this is our setup for it, our first setup. Uh, it is nighttime as they bring him back. Uh, and I, I think night times shot pretty well in this. They do it's it, they do a pretty good job convincing me that that it's actually nighttime, not like movie nighttime. Um, but uh, as uh, as they carry Pui back to camp, Tabe says he wants to hunt the lion, right? While they're out there, I suppose. And Naru wants to join him, and he tells Naru that Puhi needs her because she's the medicine one. Mm -hmm. So. Makes sense. I think he wants her to help Puhi more than he wants to keep her from hunting in this sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, he's really good leader. Cares about people. Delegates jobs well. Um, da, 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 da. So this is uh, where we learn that the orange tootsie flower, it makes you feel very cold in the process of, of course, cooling your blood. You feel uncomfortably cold. Somebody wants to cover him up as he's on the stretcher to help him stay warm. And Naru says, no, no, no. You have to keep him cool so that the blood doesn't flow and so as he doesn't bleed out. It's better that he's uncomfortable than dead. Uh, and they listen to her. Um, that, 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 she that, she that, says, that, like, the, the line, just like, do you want it to be comfy or alive? It's yes. like, that's a good point. <laughs> I guess I should listen to you. Either. I don't know, man. Comfy is <laughs> quite a tempting option. I don't yeah. know, man. Comfy, being comfy is pretty good. I've had a rough day. It'd be really nice to feel yeah. kind of comfy right now. I, a stretcher is just what I need. Now carry me home. Peasants. <laughs> He's just like, ah, oh, my legs don't work. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> With his hands behind his head, he crosses his legs. Like, ah, oh, man, I need to hunt lions more. This is yeah. great. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Oh. oh, man, if only I had some awesome stuff to drink, whatever that may be. Now, sorry notices. A dead mouse from earlier and the skinned snake. Uh, and they see these strange big old tracks in the ground. Whoever could those belong to? She can't identify it, but she's skeptical at the suggestion that it's a bear. She's like, it has an awfully big bear. And so because she finds this strange creature out here, she wants to go leave this group and go join Tabe and warn him and tell him that there's something out here and it's spookylicious. Mm. Uh, one of the hunters doesn't let Naru go by herself. Smart, Which he tells I her. really like as a touch. I do like it, yes. It's, he I tells like Paka to go with her. Yeah. You don't want someone, if there's some creature out here prowling, and you don't want someone to be alone. You want people, you want the buddy system, just like the pool back in the old, olden days. Yeah, just, you know. So I like it. I like tip it out there for any aspiring writers, you don't actually have to split everyone up into individual people to get kills. You don't have to. Yeah. You can have them be smart. Um, Still manage yeah. to kill them all to die. Everyone's just being <laughs> generally just basic competence stuff you learn. Don't let someone if there's especially if there's a beastie around. Don't let people wander around at night alone. Absolutely. You know, keep people you know in groups. Uh, da, da, da. It said very matter of factly. It, the dialogue in this is fairly short. There's not very long lingering conversations. People tell people to do things. They do them. There's not like this big back and forth discussion. Generally, it's pretty. It's a pretty good pace for the way that this stuff happens. Yeah, because in, in um, other movies you maybe would have had this one guy. It's like, 
oh, you go with him. It's like, oh, I have to go with her, oh, but I don't want to, blah, blah, blah. And this is like, oh, there's like clearly something thought out in their tribe, I guess. It's like, okay, if this guy is like the de facto leader of the small party right now, if he says I'm going to go with this guy, I'm going to go with this guy. And it, also, Very it's, possibly, it's yeah. It's smart, so, yeah. Yeah, um, it could just be this understanding that this is what you do, so he's the one to do it, it mm -hmm. but it has that sense of everyone's just working as a unit here. Uh, the end of the scene shows up in the tree this snake spine that the predator pulled out of the snake. The predator was like, yeah, this will make a great trophy. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, we hadn't seen Apparently, he didn't think of much of a trophy. He laughed at the end. <laughs> well, I yeah. I assume that it because he pulls out the spine and the skull, and then he detaches the two, and he keeps the skull. So we only oh, see the spine. We don't see them, the skull in the tree. If we're going by the juice is out of the spine that he needs for later. He sometimes the spine the spines, juice. Uh, at least going by Predator Two. I I don't know. I, I, but yeah, it's and fair to assume he, he just took the skull of the snake. I guess. It seems to be skulls here. He takes heads a few times later, and he keeps the skull of other critters. He takes mm -hmm. the spine out with the skull, but I think he only keeps the skull, Again, which right. is same premise, you know, just details. This would just be an example of, man, if we didn't see that scene, that would have been cooler. Yep. Like, if we just saw yes. the, the, yeah, the think, skeleton yeah, yeah, yeah. of the snake, and we didn't see what happened to it. Seeing There's an of element him, of... Fun than seeing him right away. Yeah, I like there's so. some spooky stuff out here in the woods at night, and it's fucking animals up, and it's really big, and it left a big old track. That's scary, but you already showed us the predator pretty clearly. You know, so it's like, you and know, and that whole CGI circles, it's continuous scene with the, the, the circle, circle of death. <laughs> that. Um, that that of all the ways it could have been shown, that was really not the one to go for. Yeah, that was lame. I think since the start of the stream, chat have been making up names movies, but with yeah. in it. They've just been non-stop. Yeah. Like, still going. I've, I've been waiting for it to predators, stop, but yeah. it's it's it keeps going. So anyway. Some of them are pretty good. Predator Mononoke, very lovely. Predator at the gates, I love it. I love it. Very good. Um, well, now they're not going to stop, now that we've acknowledged them. No, no, we've, no. We've still... encouraged them to continue. Uh the next scene after we cut from the uh, the party with the wounded hunter, uh, we have uh, Paka and Naru walking through the woods. They're looking for Tabe to warn him. And she hears a sound in the distance and she goes to investigate. Oh my goodness, it's Taba. He's really good at remaining unseen. And he pulls her down. He says, now lay down. We don't need the torch. We'll scare away the scare away the lion. So we need to lay low. We're in its den now. I guess it's area that it calls home, essentially. Um, so they have to, uh, they, they got to put out the lights. Now, Naru tells them about the tracks and the snake. And Taba says that they're in the lion's den now. So they have to prioritize that first. That is the immediate danger. He doesn't yeah. disbelieve her. He just says, all right, but we have to prioritize the lion first. Again, awesome, awesome leader. Just knows what's up. Yeah, she's not just getting shat on all the time. Yeah. Uh, now, Naru wants to set bait for the lion and ambush it. Paka says that hunters should go out hunting, and if Naru's too afraid, she should go back to camp where she belongs. Yeah, go make oh, a salmon. Oh, yeah, go back, oh. go back and make some soup. Go cook now. some orange totsia or something. Go harvest a vegetable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Go gather your orange flower that makes people cold. Duh. How useful. Uh, now, Taba says that they will try Naru's way. He will bait it and try to lead it back to the others. Um, mm. So he says here, it's time for her kutamia. This is it. This is your time to shine. Oh, boy. The lion is deadly enough to be considered worthy prey for a Kutamia. So Well they, they they're explicit about how that works at this up to this point. Yeah, right? you have you it's, it's you something, have to hunt that will something that's hunting you. you. Like yeah. yeah, you have yeah. to you can't kill a deer or something that runs away. You have to kill something that's like either a predator creature or is very deadly. Um so it, it's it's not just oh you could kill an animal. No, that's mouse was really dangerous. That ant. That is what true. Are the parallels? 
You should you should set that up at some point. Have a mouse. You drop it on you in front of everyone else. You go. Oh, it's got me. Uh, oh, I got it. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh man, just in the nick of time. <laughs> oh, it oh, nibbled ooh. me there. Oh, it was going oh, for see, the throat. I got it, guys. It looked oh, like right, nothing, everyone. but I got, a, I got a, quite a that could, that could have bled right there. Yeah. That, That's know. the biggest mouse I've ever seen. Wow, that was incredible. All right, I get to hold the talking stick now. So, when the lion, he says. When the lion comes, you tell that thing, this is as far as you go. No more. This is it. We have the next scene where you have uh, Paka and Naru sitting in a tree. Hey. And she's S-H-A-R-P-E-N-I-N-G, an arrow. Oh, she's nice. sharpening an arrow, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I didn't want to misspell that on stream. That would be embarrassing. I would have totally fucked they that up. They would have <laughs> never stopped talking about it. They'd have been like, oh, remember would... when Rags misspelled sharpening? Could you... Hopefully, that the, the, the spur of the moment quality of that hilarious uh, bit that I just did uh, would have... Right. Yeah. I got an excuse. It's off the top of my head. I haven't spelled in a long time, so... Spelling's tough. Uh, she's sharpening an arrow. And Paka says... Doesn't matter how sharp that arrow is if she's too afraid to use it. He thinks that she's a coward. Ah. Yeah. Or she thinks that she'll turn and run when the going gets tough. And then he starts talking about how deadly lions are. They got teeth like arrows and they crush bones. And oh, wow, incredible. Um, it, it'll, oh, he says that Tabe and him will kill the lion when he gets back and she's not going to do it. So he gets pulled off the tree and the lion viciously mauls him. <laughs> oh my god, that's sudden. Bit of a yeah. jump he was, there. He was Man, off screen, so we couldn't hear him or see him at all. Yeah. I mean it, it's a it is a lion. It stalks prey. It's sneaking it up on you. You're in its den. Yep. He was too busy jibber jabbing. Too busy being a jerk. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens to he jerk. paid the price. Yeah, oh, jerks it, and trees I, get mauled. I I'm sure they'd be all um, very a second run through felt super cliche to me. Like, you know, lines of big, oh. scary, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, let me describe how deadly it is and what it'll fucking <laughs> do to you if that was to ever happen to you, which, which could happen. Uh, um, it's it, terrible, terrible death. Screams yeah. from off screen linger. We don't actually see the mauling. It's behind a tree. I that is the last that we I'm, ever hear about him again. This is what I mean. It's, oh, it is, man. unfortunately. I was about to set up a joke, and then you yeah. ruined it. Oh, <laughs> it makes me wonder how that first guy survived the initial attack, and then the dragging all yeah. that way. The, the lion never thought, I'll just shut this thing up by killing it, you know? Well, I think she, I think she says... Gentle. What? Go ahead. Sorry. Lions are surprisingly gentle. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't like Naru say that she find, finds it weird that he's alive as well, and that something must have scared the lion away? Isn't that yeah, what this is... But, well, that's once he's dragged him all the way to where he was at, she said, I'm pretty sure. Oh, right, 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 yeah, 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 fair, 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 yeah. I think... I, got you. I mean, yeah, I it, it is earlier. I don't know if I put up my notes or not. There is, but when they come across Puhi uh, by the tree, she says it's really weird that a mountain lion wouldn't just leave him alive if it, you know, attacked him like this. Something must have scared it off. And what kind of thing scares a mountain lion? That's strange. We should be concerned to a healthy degree. Yeah, um, yeah I'm on board so, with that. It's just that I would have thought the lion would have killed him well before it dragged him all that way. No. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess uh, maybe not though, right? Like if it's dragging it back to its den, and if you kill it for as long as the guy's dead, you know, I guess. You know, is that that, is that how lions me, think right? about what I, th I, I, I would imagine know, that like... lions would know that? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of animals understand the notion that you can't like kill an animal and then just leave its corpse there for a few days. Like, the, the if you're lions, eat it. they're talking and thinking, like, okay, go for the neck because if I go for the gut again, he's gonna just get poop all well, in I was his, gonna say, I've always thought and, yeah. lions typically do uh try and strangle, um, they, they, I always thought so, they execute prey uh, as soon as possible. That's... That's what lions in Africa do, but I'm a mountain lions like of the same genus. Like, are they mountain lions in North America aren't the same as lions in the Sahara, right? Well, like they've got I, different behavior. I think what happened is I think the way that the, the best way to sort of to square the circle is that Puhi was mauled on that spot. The predator was watching as it does things hunt other things. It was watching the lion maul Puhi or start to attack him 
And then the lion became aware of the predator and it scared away the lion. The predator scared away the lion. Puhi wasn't killed yet. He was just left there. And the predator wouldn't kill Puhi. So when we get back to camp, their explanation of a lion took Puhi, that's, I think that's the, the fuck up. Yeah. I think that's the part right. where they, that needs the, the fix. Okay. Well, that's how I because... see it. Hmm. I see a lot of answers in chat that aren't really helping me figure it out. Oh, like, what I'm it's, asking it's, is, like, plethora of answers. Does a, does, does a mountain lion, because I saw earlier people saying mountain lions will, like, drag their their uh, prey, like, back to their dens and drag them for a long distance as well, because they don't want to have to deal with wolves and stuff. But would it drag so, a like, human who's, like, alive? alive? Well, like, what, and the kind of terrain kind of it's got to drag him over is, a lot of it's complicated. Well, I would mm. assume that a mountain lion doesn't hunt too far away from its den, right? Like, otherwise, that's going to be a problem. I don't. I don't um, know. I guess no it, it's not yeah. a huge deal, but um, I, I think I, if they would have just said earlier, it's like, oh, they were hunting and they got one of them while they were in the den, and now we have to get them. Yeah, they would have yeah. fixed a bit. Who I mean, hunting I, a lion and he hasn't yeah, come back? That's not good. We should send some people out to look. I know this about regular old lions, but I didn't know it about mountain lions because lions will like, yeah, they they like usually strangle, they clamp, you know, they clamp their teeth around like the the neck of whatever they've hunted, and then mm -hmm. and then they munch on it like that's what i i just don't know if that's because if that's what a mountain lion does then yeah he should probably be dead right like like he'd be dead and some, then get the reason i brought it back up was because he is portrayed as fucking vicious in this scene to the point where it like annihilates that guy real quick um mm -hmm. and just makes me think like how did that other dude survive i guess yeah. we don't know i mean these Let's are see. these are I mean, pretty one of the explanations people. you could possibly have is that back. he hits the guy in his first strike and maybe knocks him out and so he, the lion's like happy to assume he's dead or something. Maybe, also, or there's like a legitimate, le there's like a struggle. Happy he, <laughs> I don't know. Yes, Springy, the riders of prey are clearly referencing African lion behavior, not mountain lion. So you make a strong observation. I'm just asking. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those jewels um, of those if babies. I, if, I, if I do a quick Google search, it says, uh, once a mountain lion has killed its prey, usually by swiftly and cleanly breaking their neck, ah. it will gorge their car uh, on the carcass until it can eat no more. Right, so oh, it no actually no. sounds a lot like regular lions then. Yeah, that's like the first Google entry I find, so... Take we really salt, trust I guess. Google. Yeah. Can we... <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> what are uh, his qualifications? From... So anyway... Apparently from the yeah. website Native Animal Rescue, if that means anything. Oh, I hate those guys. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so the lion darts away after killing Haka, and she gets back up into the tree and is looking around, and the lion is like, oh, I'm going to get you, and he jumps up and he chases her uh, out upon a limb, and she's backing up and she's got her spear and the lion's like, ah, I'm going to get you. Just you wait. And he's making lion noises and he's showing his teeth like arrows and he's saying, I'm going to crush your bones. Just like that guy said, he was totally fucking right. I didn't kill him because he was a liar. I killed him because I'm a lion. And so she's backing up on the tree. She's got her spear. And we got a really right cool shot. It is a pretty cool shot. Yeah, where it, they're up on this tree yeah. and we got the Pull, pull off the shot. Okay, mom. Let's fucking do it already, Jesus! Mala showing the lion shot God, on the tree. So is this the shot you were talking about? I don't know yet. <laughs> I assume this is yeah, the one. Yeah, that's the shot, yeah. 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 It's beautiful. Wow. Fine, I guess you get to eat tonight. Oh. Now, <laughs> the lion's getting closer. She's backing up. She's she's not standing her ground. She's backing up she's and backing up. Yeah, at the moment. And right as she's at the end of her, she at the end of her. Is there an idiom that's appropriate here? Right as she's at the edge of her limb, the the end of her stick, the out mm. on a tree limb. The end I, of her rope. She's at the end of her. And yeah, I'm, I'm, there's got to be something. Maybe I'm thinking you go out on a limb to do something. I don't know. Point <laughs> is, she right before the lions. The lions right in front of her, and she's got her spear. Oh my gosh, what'll happen next? There is a noise. Red lightning, she describes uh, it as uh, later. But there's like predator noises and a red glow from the forest. It distracts know, know, her. Know. What's that over there? This is more pressing than the lion in front of me. And she kind of slips as the lion pounces and she falls off the branch 
and she hits her head on a rock and um but not she, after uh managing to land a blow yeah on the line. it's one small hit in yeah she gets ball. a little gets a little stabberino in there as she's sort of fallen in fact let me watch this real quick i'm just a little bit of curiosity there's the distant roar yeah she's able to hit it in the side with her yeah. spear as she's falling uh, she gets there, knocked right? out um, <laughs> what yeah you kind of went yeah like oh god yeah 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 <laughs> so yeah. uh what, okay. what can be said about this i'm not a fan of this uh i i like the I... idea that she fails to just to kill it because she's hesitating but the way that they do this is kind of crazy um I don't like how she falls and hits her head on a rock. On a rock. That's, yeah. that's mm -hmm. probably my biggest issue with this. Um, then you have to go with... Well, I guess we need to go a little bit further before complaining about more things, but... Yeah, um, because it, it was interesting, the choice of words you had, which I kind of agree with. It's like, there was a distant sound, and that took precedent of her focus yeah. over the lion in front of her that's about to eat her. Feels weird, man, but okay. Um, there would have to be quite a noise for me to turn my eyes away, away from the mountain lion in front of me mm -hmm. that's covered in the blood of this this other guy that it just brutally and horrifically killed i like the idea of the scene i'm not a huge fan of how they've executed it i would have preferred if we rejig everything that um it's kind of her lack of uh focus that maybe even got the other guy killed but she makes it out or something Meanwhile, what we have here seems to be that the it's trying to argue like she was distracted by the predator and thus failed. While I would have settled easily for just she hesitated because she's just not as uh, as good at this yet. She's not experienced. Yeah. She's aware of what you're supposed to do. But I thought they were, they wouldn't do you know like how afraid she clearly was, which is great because mountain lion is pretty scary. Yeah, this this film doesn't have elements where it's total failures often it's generally like this mix of i, yeah. I see what you're doing we need and, to tighten up the execution yeah and then she's knocked out it's, only because she fell on the only rock that was perfectly head side it's like a pillow yeah. <laughs> it, just hits it is the, like a pillow yeah yeah don't have I her head hit the rock when she falls off it's fine to just have her falling and cut to black or or she lands onto another tree or a bush or something, or she tumbles, something. It's oh, more yeah. believable than a rock. I'll give it to the movie that yeah. had she just well, landed. The tall height itself is, it's, it's, it's not, not easy on the body. Like, yeah. Exactly. So adding the rock kind of adds the element of, I'm probably going to die to it. it she yeah. might have, yeah. yeah. If you hit your head on the dirt, that's still, you're hitting your that's head on the dirt. That's still enough to knock you out, like a rock. Absolutely. Man, like that I think, I think you guys are right, yeah, because... Like, I think she falls probably about two meters. If she slams her head on the on the ground after a two meter fall, that should be enough to argue she got knocked out. Yeah, absolutely. That rock knocked her out like a Frenchman's well, I mean, rifle. Right, right. Like a nine, rock. Seventeen when um Schofield uh, when he's in the in the 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 house and he falls down the stairs and that knocks him out. Yeah, but yeah you don't need to have them hit some rock <laughs> like. In fact, don't do that because rocks are really that you hit that like you're in a bit of trouble. Um, we, well, yeah, and um, quite a. I don't know what the predator's doing way out there with the. I don't know what the, that the light glow. was supposed to mean. I don't know what that um, is. Yeah, I, I don't actually Maybe know what that's supposed to be. I think the after he's party fighting for the snake hunt. Oh yeah, we're gonna get <laughs> turned up. Uh, <laughs> that snake was. <laughs> Cray cray. I think they might he might be fighting the Frenchman already, maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Because I, they I already see. know it he's here. But then the scene with the wolf doesn't make any sense anymore. That is the direction the Frenchmen are in. Yeah. Mm. Maybe that's well, what I was thinking. Is that maybe the that is... direction that France is in? She looks out and is like, <laughs> oh France is that way. Oh the Fr the Frencher. Well, I uh I could actually I can double check to see. Yeah, but that that's the, the idea that I got because I, I I don't think the spaceship is just floating in the woods around. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but if it's like it's like this red color, which means that it would have been like one of these, uh, uh, the, the, those wristband explosions. Um, but that's only a one-time thing. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, whatever. I, I'm it's willing weird. to settle that it's, he's doing something with the. French I guess he's doing. Yeah, yeah. But don't we have the problem that the scene that with the wolf we see that doesn't make any sense anymore? Because then you already had something found that is more worthy of prey. I suppose you could argue he's um, 
Maybe he's bumped into a couple of Frenchmen distant from their camp and mm -hmm. looking for him, but he also stumbles across the wolves who fucks around with that for a bit. I don't know. Okay. This one's yeah. rag. She got knocked out and the lion didn't eat her defenseless body? No, because it has a spear in it. I, um, I think you could make a better argument than that, that her brother may have shown up and the lion was like, fuck this, I'm already mm -hmm. injured. Yeah. I, well, there is that. I think if you, predators in particular really don't like to get hurt because a predator relies on being mobile and healthy and able enough to go out and get its prey. Probably so they yeah. predator, do not really... They try to not get hurt. Um, an injury to a deer is not as big of a deal because a deer can just eat whatever's around it. But if a mountain lion or a predator or a wolf gets injured, then it's a lot more difficult for it to get its food. That's why so many of them ambush and things like well, that. Well, I'm assuming they brought it up so, because she's knocked out, so the lion would probably be like, well... Yeah, well, why didn't it just kill her? Well, it's probably hurt really bad, and so it doesn't probably might not know she's knocked out. So it's just hightailing it. It's like leaving. Like, I got hurt pretty bad. I'm going to leave. Or I got hurt in some capacity. I'm just going to leave. Uh, especially now that my cover is blown, so to speak. I just, I, I mean, I don't know why we wouldn't assume that the, he was in, he was set in baits. So we would have heard the screams. So my brother would have been there yeah. pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I assume at this point he is definitely on his way. Tabe is coming. Uh, coming. When, when we, the next scene, she wakes up at home in her teepee. And her mom's there, and she's making some soup. Uh, and she says, your brother carried you home. Uh, so, yep, he was there. He didn't go after the lion. He got her, brought her back. And when Naru asked where the lion is, uh, her mother says, Tabi went after it. Uh, fair enough. She says, drink this tea. And Naru's like, no, nah, I got to. I gotta go out and get it. Uh, oh, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I skipped a little bit ahead. There's some stuff here. Um, so, she's, yeah, Naru says that she wants to go out and find him. Mother says, no, drink this tea. She says that Puhi survived because of her medicine. And she says mm -hmm. this in, a, in this very approving, proud manner, almost as if to nudge her in the direction of, see, like, we were really happy to have you doing things that I guess are, are not hunting, right? Th these are very yeah. meaningful things that you do. We're proud of you for it. Um, and it shows that her, her medicine is good enough to save people's lives. It's, she's good at it, you know, if you need more of that. Um, she says to, uh, the mother says, if your brother needed you, he wouldn't have brought you back here. Yeah, Which, it's like, oof. <laughs> Which I think is, if anything, it's the mother knows her children very well. Yeah. He is very competent, and he can... I think she knows that Tabe can assess his own skills accurately. Tabe doesn't... He, he If Tabe thinks he could do something, he probably really can do it. He doesn't try to overvalue his own skills. Um, why can't you be more like your brother? <laughs> why can't you be more I'm like trying to be. <laughs> Not <laughs> like that. Uh, she says here, now this line is a little strange here. She says that the, the only, Kitamiya isn't about, uh, like, like hunting. It's, it's about the, the only reason for Kitamiya is to survive. And that's odd to me mm -hmm. that the yeah. only reason that you would go out and hunt something that can hunt you is to survive a situation that you're putting yourself into. I, I guess she's... it would be maybe that you would say that if the time comes that you do encounter like a predator animal, the reason why you've you've proven that you can do this is so that you can do it when you need to, not yeah. because you want to. And you'll that would be my reading of it. She okay. thinks you th you think the reason for Katamia is to prove you can hunt. Um, show the next line. But there's only one reason to survive. Yeah, like, I, I don't see the problem with that. It would be that, so that if you were to go out and then encounter, like, a bear or something, you, you have know the capacity what to do. To survive you, you've encounter. demonstrated that you can defeat, like, anything that you could ever encounter, but it's not for the sake of going out oh. and hunting bears and mountain lions. It's so that if the time comes, if you need to be ready to do that, you can do it. Ah, uh, okay. That would be how i read into it. Later that night, 
Tabe returns with the slain lion. He's carrying it with him. That thing's big too, but he carries it back and he's got blood on him and he's got the lion head. And man, whoa, wow, you did a great job. He, he took out that lion and boy, there's a bash. He gets to hold the fancy talking stick and everyone's dancing around. They're having a gay old time. Yeah. Things are great. He's really, yeah. he is, wow, what a. He's, a, he's the new war chief now, he's the successor. Is. Maybe that's how it works. She says I mean, she, she even, does refer to him as war chief later, yeah. but I almost I almost wonder we, if that's well. We also hear that he is in a bad way and he's getting worse, so he's probably looking for a successor. I think and that now was he yeah, came back yeah, his big prey, bad knee or something. She was saying, right? Yeah, and yeah. it's getting worse. Um, so we have one of one thing. Interestingly, one of the hunters in the group uh, that was with us earlier. He seems kind of a, almost like upset that Tabe gets the glory. And I don't know if it's jealousy or frustration. It's hard to really say, but he's almost like annoyed that Tabe was the one who was able to I know you're get about. the lion. I don't think they do much with that at all, do they? They they show it happening. I think it's more so just for us to see a bit of dynamism in the response to this event. But Yeah. Yeah. I, I forgot that scene that, that happened. It's really short. I watched a movie twice. Like it doesn't so. <laughs> it doesn't play into anything like uh, it doesn't inform yeah. anything. It's just... No, it's just like this is his reaction to that. Um, now, in the... the dentist. Wait, what the about dentist? dentist? Nine out of ten hunters <laughs> love Tabe. <laughs> this is the one uh, angry one. <laughs> we don't talk about the tenth hunter. He's upset. Uh, now, in the crowd, while they're all dancing around, Tabe notices that Naru's leaving. And he asks, where are you going? And he even says, we did it. Yeah, it's being nice and everything. Yeah, we did it. And she's not happy that the lion's dead. She says that there's still something bigger out there. And Tabe says, well, if there is something out there, I'll get it. Oh, he, he, he would. He's a Chad. He, he probably very well might. Um, Naru wants to go back out and find it far beyond the ridgeline. And she will go alone if she has to. But Tabe says, you can't. And she says, do I need your permission, war chief? Almost, of course, in a, like this mocking tone. Mm -hmm. And they have this exchange. He says, it's not about permission. You can't. I, I had to carry you back. She says, I can hunt. And he says, you're right. We didn't do it. I did. You yeah. tried it. You just, you just couldn't bring it home. And I like that. Yeah, what is that? Oh, yeah, I was about to say this thing you said. Go go ahead. I really like this interaction. It shows that he's, at first, when he sees her leaving, he's, like, legitimately curious why she's leaving. He's like, we should celebrate because we did this. This was, like, a team effort. And he only turns the credit to himself when he feels like he needs to, out of a place of, I think, what is sincere kindness, dissuade her from going out and trying to kidnap or. Kid Why did I say kidnap? Go <laughs> kidnap the lion. Go out, go out and hunt this other uh, apparently bigger creature. He yeah. is sad almost. Like he doesn't want to tell her that she can't do it, but he feels like he needs to because he's legitimately concerned for her getting herself, you know, yeah. killed. Um, he's not just trying to be like, oh, I'm amazing and you're shit. You know, he's he yeah. has he's like he's he doesn't want to tell her this, but oh, he but uh, it's kind of true. But it is true, yes. <laughs> it is true, yeah. I didn't want to. That's why he's, that's why he's like, you can hear it in the delivery. Uh, he's like hesitant to act, even say it because he goes, Yeah, like, he uh, sighs. And you he... tried, but uh, didn't bring it home. Well, he's thinking of the nice way to say the nicest way that yeah. he could say it, but still say what he needs to say. It's like, you just, you don't have what it takes. It's almost like, I wish you did. I really do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but I, I don't think you are good enough. I just don't think you are. It's going to um, get you killed. If I wasn't there, you know. Correct. How do you feel about the argument that this scene uh, doesn't do well for her likability factor to the audience? I think that there is a few times that this kind of thing pops up. I I will say I like Naru a little less on a rewatch, and I like Tabe more. I like the scales yeah. have shifted. I, I have I lots to say that. on the subject of how much I like her. Um, uh, we go. There are a lot of things that I like. There are some things that frustrate me, but we'll get into those when we get into those. 
she sees, I guess she sees a bigger picture in the sense that there's something big out there. Um, there is, she's willing to do it even if nobody else goes with her. Um, there is, um, like what? What were you? What are you getting at? Well, so I've heard many of these arguments from many people who've seen the film that um, this scene is annoying to watch because it's such a great moment for someone that she clearly has strong feelings for, family member, but she just can't. She's so fucking bitter that she uh, couldn't do X, Y, Z, and she's made it all about how much she's been screwed over instead of involving any level of celebration for someone uh, else. Yeah. Um, culturally speaking, one could argue that this is a huge moment, and she's like completely shitting all over it and um the brother just goes above and beyond man what a legend yeah Tabe's amazing um <laughs> I, I i i see what you mean i absolutely see what you mean i think mm. i think that absolutely does hold some weight especially think, given it, it, what their relationship is sort of portrayed clarify, as before this these are choices she can make it's just that you know these are choices she's made now <laughs> that's, that's that i i understand i i think i think that's a i think that's totally reasonable because their their relationship is portrayed as quite good, and he's done nothing but give her chances and yeah, I would um, um, you know set her up for success, and he's just like a really stand up guy. I would consider tweaking it to the point of she celebrates with everyone else, but it's a little bit feigned, and he notices that, and then pokes at it, pokes at it, pokes at it until he gets a bit of truth out of her, which is the it's Maybe. bullshit that I was left behind. Then he'll be like, "You were knocked out," and then she could be like, "Yeah, but." That was that was our kill, and then you you know you just have that conversation out. Why not? Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe after the party, he sees her sitting alone, like she's looking off into the, you know, wilderness, and he's like, "Yo, what's up? What are you thinking about?" You know, yeah, every, but... everything's kind of settled down, and then she's like, "I mean, there's still something out there. That there's still yeah. what made those tracks? What skinned that snake? Like, there's something out there, and those noises I saw, that those lights." And as someone just said, um, he fucking saved her life, and she's not really like yeah. gives a shit. This is just which is annoying yeah, a little true. bit. It is annoying, yeah. Um, the the real point here is that Tabe is the main character, and that he is <laughs> fantastic. And Captain Chad. Captain Chad, absolutely. Um, so da 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 da. There is one other aspect of this that I really don't like. And I, there doesn't seem to be any recognition that Pocket yep. is dead. Yeah, yeah exactly. Correct. That is a problem. This is, there doesn't seem to be any acknowledgement that he's dead, and horribly so. There doesn't. We just don't. We don't get anything. Where's, where's for his that. mom? Shouldn't she be yeah, here? He's, <laughs> yeah, she's here. Everyone knows. Somebody. <laughs> oh my god, we have to put a pin in that really quick. Live art chain just made this. Oh shit, what? And it's oh. so good. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, that is Oh, fun. that's amazing. <laughs> oh wait, I got to size it up. <laughs> <laughs> the tomahawk there. <laughs> That is beautiful. It's fucking great. Oh, I love it. This is Rax <laughs> hanging out with. Um, wait, is, is uh, that's sorry. I was, I was just a, it's talking to movie, yeah. Well, no, I, I mean, we're how, not all look the same, Rags. Yeah. I Why did I call you Rags? So, so, I'm Rags. So I have, I have reinterpreted the image wrong in two ways. <laughs> I was about to say it's Rags <laughs> with. Captain Chad. I was like, oh no, it's not, is it? <laughs> <I was like>, <laughs> <laughs> the rags Captain Chad ships will start pouring we can, in. We can, with a few edits, <laughs> just need to add some, <laughs> some shade. Absolutely. We'll, we'll get there, we can do it. But yeah, that's awesome. That's really amazing. That's great. Yeah, that's I love really it. Great. It's good stuff. This is the kind of reveal that we needed for the Predator in this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they turn to the camera, totally break hey. the fourth wall. Uh, but yeah, so Paka's dead in this hunting party, and no one really seems to acknowledge that or say anything. Yeah. He just disappeared. His existence after this just completely is gone. And it's not like he, he was, was a kind of a jerk to her. Maybe he was just <laughs> generally an asshole, and everyone's just okay with this. It was like, <laughs> oh, thank God he died. He died. It's, it's like, <laughs> we got the lion, and Paka's dead. Best oh, day man. ever. Their plan was to kill him all along and make it look like the lion did it, but it actually killed him. And they're like, oh, thank God I don't have that wing on my conscience. 
They're just like, oh god, who did did Paka not make it? Then they go, ah, I'm not sure. Oh no, that's horrible. Paka, no, no, he's right there. He's oh right, there. right, yeah. <laughs> oh, he died. He got he got killed horribly. He got pulled off a tree when he was talking about teeth and yeah. arrows. It was, yeah. They just like don't believe it was the lie. They're like, did you kill him? Just tell us. <laughs> just no, we, we actually didn't. We, act we really yeah, that's didn't. How they say it. Like... We actually didn't. No, it, yeah. uh, he legitimately got killed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I did watch it though. Okay. I did oh, watch. Yeah. I did watch when it happened. It was. The yeah, I mean his body's still out there. Okay. You can check it out. It's by a tree. It's 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 fucked up, man. But you yeah, can probably it's, still. Yeah. It's rough. No amount of orange toot the yellow uh, orange tootsie is gonna fucking save him. He's cold yeah, already. He, he's he's done though. Jokes aside, it is a problem with the movie. Yeah, um, it would have been nice if they had like a, I don't know, like a little scene where they have like a little, dude, was, I don't know, burial cere ceremony or it's something. It's yeah. right up for, you have Captain Chad be celebrating his victory and then be like, however, today is, you know, we, we, we've, it's not like we, we've had a great loss regardless of this uh, yeah. victory. This victory comes yeah. at a cost, that sort of thing. It's not that any character forgets about him, it's that the movie forgets about him. Clearly. Therefore, Clearly everyone the in the movie him. forgets. This I would have put more be... weight into Naru's failure as well to acknowledge yeah. that... this could be you, dude. You could have the yeah. fucking mother of that guy be like, "What? Where were you? Why didn't you? Like, how did he die and you made it? What? What? What happened? Did you run?" It's just like I, 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 and I, probably I... could stand up for her and say she fought him and heard it, but it just what you know she she fell, uh, not got knocked out of commission. Um, you could have a scene where maybe they're maybe because they value her as a hunter so little, they don't even think about her being in the party. They're like Tabe, how could you have let this happen? You know, you're the you're the one who yeah, should be you know, the, the in charge. There could be different reason. ways to look at this. We call narrative juice to be there, but it unfortunately mm. is forgotten by the the writer, which is a really common <laughs> issue. It almost makes me feel like we try and intertwine some sort of bits of advice as we go through judging any kind of writing in any movie, but that does seem to be a big one. It's like don't forget stuff like this yeah it, it adds a great see. deal of weight to hunting in, in a, a kutamia and this is what could happen to you like this is dangerous business you're not hunting deer in the woods apex sliding around that's all that's all fun we love to do that we do it's it often less, in fact. If, if you die everyone's just gonna move on and forget about you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just don't do a kutamia yeah, it's just they, they do a sequel they tried like Cover this up by being like, "Oh no, that's how, just, that's how we just deal with death. That's the, we, none of us acknowledge the person. That's how death, we do it." Death? What's that? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, nah. things are great. That's not oh. invented yet. We've discovered it's beneficial um, to the tribe if none of us acknowledge death. Yeah. Weakness of the film definitely an issue. We didn't like to see it, um, but it doesn't. It luckily it's not something we shoulder on a an individual character. It's just the movie forgot about Paka. That sucks. They shouldn't forget, but apparently they did. They Lame sauce. So, everyone gets uh, what I assume to be uh, totally smashed. Uh, Hell yeah. And the next morning, it is the same as it ever was. We She wakes up, the same people walk past her. She gets her bag, leaves the teepee. Tabe still, he's still snoozing, you know? And she goes out, and she's like, you know what? Fuck this. If um, she says, da, 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 if they don't see, I'll show them. So she grabs her gear and she sets off to go and hunt this thing. Um, doesn't. Uh, yeah, that's, I, yeah, that, that's what happens. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it might be the one time cool. where there's just nothing else to say. That is what happens. That's, she, she, she's that's walking what like in the through everyone else as they're all doing the commute yeah. to work she's walking through them the exact opposite direction just yeah. pushing through her whole tribe to do what she must she it's yeah the, the sari goes with her and she just sets off goes and does it definitely like she's going to break this she could like, like it, not, I think it's not literally up pushing and... she's moving out of the way she's not shoving them out of the way as she goes <laughs> it's like a huge horde <laughs> of these people the fuck out of like, my yeah. way. get the fuck out of my way God, someone slept with on their moccasins wrong or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> she, I, I think you have that moment where she gets out of the tent and everything's just like it always is every single day. And she, she's like, oh, should I do this? I could just carry on. But she's like, no, I'm going to go hunt. So she makes her decision. Off she goes. And then we get nature shots. We get her walking across the wilderness. Lots of different scenes of the terrain and the forest and a, a lot of variety. 
in the topography that we see. Um, it's hard to tell how long she goes or how far she goes. She just she goes. She goes off and she travels. Does go. Um, she happens upon some bright green predator blood, which sure is a coincidence. Um, she she's out here walking. As far as I know, she's not tracking. She's just kind of going out looking uh, for something, and she happens yeah. across the the blood of the predator, which is bright green. And the same footprint next to it, which is which is quite a coincidence, I think, that she just is able to pick it up. It, it isn't, you know. I guess is it I don't to, know. Is it to it's, try and tell us that she's on its trail? Um, which doesn't really I don't make think sense she had a trail she, to begin well, with. This is she, the first thing she notices. We know from how this movie goes, she's not on its trail anyway. It's on hers. So. Mm hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. She what just to, sort of I, stumbles I, I, across it. Yeah, I don't know. I just. She's some blurred. And she does uh, take a stick. She measures the foot print with a stick. And this is this is a real thing. This is one of the things we learned in Search and Rescue, in fact, was how to determine, like, the you could determine the speed that a person's generally moving by the distance between their steps. You can use okay. the foot size to get a decent estimate of how big they are. Things like that. Um, could you, with a stick, determine whether they like the Star Wars sequence? Get that out of the way. We well, need to know. This is an alien from space, so I would imagine it would be quite insulted. <laughs> He'd be like, "What is this bullshit? None of it makes what do you, sense." Do you think this is what space is like? Fuck no. Palpatine ain't coming back. That's ridiculous. Uh, I want to get the predator's opinion on Star Wars. Maybe one day. Let me see. So we have a scene here, another predator scene, of a wolf chasing and catching a rabbit. And the predator watches in Hito vision, and he gets into a fight with his wolf, and he takes the wolf's trophy, does the whole spine skull thing. Another one of those scenes that I think we could have cut this way short, where we have it watching the wolf stalk the rabbit, and that's kind of all you really need without this, oh, there he is, he's fighting the wolf, and he stabbed it, well, so there's a and now he's... The conversation to be had now as well about um, what this predator is up to, and it's like it looks like it really is because uh, was it meta information? Um, I remember Fringy you mentioned it. The, the, they want us to believe this is the first predator to enter Earth. Uh, I believe that that's yeah, that's how it's meta. been presented. This is the first time, and I think that's a mistake. I don't it's, like that. It's meta um, information in the sense that the movie doesn't say anything. The movie doesn't. Yeah, I don't that. think so the they movie can change reference. their mind. Um, yeah. yeah, they can absolutely change their mind. And that so, is lame. Why would you say that? Is it just to be like, oh, you're going to see this see movie it. now? That's the tipping point where you weren't going to see it before, but now but, that you know it's the first Predator, you'll come and see the movie. I assume the point for that was to do with this. See so the Predator this... hunting dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, that would Like be it's cool. learning about Earth creatures? The, the, yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm the pioneer. None of the Predators know anything about this planet. Let's fight. Let's go and see who's, who's the top dog and fucking kill them. Okay, so that's... ants definitely are not <laughs> Ants are low. <laughs> Uh, and it's got a little and notepad low. ants yeah. low and it, it marks the line low I don't know and if... then it has rat slightly higher i gotta leave some space in between them just in case they're critters in between that line that i missed and then snake yeah. is oh we're gonna a lot of space for the snake lots of there's a snake up here oh and then there's me i'm gonna put me in a oh, smiley and... face but, it's like earth, is that really the only argument uh, so some people are saying that goes against avp's law and it's like guys can we fuck AVPs? Okay, law? so the question, genuine question for you in chat: If something went against the predator's law, would you say anything about that? <laughs> like, and so you're like, so mm -hmm. why are you giving AVP all this room? I thought we all hated. Wolf wasn't autistic well, at all. I don't want to. The predator had to collect the spine of this wolf so it could use those juices to make those predator dogs no. later. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the thing. AVP. I thought that all the Predator fans considered that non-canon. Yeah, so did I. I didn't realize that we respected what AVP set up, that it was Predators farming aliens to be killed on a temple every however many years on Earth. That shit was weird as hell. I don't know why we're... You want that to be canon? <laughs> I don't know. I There's stuff in that movie you could have enjoyed everything, but I feel like if, we, if we've got to pick Prey being canon or AVP... Um... I don't know. I feel like the choice is pretty easy. 
And I'm just gonna say that yeah. if ever there was a sequel, we can fucking ignore that rule that this is the first Predator here, okay? We don't need to... Whatever. You don't Absolutely. need to have that be a rule. Um, yeah, just you don't want to write off all the things that happened yeah. between se before 1719. And you know all what? The cool shit people would want to see. If someone said, like, in an interview, like, well, I, but what do you have to say about the other director that said this? I'm like, oh, I, I, I agree with him. I'm pretty sure he meant that this is the first of this kind of Predator. We, we, we've had loads of predators before this one, just not this kind, okay? Yeah, we're all good. You've got a lot of wiggle room. There's all kinds of different, because as we discover it later, the predator looks different than the one I think we see before. It's a different kind, and it's been it, hundreds of years. thing about past, its, so. its exact physio physiology. Uh, now, I, I, I was, I kind of assumed it was more like a super predator. Uh, a lot of people called me out on that, saying, no, I'm not stupid. Uh, but. Looking at it still, I'm like, no, but that's got a, it's, it's head, it juts forward a lot. Um, you, you're talking about the, the lads from uh, Predators, right? Those? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the one from The Predator is the Upgrade Predator. Fuck that. No. That ain't, we get, <laughs> get rid of that. See, I'm even <laughs> willing to yeah. accept the Predators as can. I'm like, I'll take that, sure, but I ain't, I ain't letting The Predator, and I'm certainly not no letting way. AVP 2. I don't think we should allow AVP 1. Let's just keep it nice and simple okay because uh yeah, yeah the, i think we can all look well maybe we should save this conversation for a little bit later but as to the the nature of this predator it seems as though it's pretty inexperienced at least with earth um i think yes. we can go further with how inexperienced we believe it to be even from the fact that it took damage from this wolf um that to me was you know thinking about it because i've seen so many reactions to that i've seen all of them some people say like oh, i was so awesome when that happened some people are like how dumb is this predator to have fucking been hit by a wolf um you know it, it, i don't know it's it's like it's complicated right because he doesn't know exactly what he's dealing with with this thing uh but but at the same time maybe it should never be able to beat a predator because he's so op i don't know what do you guys think about that he caught the snake before the snake could finish its strike and a snake strike is pretty fast yeah. But, you know, a wolf is quite literally a different creature. Doesn't Observing a wolf hunting a rabbit doesn't exactly say how a wolf would fight a predator. And so, this predator does understand that it is an extremely resilient creature. The predators can take a pounding and be okay. Like, they are very resilient to damage. And it probably is like, I, I, that thing is not going to be able to kill me, probably. So it's I don't have to be like at the super super top of my my ultimate game. Like I have to fight more than I've ever fought before. It probably knows it has some wiggle room, and it wants to almost just like you know it, like it like it's almost inviting it to hit him. Like it, if it hits if it bites him, it's okay. You know, it's it's not like I'll die or even really get injured much because I know how resilient I am. I think the scene just wants us to think the wolf did it so fast that the predator didn't know how to deal with it. I think that's it. Yeah, maybe. Um, and that's just, that's going to be on everybody individually if they find that to be, uh, acceptable or not. I think we can put it on a big list that ends up concluding something about this Predator, and I'm not saying that in a way that's complimentary to the film. Um, it is, yeah, um, we, oh, we can know. get to that later yeah. when it comes to its, you know, head later on, but uh, mm -hmm. we, we have this progression already. We have the snake, and we have a wolf. Hmm. All right. We're moving up in the food chain, so to speak. Um, let's see. The next scene cuts to Naru failing to hit a rabbit with a tomahawk. Uh, she misses. The rabbit's there. She throws the tomahawk. It gets away just in time. And she throws at another rabbit and she misses. And she has to go and retrieve her tomahawk again. And so oh, she gets an idea. She devises a essentially like a, a bark string rope to pull back the tomahawk and catch it so that she didn't have she doesn't have to retrieve the tomahawk every time she throws it. And she spends some time practicing with that. A little Which bit of she time. never messed yeah. up the catch part on that. It's yeah, so that this is the thing yes. that came to my mind first. <laughs> the catching of you pulled uh, it. This is a tomahawk flying through the air now towards you, and you're able to grab it by the shaft every time without where because you want to avoid taking injuries, of course. Um, yeah. That, and I think the, you the issue is... You want to do the normal thing, where you show her improving instead yeah. of getting right straight away. It's mm -hmm. it's one of those, like, it's one of those weird things about the movie, where the movie says, you know, she's trying to be creative in order to make up for a shortcoming, 
And she see, she does practice with it. You know, she's not just. I'm an fine with her being sudden. creative about it. Like, yeah. I'm fine with her making this, and I'm fine with her using it. I just think it would have been cooler if we saw oh. her like getting better at it instead of just nailing it straight away. Yeah, pull it back there. and whack herself in the thumb. Because this seems <laughs> hard. It's, this seems really hard. <laughs> like, well, it's gonna it's it's gonna change the whole behavior of your ex. Exactly. Like tomahawk, this, like, because yeah, of course we see that she's pretty good at using her axe, um, but pretty it's good. different now. Like you've it's changed your different. tomahawk into something yeah. very different, which that's cool as like a thing to give you an edge, like a new way to well, use it. It's just like, god damn, you got good at this really quick. We'll but skip to even the got better. Yeah, we'll skip to the end to to round this out because yeah, there's as she's practicing with her tomahawk, comma or whatever, uh, she notices that there's just a rabbit sitting there three inches away. <laughs> And it's just hanging out, and I'm like, no, yeah. that rabbit would have fucked off. That rabbit would have run off. <laughs> it's not, it's not yeah, just that's there. true. And then we see her with a whole bunch of rabbits on her back that she's killed. Like this thing is what made the difference, which I don't believe. I, yeah, um, same. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna be a little harsher on this. So I actually feel like this is overcompensation for uh, the matter of. of, of female characters being written so i think that there's an awareness at least to some degree that we we don't want to have it be that she's amazing with this thing so we need to show her training with it and they all agreed and they were like we did it there's the scene and it's like yep it's done like, you you did that really like you have you didn't think about what people want when they want to see the character train which is that we need to mm -hmm. see them being bad at it and then better and better not amazing it's, at it the whole time. It's <laughs> montage. It's so it's mont like that's what you meant to do. You meant to have her screw it up in the background. It's like you almost yeah, did exactly. it, guys. You were almost there. Then you, then yeah, you, did you that. were right and there. The other part, well, yeah, because all you needed, a lot what, of places. what you needed was the part where she does it. She pulls it back. It's flying right at her face, and she ducks as yeah, like that's... you know, like before mm -hmm. it decapitates her. You need to have Tabe training her how to throw a tomahawk. Um, you don't even need, because I pres she seems to be pretty good oh, at so throwing. The I was gonna say wait, when it's a tree, she's really good. But the, um, well, I guess what's on a, what's on critter, she's not nearly. The head of the axe. Target for the head of the axe was given to her by her dad, right? It's, and yes, the mum says like the whole reason you have that is to help you with, you know, harvesting vegetables, flowers, whatever, not for hunting. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, well, that's, you know, so it's like, I'm willing to believe that because of the nature of her upbringing that she's actually familiar with throwing the axe. The problem I have here is that she should have no familiarity with fucking catching it. Abs it's yeah, it's the catching it. Exactly. exactly. That yeah. couldn't, there's no natural way for it to be familiar in, in terms of dexterity with the with catching the physics of and everything. And no, axe. Nobody would do this. If Out you had it. it on a string, you'd pull it back, but you wouldn't like try to pull it back so that you catch it out of the air. I was actually going to ask would, about that. It's um, super dangerous. Surely the reason why this was a surprise, at least to me, was the fact that surely they didn't do this for a good reason. Like it didn't work. Well, well, yeah, because th I was I was just about to mention that when you throw an axe in a certain direction, you throw it by the shaft. So the shaft is spinning towards the target right. as it's moving. Yeah. When you but when you're trying to catch the shaft as it's coming towards you, that's it's almost like you have to catch it like backhanded, um, or you have to catch it on the top. You have well, to. You have I, to I guess it's just that you think about the, the number of variables. I thought There's you were going a, a different direction with that. I was gonna. I thought you were gonna say like, so when you when the axe throws and it's spinning as it goes toward its target, isn't the rope attached? We're gonna fuck that up, at least. It, it will change Sometimes. its trajectory. It's added weight. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, there's it's a lot of things to it, right? The, the, yeah. the leverage the rope has in general is just going to weigh the axe in a particular way. And then you've got the fact that if it spins in the right direction, it could catch itself on the rope, could it not? It Correct. could, yes. yes. And, so, and so you'd have to... It, it would be... A, like, you would have to know if you were trying to catch this thing that you have to put your hand above it so that the shaft is coming towards you as you grab it. But she, because if you're going to catch it on the bottom, you'd have to like reach and backhand it. So it's really not. You see, I would imagine I that you, we've made it a lot more complicated. Because I, I now I'm not sure how true this is, but I remember back in, you remember in Modern Warfare Two, there was like the throwing knife, and then they had the tomahawk in, in Black yeah. Ops, and how like I, I remember at the time something I heard was that the way that it is with throwing knives is it has to do with the way that like the the hilt is balanced and like where you throw it from. Like, that you need to throw it in a certain way to make sure that it's going to actually, like, the sharp end is going to hit the target rather than the, uh, the, the, um, hilt. 
Yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. I imagine like pulling it back, it's like you've now added a lot more variables onto an already difficult task. Um, like Jesus, man, like this this is probably making it a lot harder to use. Like I'm not even in general. You get super of... nitpicky. I'm not even sure how long that rope will last. How many times you throw that and pull it that it's gonna last before it just tears I'm... and breaks. I guess yeah, really I'm pretty broke. skeptical of the rope strength. We'll see the rope strength but, come into play soon, yeah. in particular. Well, I'm, I'm trying to make clear, but... I am skeptical of every single element of this thing. Like, I I know <laughs> oh, it's yeah. cool, especially, but... Especially when it seems like it's a waste of time, because the rabbits are alive because you missed them. Yeah. And when you miss them, you go for the rabbit runs in the same direction you're running to retrieve your tomahawk anyway, what do you save by being able to pull it back like faster Agreed. if the rabbit's bolting? Like it, this doesn't. You'd be chasing portrayed... after it anyway, right? So like you'd yeah, be heading towards I... your axe um, this... or tomahawk. Also, Shad, yeah, th Shad should totally make a video. Now you have a maximum length that's a lot shorter. That's true. It is yeah. a lot shorter. That's, yeah. This is portrayed as a weapon where once she adds the rope to it, it changes everything, and now she's yeah. way better at catching rabbits. Was, when I just don't believe oh, that that would be the case. Like, you need to practice on throwing, and aiming seems to be the issue. When, you um, miss your shots. When we were watching it, I said that it, it reminded me of Kratos. But the thing is, Kratos is, is magic. He pulls it back with magic. magic yeah. it's, it's not attached uh, by Apparently was actually inspired by God of War. Someone told me yesterday. Really? Um, I was wondering yeah. if it was inspired it, by Scorpion with his, like, um, hook thing, you know? Well, I, I mean, yeah. I, since I'm super familiar with both, I my brain went straight to God of War before uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, same, there. because I was thinking that too. Which is yeah, interesting, right? Because like, it makes a lot of sense chaos. because we see we is... see that weird shield later on that's like straight out of God of War 2018 as wanna, well. So re yeah, that's true. I just want to restress. I, I, I can see that's true. Magic. They're magic. Yeah, <laughs> they're like yeah, weapons yeah, from Ares yeah, yeah. in, in Greek mythos. There's no strings attached. <laughs> nice. Magic. No well, no, there are no strings attached. They're chains. You fool. I thought no, you I'm played talking God about War. God of War 2018, the, the axe you have, the Leviathan axe. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Now, but that's yeah. not so a smart. That's an axe. Uh, what do you mean it's so uh, smart? This is a tomahawk. That's an axe. No, it's not so smart, I said. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, look, it's <laughs> getting very it confusing was, metal. I thought it was a tomahawk <laughs> in uh, God of War. What is it in common? I thought it was the Leviathan axe. Yeah, it's, it's an axe. I, he throws I, it, but I don't like, know. I thought there's a difference between a tomahawk. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, with you. I, is, I thought the axe was the umbrella term, and just tomahawk was like a subset. Oh, sure, but I mean, there's a difference between like a long sword and a like a like, you know what I mean? Like it's still they're different. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't say a long sword is not a sword, right? Oh no, I wouldn't. But I I was saying that this is a tomahawk, and that's like a, a big old axe, like a chungus axe. Well, that's why the, the uh, whatever difference, like I'm sure they're different axes in build. I just mean that that's why I believe yeah. the in inspiration idea is probably true. But I, right. I, I haven't got a quote or anything. Um, yeah. It just I'm amused by the idea of how impractical this thing would be, and that they modeled it after a game that's using magic to make it work. That's just kind of funny. With well, right, a super strong guy fiction. who can throw it millions of miles. Well, the thing, <laughs> the predator has. Heck, that's you know. I was just thinking, like, how maybe she could have stolen it for no. <laughs> let's just let's just, let's just <laughs> no. Because I'm trying to think of all the payoffs I'm... they get with this, and I was thinking, it's like, oh, there's kind of a few actually. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch. So, do do you throw tomahawks? Because like I, because I remember th this is where because all I have reference to a lot of the time is from video games. Because in Assassin's Creed Three, Connor uses a tomahawk, but you know, I don't think he throws it at people. He just uses it as uh, a, I think I it's that weapon. But then in Black it... Ops, they throw tomahawks, so I guess sometimes. Yeah. So okay. there are, they can be used as tomahawks. I think generally you're going to want to keep it. You don't want to throw your weapon at the enemy, but I, you can. There's like, they're, you could, they're like, they have competitions and stuff with them. Well, you people can... are saying they can be. That's, yeah, so that seems be. like yeah. the right answer. They can be, um, but not necessarily. Okay. Yeah. The more you know. They can be. Yeah. Wait, so was it tomahawk, tomahawk is a... throwing at, sorry, does tomahawk mean throwing axe? Does that is that what it means that when we get it from? Right, like, I, I am so <coughs> unfamiliar with this I have on no... this that chat. When I ask a question, I am legitimately looking for the answers. Okay, like I, I'm yeah, I have no idea. The etymology comes from the Powhatan Tamahawk, derived okay. from the Proto Algonquin root Tema to cut off by tool. Oh, Algonquin cognates include. 
all of which mean axe. So it's like an axe for cutting things. Like it's it's a cutting tool, axe right. sort of thing. Yeah, so it's general. Uh, Wikipedia says it's a general purpose tool. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. It so is definitely general purpose tool. Tomahawk is a cool name for a oh, weapon as well. It is. It's fucking awesome. Someone said it was made by Thomas Hawk, and that's that's why it's called. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> ah. That makes yeah, that makes sense. So there we go. Tony Hawk so, possibly made it. So we got our we got our cool weapon, very cool weapon right now. Uh, she's very well, skilled so, with it. It lets her kill all the rabbits. I was just gonna put it this way, Rags. Like, let's pretend, as we do when we do these things, that we're watching the movie in real time and that we haven't even seen the film before. Which we break the rules on that sometimes, but let's pretend for a moment. I would then be saying, "Man, this thing breaks all the rules. I really hope it doesn't provide us several important payoffs in this film." <laughs> that would be unfair. But of course it does. We put a lot of emphasis on it. It's you, the, well, so the, the response would that be, why would they spend this whole seat on this thing if it wasn't going to be exactly cool? like uh, <laughs> yeah. true? Uh, we have a scene where she cooks the rabbits, and uh, she's with dog, and they're hanging out, and um, I it, not really anything else happens. She says, "You have to cook next time, dog," and the dog's mm -hmm. like, "I, I." I don't know, man. I you do what you do. I'll do what happen. I'll do. We've got yeah, this understanding. Like, I, I've, I've done my job. You've done yours. Why'd you have to make this so awkward? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah you got your fancy new, fancy new tomahawk thing anyway. I, you could got all those rabbits. You don't, this, yeah. Uh, with my dog tomahawk, huh? And when do I get that? Hmm? All that yeah. time you spend not missing rabbits, you could spend cooking or something. I don't know. So we get our predator skull scene. Yes. Um, he spray because in uh, in this he has a sort of a, it's like a flesh dissolving spray that mm -hmm. he puts all over a skull or over a head and then it melts away all of the flesh and stuff and it leaves only the skull behind. Yes. And he takes that skull and he puts it on his skull rack. And he's got his little like little his little backpack, his little trophy. And so um, yeah, so that's uh, that's how they that's how he does it. I think um, one could, if you want to get super hyper, like Predator 2, he has like cutting tools and then like a suction thing to get rid of the, I guess, blood and flesh. Well, Inner, the brains this, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, this seems way more efficient. And I wonder if there, there's probably a Predator fan out there who's like, you shouldn't have had the more advanced At thing earlier. They should go around. I think it's oh, just different exactly. factions of Predators. I think it's... <laughs> I that's what I take away. Not all predators do things the same way. It's just they have a general common through line. I can believe and they have so, multiple ways of doing it. And yeah, they have different have preferences. Predators will have different yeah. cultures and they'll have different ways of doing things and different rules for hunting and the way that they they have different but similar but different honor systems that they try to keep to Maybe um you do it based on the value of the "Quote unquote trophy too. Maybe you save the best kind of cleaning process for the best trophies. Meanwhile, if it's like, oh, this wolf was kind of easy, I'll just give it the standards. Yeah, or this is just a wild animal. You know, it's not like a, a warrior that fights. You know, like a sentient warrior. Someone said that's very forgiving for you, Rags. What do you mean? I don't think so. I think oh, it's totally yeah, fair. I, I, I genuinely like. You know how when you see people restoring things or or working on it, there's so many different ways you can do it, and so much care that can be put in and not put in. I I'm willing to believe it. What um is interesting? I did like is... the, uh, the the trophy cleaning scene in Predator Two, but the Predator had their whole ship there. They're just kind of hanging out and had all their tools. This is in the little, field, little, yeah. little buffer for the yeah, skull. Yeah, They're like, yeah, get a good shine on I it. That's, that's nice. Uh, in the first Predator, the skull cleaning scene. Well, it happened much later in it, of course, because that was when the Predator was really out and about. Well, uh, you didn't much see felt too like much, but there was a uh, sort of mist going on during the skull cleaning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like I said, I'm not bothered by this at all. Whatever you want. I'm not, I no, I'm not bothered by, by, in a way, by I'm it. Kinda, at all. I kind of think it's neat. Oh, it does make me wonder why he doesn't just use that stuff as a weapon. Um, like, well, uh, yeah, we could talk about that as well. a big old subject. Because I've seen lots of discussions. Should we about wait this. until he deploys other weapons, or can we do it now? Um. So once we'll see his entire arsenal in about another thirty minutes of the film, isn't it? Because there's quite a few Something weapons. Something like that, yeah. Um, I suppose it's probably worthwhile to wait for all of them to come out. Otherwise, we will literally repeat the conversation several times. The question, sure. of course, being 
How does fairness work with a predator? And and we'll we'll shelve it until we get a little later on. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Da, 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 da. So he hears Sari's bark in the distance. Uh, so that's what alerts him that they are around. It's her bark, and he can't. I don't. I. I. I'm not a big predator guy, so you'll have to. I wrote this down because I didn't know if it is an issue or not. Can the predator turn invisible without pressing a button? Um, because he just he's just standing there, and he then he it, turns invisible. He does that. There's no several times in this film. I'm pretty sure. Like, I, there's, a, there's, no, there's one that I can remember for a very specific reason that annoys me. Um, so I think it's consistent in this film that he's able to do that, but um, I can't remember. I, I really can't remember my references for the other films if he ever had, as he always had to press a button before going invisible. I think yeah, they I don't typically remember. do. I don't believe he has needed to, like when, uh, when the one character saw the Predator for a bit in uh, the first one, He's swinging around the tree, starts invisible, he just turns visible there, and then comes back into invisible the whole time. He's just got his right arm on the tree, hanging his left arm down, and he's just looking at the other character. I thought that was um, just a matter of the, the invisibility cloak, like, glitched for a second. I thought that's what that was, rather than him turning I don't, off. I don't believe it was a glitch at that point. Well, he only, he only comes off for like a second, this right? Though this one, in this, in this film, it does seem to be waterproof, strangely. Yeah, I thought that was interesting, considering they're always not waterproof in all the other ones. It's water, oh, it's yeah, certainly water resistant, that. yeah. Um, it, it didn't even get little sparks or any kind of interference from the water. Which is why, well, oh, when he walks, you never know well, with these This ones. will show up in a second, but I, it's it's not like waterproof. It seems to be just, it sort of resists water, because there is some distortion when he's walking through the water. I never know if they're trying to tell me something without saying it overtly, or if it's just, they're just doing their own thing. I don't know if they're like, you know how the Predator 1 and Predator 2, uh, like, they look very you. They look very similar in how they did it, or, or uh, versus this one and the one that looks like in Predators, and you're like, is that because you're trying to say that they are different kinds of shields being used, or is it just a matter of the special effects been updated, and this is now canon for what it all... Like, you know, you see the uh, invisibility, and this counts for Predator 1 and 2. Very, um... How do I put this? It's like a, a silhouette of a man, but with three... Like there's like a yeah like real distortion lines yeah. yeah they always do that I know now, what you mean if you were to do that in in the mod movies I think it would look a little strange but I think you could do that but they've obviously chosen not to and they've got these like I think they're like little hexagons the the, the sort of yeah the... yeah because in the future everything is hexagons and so hmm. you know are you telling are we are we saying no they always looked like that we're just updating the the tech with special effects like it's okay. hard to or say. are you saying it's this a... is a different type of shield. It's because if this was if this was the kind of movie that you would make back in like maybe 1953, right, as like a, a monster movie, you wouldn't have a distortion effect. It would just be props and floating objects yeah. or something like that. You wouldn't act. You there would literally be nothing there, and it would just be a bit theater of the mindy. Um, I. Uh, I think maybe the best way to do it is that as technology gets better, you show it in better and better ways, so to speak. But people generally have a similar reaction to it where they could only really notice it if they're looking for it. Um, so that there's not any, well, how come these predators, da, da, da. So, you, like, so you're not unfair to the old ones in a way. Yeah. Um, so I, I think as long as you have this concept of you could have it be in a like like the lingering shot that Fringy was mention, mentioning having it actually be there in canon so to speak but there's no actual effect applied on screen is fine because there's no one there to really witness it anyway but if someone's looking out for it specifically and they're being very very careful and they have a general idea of where it is they might be able to see it I think that might be the way to go or maybe they're just inconsistent invisibilities they're not. Maybe they just don't don't this all is, work the same. This is kind of where I was, what I was trying to get at with, with the start of this was just I don't know if the difference between the movie telling me this is a different kind of thing or no, we're just updating the special effects. Mm. As I, long I, as they're not standing in knee high smoke, I think that's the thing that we need to make <laughs> sure that 
doesn't happen. Oh, those effects were great. What do you mean? Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with saying they're, they're different predators have different kinds of invisibilities. They yeah. have different cultures, different groups, different technologies. They're not all the same. Well, that's the thing. The fact that it managed to maintain while in water feels to me like a very overt way of being like, this is different than the ones you're familiar with, or rather different than the Predator 1 and 2 ones. I'd have to go check yeah. all my references. Sure. Um, da, 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 da. So, we have we have Naru walking through a stream without keep trying, even trying to keep her feet dry. I don't know. I don't know if that's... I just wrote it because it came into mind. It's like, oh, should you be jumping over it or maybe stepping on some stones so that you don't get your feet all wet but she just nonchalantly walks through the yeah that's fair um, you really don't want wet. wet footwear that sucks yeah i feel like that would wear out your stuff more um i don't know uh da -da 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 discover okay this is when she discovers a whole herd why did i spell that with an a i must have been watching the movie a whole herd of buffalo that are skinned and left out in the open um she goes up to one of them and she she's obviously this is very disturbing to her it's very crazy um she finds a cigar a, a metal chain like the one from the trap earlier she says a prayer for uh one of the dead animals and leaves an herb on the top of the body a piece of uh, a plant uh mm -hmm. and sort of a, like the little There's respectfulness one more detail that is uh, eagle eyed and maybe not eagle eyed viewers but You'll spot that's kind of curious, I think. I don't think we spotted this first time around, but... Seems to be about a bullet-shaped hole in the... Oh, head. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. I think no. someone mentioned that to me. I think we yeah. mentioned that on our first. Did we not mention... Yeah, right in the I forehead. Did we not mention that on our we... first? Surely we did, because it's very prominent. I can't remember if we did or not, but I'm just saying um, that it's there. I think, yeah, it is. it is there. Absolutely. Um, so that happens, and then we return to our stream that she walked through. We see the predator. He's invisible. He's jumping from tree to tree, leaping from tree to tree. Um, and he jumps down into the stream. All right. It's where I would avoid wanting to be nice if to I was be. trying to stay undetected. Uh, but he picks up her. He he notices the dog's tracks, uh, because he's on. He's 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 following them. He heard the bark. And he sees the tracks. He is uh he is following them. Yeah, like his his invisibility. It does really well with water. Like is frazzling yeah, a little, but handles it well. Man, that's... Mm hmm. I that get that pretty one. well. I'd buy that one. I would too. The um da, 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 da. she this is where we encounter her at the mud pit. Yes. We um, have her at the mud pit. I hope you guys you wanna, like mud. You wanna summarize the event up to the payoff rather con <laughs> what word am I looking for? Up to the I will, we conclusion can, and then we we'll can, talk about it. We could do scene by scene because it shows up in bits. Uh there's a, because there's a little bit of an interruption here. Oh, okay. Uh da, 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 da. let me scroll. And kind of, okay, so she is walking around, suddenly steps into essentially what's quicksand mud. It's very, very, very Thick. runny mud, and she's up to her far. She's up to almost up to her arms in this mud. She instantly sinks down, and very intelligently, since she just stepped into this mud suddenly, like it was just a drop off of mud, she she starts trying to go forward and through it instead of just instantly what I was gonna say. leaving the way she came. <laughs> it's so that's a, dumb. It's so weird because like I didn't think about that all the first time around, but second time around I was like, I was wait, kind of same. the fucking floor was right behind you, bitch. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, Literally you one step and you're in it now. So why don't you just, just go back I the way you came? I did not catch that even on my second play, uh, watch through. That it, oh man, that's really stupid. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh... So she's in the she's in the mud. She she probably should have chosen her direction a little bit more wisely. Um, but this scene is cut because we have the predator who is following her. He has found the slain animals, all the buffalo. He finds the cigar. He checks out the cigar. He notices the chain, and he notices the herb that she has placed on top of the animal. In fact, he takes a particular interest in this little thing that she's placed on top. Um, 
So I have to scroll to the left and then down because I write my notes in columns of two. Okay. Wow. So we return to the mud pit. Naru tries and fails to use the tomahawk a few times with a string to pull herself out. And luckily, every time she throws it, she shifts and she sinks deeper into the mud. But with her final throw, what will probably be her final throw, she is able to hook a nearby tree um, tree that has fallen over and the roots and stuff. And that rope is thankfully strong enough that she can mm -hmm. pull herself out of this mud Which, using that tomahawk. Um, so how do we Would feel it about be? that? I don't believe you. I don't know that she would... It's funny because there's something worse than this happens in the same vein later that we can talk about, but I uh, I don't believe she has the power to do that. Uh, yeah. That is fucking That's hard <laughs> to, to pull yourself through she, all of that. She She's sunken deep by now, so... That's a lot of power you need. I'm, I'm fine true. with her being able to pull herself out. I think the mud is soft enough. Uh, in fact, that's the problem with the mud is that it's soft enough. It's like it's not solid or else you could pull yourself out. I don't like if it was ground or sand. I don't think she could pull herself out. But I think like as whole... long as she has something that can she can latch. I got onto, the impression like it's a, really a thick. thick. Um, it's it's thick, but it's not so solid that because you just don't you sink kind of down into it where it really gets thick at the bottom. So because of that, she's able to pull herself. It works as a little bit of a medium. Uh, so I'm fine. I'm fine with her pulling herself out, and she's certainly fit. Uh, so I that's not my issue. The my issue is the how insanely strong the the thing is that it can support her tugging it like that with her body weight pulling herself out. The tomahawk and the rope. It's yeah. Hmm. She did a she did a really quality job, and she found some very very durable materials. What was that? Um... That would be more difficult than uh, sand, and someone else said mud is worse because it's wet. Probably uh, with quick, yeah, I can absolutely believe it. Mud, uh, sand is like just sand stacked on top of it, and mud is it, it's got all the water mixed in, and it's well, someone else mentioned. I was just thinking about it. You get the the suction of mud, like mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah, that's true. I guess it depends on her technique, so to speak. But yeah, that is true. The suction would definitely... We had some... Uh, we have all sorts of lakes around here, little ones. And there would be times where they would drain these lakes in order to do like pipe maintenance and things like that. So we're uh -huh. talking like just a, like a, a lake and it's drained uh, essentially all the way to the bottom. And it leaves behind <laughs> mud. And that mud is like... You step in it and it'll go up to your knee. And so there's like an audible noise of air when you lift your foot up and it, it like you're really a suction that you have to fight with that. Um, yeah, all sorts but, of strange things get thrown into lakes. You notice, uh, anyway, but, um, but uh, I guess on the topic of we conclude on, so you were talking about the rope strength as well. Just, uh, that's my biggest issue is, right. is this yeah, thing I that durable? Well, so I'll get a good shot of it. So everyone can that. That's the rope. What do you think? It looks, Pretty darn thin. Um, it does. I mean, ropes can be pretty strong even if they're they thin, but this is made out of like these wood pieces, right? Yeah, like bark. Like bark you, yeah. You'll probably take bark and you'll yeah. spin the bark around. Um, like if it was, if this was an artificial material like nylons and stuff, absolutely no problem at all. Uh, paracord stuff like that. But this is, yeah, yeah, natural I mean, materials like this that you've made. Ugh, it's it's a stretch. These she are things did, that you have to replace there, often. There was that little iron trap she found. What if we just did not happen to see the scene where as she was eating her rabbits by the campfire, she smelted it down and wove it into this like, core <laughs> oh, of that God. rope. Mm. And it is it is reinforced. It's a metal. It's a metal. And I, I infused it with the chains. Why not? I think that would have solved the whole movie. My... Father was a blacksmith. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, no, it's, it's <laughs> um, you know, so she's probably should have been, but that's fine. She's made it. I, right? what I expected Yay. her to do is to do something along the lines of like, because when you're in quicksand, you want to get yourself flat and you don't want to struggle and you just want to kind of lean so that you're not pointing straight down and then you could sort of wriggle your way to the edge. <laughs> and I was expecting that when she first went into the mud, like there was this don't panic moment. Things mm -hmm. are fine.
just don't wriggle around and move. Lean yourself back. Yeah, something like that. Because you know? I'm a good faith audience member, I am going to assume her lack of panic is because she's experienced enough to know how she should behave in the situation as opposed to the actress not properly representing what they wanted from the character. However, if this is how she's supposed to act in this situation, she didn't have this tool until today. True. Yeah, so she would have been dead. But she would have killed herself. Have, yeah. Uh, because she could have escaped. Just went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, not good. So, not great. Not great. No. Um, she pulls herself <laughs> well, out. She of, learned of... something from, from this, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> yeah. Potentials are, yeah. Uh, yeah. This Don't is fall a, in the place. mud. Yeah, watch where you step. Oh, just, just reincorporation. Just not mm. fantastic. <laughs> the scene we itself. will get there. Yeah. Um, however, there is one good element of this scene that I actually do like, and that is the subversion of being covered in mud in a Predator movie. That was really um, uh, weird to me. On, on Open Bar, Az was saying, like, oh, it would have been way better if the Predator had turned up right after she did that and couldn't see her. So that's it. And I was just like, no, that's, that's the obvious. Nah, like, that's, yeah. They chose and also the, the predator wouldn't, obvious thing. The predator, what would the Predator do? It's like, oh, I found her. It's, it's that chick. Well, so, right, like, what do you do narratively with that? Well, I think yeah. Az's suggestion is that that's just a good time for her to be able to learn that putting mud all over herself would... But, but I was just like, oh, I, th I think that's what they knew. I that's what you thought. Too... Exactly. And they were like, that's why when it just hard cuts that. to her cleaning herself, the film is like, nah, you thought, but no. no I, no, I no. think this is a, yeah, I think this is a good subversion because we're, <gasps> we as an audience, we're aware of the predator. We're aware of the mud and the Hito vision. And it's, we, we were, we were saying this when we were watching it. It's like, oh, is this going to be the mud thing? And then the next scene she does what every normal person would do, and she's by a stream cleaning herself off and her equipment off. I was like, yep, that's what she'd do. Well, and um, I think if you remember when we were watching it, we were like, are they going to go that way? But we were also like, well, her face hasn't got any covering, so that wouldn't work. So it's, it's gonna get, like, you know, before it shows us that she's cleaned herself, we were even like, nah, that's not doing that. It's doing something else. Um, da, 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 da. So um, before we enter the next scene, I'm going to pee. Oh. So I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to also refill my beverage. I'm... Well, funnily enough, uh, <laughs> now, now he does that at this point, this is the 40 to 41 minute mark, which is what you'll yeah. find most people online have been saying everything's boring up until 40 minutes. So, I mean, this is kind of what I was just getting at. I don't, I don't, oh, I, really, man. <laughs> I don't mind this stuff at all. I don't find this boring. I'm yeah. as long as it's um, well executed, which by the way, you've been seeing us throw in a lot of criticisms here. So, I'm not saying it necessarily is, but when, you know, I'm just watching people do their thing, I'm learning about them and stuff, I, I need all this stuff to care when her life is threatened, you know? Uh, yep. You need to know what she's good at, what she's bad at, who, who she is, why she's doing well, this. Well, we spend the first part of the movie, that's the time when you establish things that you're going to be using later in the story. You establish, you know, plot critical items and whatnot, character motivations. Um, strengths and weaknesses. This is the time to do it. Yeah. And like I was, I was. It was novel for me. I was like, oh, so nice to spend so much time with one person. It really is novel, isn't it? As well as a film that doesn't have that much dialogue either. Yeah. Like, you know, especially when you look at like a lot of um, I guess mainstream like superhero. But like I can You know, I, I just want to make sure people can get upset quickly about stuff like this. I'm like, it's fine that you felt bored. I just uh. There's nothing I can do to help. Yeah, but don't that. say that like when I don't know. It's just if you were bored, that's one thing. But don't, don't then extrapolate that to film shit because I was bored. It's like it's got to be well, better so, than that. Because if somebody says I wasn't, that's the that end of the conversation. Was literally on the subreddit. I think someone said like one of the criticisms of Prey, and someone said first hour is boring, and then someone else said this is the fucking EFAB baller subreddit. You can't just describe something as boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, boring is yeah. not good enough. I mean, boring, all... it, just to make sure nobody misunderstands, boring is good enough for you, it's just that it doesn't... For you. It doesn't help anyone else yeah. figure anything out. Like, you know, if, if I had, let's just say we all made this movie, right, and someone said it's boring, we'd be like, okay, but I can't, that doesn't help me change anything, I need to know what exactly, yeah. you know, what was the problem. And if you explain, like, well, I wanted more action, then it's like, oh, well, that's kind of more of a preference at that point, isn't it? 
This is weak storytelling. You guys are so excited over the most basic of screenplays, like screenplay one-on-one -on -one stuff. I thought, I feel like we've levied a fair amount of criticisms at the film. Yeah. Um, I am back. I would have thought, uh, that, unless... if anything, people would have concluded we've been harsh to the film so far, but I guess not. Yeah. I mean, we already found, you guys already showed me more things that I didn't even notice yet, so. <laughs> but like, as for things that would be described as relatively basic and straightforward, it's like, okay, yeah. but is it we, um, dysfunctional? Yeah, I was no. going to say, we you know, do celebrate a uh, well-executed one one stuff. I'm I, in fact, I would, yeah. would want to make sure Because so many gets. people do it wrong these days. <laughs> yeah, like, we, this, yeah. this is something that um, I think I've mentioned on the open bar, but, like, when you're in a landscape where you've got, like, these movies coming out that are so thoroughly deficient, like, so utterly deficient that there's nothing to latch onto at all, like, yeah, when I look at something that's doing relatively basic story stuff, okay-ish. It's like, yeah, something at least. I, um, yeah, uh, we, we often talk about how they fail one-on-one stuff in all the stuff we've been covering recently. And yeah, so, exactly. And I would even say mm -hmm. this movie has failed a couple of one-on-one -on -one things. Like a couple the, of one-on-one -on -one things, guy for sure. who everyone just seems to think doesn't matter at all who died. It's like, that's... I think well, that's... lack of it, lack of acknowledgement of, um, of character deaths, yeah, that's, that's a problem and that if... will, uh... It unfortunately persists in the film. If in his speech he mentioned that, and then the whole crowd, you know, go a little bit quieter and appreciate it, and then you even have the mother mourning him or something, we probably would have appreciated that, pointed it out. And if someone you in chat said, literally. why do you appreciate that? That's what a what? I'd be like, well, it's good. Uh, <laughs> like, well, because should, without you should, it, you fucking destroy every movie. <laughs> like, you should search for better stuff than Prey. It just came out. That's why we're talking about yeah. it. I mean, I'm, I'm a big Predator fan. Uh, we expected this would have coverage loads of things that are out so that man so first of all you go going really easy ever, on it no it, i don't think anybody has said that either you but know? The, the last one hurt me yeah <laughs> yeah it's, <laughs> <everyone>. it's, it's <laughs> definitely definitely improvement over fucking the predator jesus that movie um, is terrible yeah, I uh, I don't know. I think we've been pretty fair so far. Uh, I yeah, think so. Totally. The weirdest part, I guess, mm -hmm. for me is that if you thought that after everything we've said that we were describing this film as great, um, <laughs> I don't know where you he got that from. Did. Yeah, not so. We never to pull ever from did that. that. Yeah, I just sometimes uh, it feels like that'll happen where we'll have the conversation about a film and it's like, yeah, so it's like a four. It's like, whoa, you made it sound like it was way better than that. It's like. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> did we just, though? Didn't that happen with the Suicide really? Squad? Everyone was like, a, well, we had several people who were annoyed how much we were praising it, and then those very people gave it the same score we did. <laughs> we were yeah. like, wait a minute. That's awkward, huh? Wait a second. That's a minute. You whore, Josh, anyway. Yeah, you we, never, we never described this movie as great or incredible or amazing. As far I as I know, it's right, right like out of the gate. It. I definitely yeah, I like, like this it. film. Um, I simultaneously think it's over hated and overpraised. Um Yeah, I think so. It seems like it's um this is very much a case of it's been a while since we've had a nice, like Decent very movie. average movie. <laughs> you know, like it's, <laughs> it's uh, true, yeah. It, it seems like in this case it's very um it's very uh polarized. Either people think the film is awful or they think it's incredible, and I think None of both perspectives seem wrong to me. You know, I've made somewhere I've, in the middle. I reckon I've made chat think about that now. We will not reveal until we get to the credits what each of us no, will give it a, as course. a number, all right? But you're welcome to speculate mm -hmm. <laughs> until we get, we'll get to that. We will get to that. Well, I'll be honest that's, with you, half, reason, is it, half the reason is because I, I'm not sure what I would give it until I hear out all of the good and bad from everybody here, you know? Well, that is the part yeah, of the so. process, isn't it? We're figuring it out and chatting about it. Yeah, and we brought Decker because he told us before we began that this was his favorite movie of all time. Yeah, and so we yeah. wanted to really you can't see walk it back, up, man. man. <laughs> well, so don't run away from that. Position. Don't run away. Yeah, said... it's, it's fine to have that opinion. So that it was better than the original, and I just, I just don't also... know about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's no, spice no. Pay, um, <laughs> but also, uh, by the way, the, I guess look, we were talking about the Predator, so this is related. Shane Black's Iron Man Three. Why is this video of the Air Force One thing, why is it getting so much traction on Twitter of like when Iron Man was saving the people falling out of the sky? Why are so many people saying this is cool? It's stupid. It, well, uh, I guess they're the same people that thought like that all of Phase 4 was really good, maybe? Like, I all of a sudden cannot today, remember that scene. Well, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, the Air Force One gets attacked and then a bunch of people fall out of the plane. 
and then Iron Man flies out and basically has to try and grab... Jarvis tells him he can only save four people, but he saves everybody. He, like, flies over to them. He electrocutes their hands so that they can't let go of the other people they grab. And they oh, all grab right. Them, and then they, like, slow down at the bottom and drop into the water. Um, yeah, the and- reason that scene is terrible is because it has one job, and that is to maintain its stakes by having momentum be a thing, and then it just says, no, nah, it's not, lol. And then right it the just end. decides not to have that be the case. Yeah, right at the end. Um, yeah, I don't know why that scene would be getting praise, especially when... Um, like- what it claims to almost be at the beginning of it would have been a way better scene that Iron Man has to let. It would have been a way better scene. He has to make die. choices. Yeah. Maybe they're just but happy to be a hero saving people. That that could be I it. think that that's all there is to it. Mm-hmm. I think that's all it is because it's been so long since we've had a superhero film where like it feels like the superheroes are saving people rather than just fighting bad guys. Thanks, Zach. It's just, it's just, it's so much <laughs> people who find prey better than predator are wrong. I don't actually believe there is a single person on the planet who thinks prey is better than predator. I, don't I think, think they, I don't know that they're. I think yeah. we can be united as a species on this. Yes, this will be the one thing. This is our kumbaya moment. And kum. <laughs> this will bring the Sunnis <laughs> and the Shiites together. Like, well, the original predator was better than prey. <laughs> yes, you speak the truth, brother. Ah, no homo. <laughs> so. Naru yes. encounters a bear. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, it's a bear. It's a big not one. A, not a happy little teddy bear. He's a no, chunk. He's, he's not a he's happy big boy. bear. This is a not... this is a big old bear. And he's 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 roughed up. He's not got all his fur. This this bear has seen some shit. This bear has been through multiple world wars and all kinds of stuff. This is a veteran bear. This is this is one of those MMO bears that you fight. This is a yeah. Ooh, you want to watch out for this guy. Now, she's snuck up on this bear. She's up on a little ridge, and she's looking down at a stream where the bear is, snacking on a big old deer, and he's eating it. And she, she wants to try and kill it. On the spot, she decides, I I'm going to... I don't know that that's what's happening. So oh, I, I had a feeling this might happen. wind blows from behind her, and yeah. she's suddenly... If you... Uh, if, if I can, so... A wind cause... from the bear, the bear smells her, and she well, realizes it smells her, well, and she's like, me... oh, crap, I gotta do something. Yeah. So here, the she sm- the bear does smell her, and she ducks behind cover. And then, instead of, like, hanging out there, she then decides to go on the attack. Okay, so... Well, no, I, sorry, I, I think... La, 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 is... Come on, let me please, I'm begging you. Okay, because, like, I had this argument <laughs> with Az on open bar. So... Yeah. But what I what Az said was that um, he thought it was dumb as fuck that she's trying to hunt a bear with a bow and arrow. That's insane. And I, and I, I was just watching the scene as we were talking about it, and I was like, okay, so she turns up. She very curiously just keeps an eye on the bear. She's kind of, I think she's just like, oh, look at him go. He's a bear. Wind flows yeah, in. Wind. She sees that yeah. from the the stuff next to it. Yeah, the and grass. And then she like yeah. looks down. The bear sniffs her. She's doomed. The bear's gonna find her now, no matter what. So then she pulls the bow and arrow ready. I'm not even sure she believes she'll kill this bear. I think she's just doing that because she literally has no better choice. Yeah. Um, that's, that's I, where I'm at too. I didn't even catch the thing with the, the, the wind, to be honest. <laughs> I, so, I, I, did, that's, I didn't that's notice fair. the wind, but I figured that that was because it seems like the bad noticed something. And I figured that we took that as it, it, I, it acquired a scent. I wonder if the bear would care if she would be there if, if the bear has food already. Part of that's my the question yeah, I would ask. Could, well, I I don't th- I, it's it's the fact that there was, yeah, like I I I can see that, yeah. I have a lot of questions about this scene. I'm not going to be defending yeah. all of it. So because, like, be- the one uh, everybody the- wants to talk about immediately is the bear's choice to uh, the attack dog. the dog. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. so, so, all right. So just to catch everyone up, um, whether she she readies an arrow to shoot at the bear if either by uh, offensively defensively um she readies this arrow and then the bow uh, breaks. bowstring breaks and so this loud noise this bear bear is like oh yeah there's definitely something up there because yeah. it here it, it sees this now so the bear comes on up to try and get her and she's trying to get her you know her other string onto the bow and she's panicking and when the bear comes on up and is about to get her she's uh she's saved because the dog 
uh, kind of jump, kind of goes in front of it, and the bear chases after the dog instead of getting Naru. Yes. Um, I'm seeing that maybe because I, I just I'm not familiar enough with all these animals to know these things, but like yeah. a lot of people are saying like the bear would never have left its meal. Um, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. But is, does that yeah. should we acknowledge that more? He's I don't know. What he, he wants to munch on. He there is. To go I don't know how true there's... that is. If the bear detects a threat, would it not do something about that? Um, or yeah, I think that uh, well, so the big old meme that I know is that a grizzly bear with its cubs will like kill you. Um, yeah, like that's but I don't. The, if, but I don't know that this bear. It seems like the bear's just chilling out on its own. I think it's just like the misunderstanding with a lot of animals is like. They don't just like killing things. They just want to eat. Yeah, um, it's got a big so, meal right there in front of it. That it's all energy, gone. right? Why like it, every, why everything it... is a trait of energy. Like you're yeah, spending like... energy to go get something that you don't need. Especially because I don't think that anything preys on bears. So it's not like, oh, things are trying to come and attack me. I need to be worried about predators trying to get me. I don't think a bear has um, that sort of mindset. Do bears, well, so, but I think, aren't, aren't bears like to some extent because I thought it was just polar bears that were like think, explicitly would hunt humans, whereas like a lot of other animals, despite being predators, that's my understanding. are still aware of like humans as a potential threat. Um, yeah, I, I, I would that's my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with consensus on this because I genuinely have no idea if the bear would care or not. I don't know. I I can believe it would care. It would care. I, just don't... I wonder if it would care this much. Yeah, well, that's I guess it, is it chasing was, uh, chasing people away from its food? It's like, no, you're not taking my food. This is, but I don't know. Is that is that a dynamic for grizzly bears? Because I know it is for lions. Like they have to if worry it was about hyenas. Yeah, often often the opposite, in fact. But uh, often it's the hyenas have to worry about lions stealing their kills. Hyenas Hy right. get a bad rap. Yeah, could it be all hyenas the bears do get a bad to... rap? They absolutely do. Yeah, the bears maybe trying to protect the kill for its own. There's probably reasons Maybe. he would do something like Maybe. this, right? I don't know. But he's, like, on it, you know? He's there on it. I don't disbelieve. I guess what I'm just saying is I don't disbelieve. Like, I don't find it impossible that a bear would attack somebody that was nearby. Yeah. I, all I need to I'm know so, yeah, so on it. is that it's a possibility, and that's fine with me at that point. That's good enough. But I don't know if yeah. it is. I genuinely don't know. Um... Next yeah. up being the yeah, I'm I'm glad you 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 brought up the wind because I said the same thing that I said yesterday on my stream actually, uh, because I was f confused why she even attacked the bear, but I didn't catch that whole thing with the like uh, with the I wind. Yeah, the distinct impression the film is trying to say to me that she's preparing her weapon because she's terrified exactly. that the bear may yeah. come after her. No, no, that makes sense. With that context, it absolutely makes sense. I, I absolutely give you that. That's I feel like I would have fucked off, you know. Uh, yeah, I think that's the better choice. I think that's yeah, definitely would have been a better choice to fuck off. That's probably what her... confused me is the fact that she didn't leave. I'd even be happy with her aiming the uh, the bow and arrow, but moving backward as slowly as she can, just in short. Yeah, you know. I think her 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 very aggressive defensive posturing is probably what got me in that mindset. Instead of like, oh shit, the bear might be smelling us. Yeah. we need to go. We need to leave. It's got its meal. We need to go. Especially the way that she like peers over the top and keeps her bow on it, and I'm like, ah, fair enough though. Uh, so we have our, um, we have our predator in what oh, wait, should whoa, be the whoa. predator's introduction, but whoa, 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 we didn't. You've get to jumped talk. ahead. We did not get to talk about the dog. That's the that's one of the bigger problems that gets mentioned about this movie by everybody is that the bear. The dog fucks off. The, the no, no, the, the bear goes for the dog instead of her. Be yeah. Oh, I thought we did uh, uh, talk about that. No, no. Um, so, like, well, so the first question, of course, is again, because I am not familiar enough with bears. It, so mm -hmm. people find this to be absurd. So is it? I'm assuming it is. I don't know. Yeah, no, Because <laughs> sure. I, I, have, I legitimately sure. have no clue. What would a bear think in that scenario? I don't I, know. Um, I don't know. I've seen people say it would go for the bigger and easier prey. Um... <laughs> That it would never get distracted by a dog, but then, but genuinely, if someone had told me, oh, they always get distracted by animals that are closer to them, I'd be like, oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't yeah. know. I am like like all the the Comanche cultural experts that came out of the woodwork. I'm not going. I'm not going to claim to be an ursologist or whatever a bear scientist is. Okay. I, I got just, no um, idea what a bear would do. 
No clue. Yeah, no clue. Maybe maybe it would have just been better if the dog had ran out earlier instead of the bear getting that close to her. So like he never even saw her. He just saw the uh the dog. Yeah, it needed to be it could work where if the dog is maybe posturing more, barking more, if it's closer to her instead of it already being right up on her. Um Maybe it's more um, familiar with the possibility of a dog, like, more like a wolf. Uh, maybe that's maybe. something that's Just more... to clarify, someone said, who cares? Like, I don't know, man. It decides whether or not yeah, she's alive. It saves her life. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it does so save her life. Life and death. Protagonist's so, yeah. life. This is, what, this is what I mean. I, I just, I would appreciate if these things have, got, have been gotten right or not. I don't know if they have. I, I... Yeah, interesting to know. Yeah. Um, it seems like Welcome chat's to got Ethan, lots of different way. feelings about this, but <laughs> more of the they more they more skew generally into the dog would not be able to save her in this scenario by doing that. Okay, that's what I that's what I've seen a lot of people. That's one of the bigger complaints I've seen about this whole movie by people online is that if historical accuracy doesn't matter, why does animal <laughs> psychology accuracy matter? Um, because yeah. you're relying on me well, knowing the, how so, a bear yeah, that, behaves. That's, like, these are things that exist that are real, like, right now. So, like, in the same way that if you presented a cat or something, and then you showed it jumping 50 feet into the air, like, it just leaped into the air, like, super duper high, the, a person would look at that and go, that does not comport with my understanding of these yeah. things. So, like, I, it's, um, it's inconsistent with things that you understand to be real in the world. It's kind of like the nature of speculative fiction. You can establish new rules for things that don't exist yet, but, like, people will have an, a general understanding of how strong a person is, what a person can do. And when you start to deviate from, like, what a person can do, you know, like, it starts to cause yeah. problems. Just imagine that bear would have just flown away after the dog or something. That was literally the example I was going to use. We had Why are the finer points of animal psychology more important than the finer points of history? Well, in this case, it saves her life. So yeah. it's yeah. consequential. Story this scene it's far more in this scene it's far more relevant um compared I, to how consequential is it that we have chosen to tell a story about a character that may or may not have occurred like at this point in time in history you know like we talk about which one's more consequential narratively uh, we, i thought the whole point was like the premise was what what if this alien showed up in a world that we understand and can you know that, that's like the whole thing what if we had our world, but we introduced this one extra element to it, which is this predator character. Mm. Yeah, my argument, by the way, wouldn't have anything to do with the consequentiality of the actions, because that force would involve history at that point. We've gone over this probably like two years ago, but the way uh, I usually set it out is that fiction is entirely... Uh, whenever you have a, a, a world that's brand new, they usually give you a huge lore dump right at the beginning. However, when, yeah. you, when you start on Earth and everything's contemporary, they don't. Because fiction is relying oftentimes on your knowledge of the real world to understand everything. Most, in, 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 let's just go as basic as they don't tell you what humans are in any of these films. But, you yeah, well, know. they don't Hang tell on. you what so fiat... Like, so yeah. When you have that established as a baseline, that we, we know like how basic elements work, how this, that, the other works, um, bears are just like guns at that point when they say, like, I've got a Glock, blah, blah, blah. Rags, I don't know guns. Like, a Glock is a when, gun, Mahler. Good job. But when they, you know, they throw, now, huh? they throw that Glock and it explodes at the enemy. That just betrays all the information of of uh, that they were relying on by giving you that label. So that's when we we then introduce. We usually go over how if you're going to take something from real life but change how it works, then you've got to like signpost it. And so I'll have you know that Glocks are actually very reliable and will most likely not explode. Exactly. That's true. Thing. As That's an owner problem. of three Glocks, none of them have exploded on me. And so, um, to take the example of which I'll just go to Inglorious Basses every time, it's like, the reason why that's okay is because Hitler does behave exactly as Hitler's psychology and, and every stat we know about him would. He just didn't make the same choices, he wasn't on the same pathway, because they've invented characters that didn't exist, that have different events take place, blah blah blah, like, which is all still following rules we understand, it's just an alternate pathway. Um, you can have alternate pathways with this bear. You can do all kinds of things. But um, if you're going to rely on us not having any clue what uh, the animal is, like say this was a, a new Predator film that's based all on the alien planet, and it wasn't a bear, it was a flynn, and it was just this big beastly thing, and it did all the same things the bear did, well, it would be no problem, because that's all brand new stuff. But to take our knowledge what? of these guys hunting these creatures in this area, and to have us know, we see the bear, we know what she thinks, because we know what a bear is, we don't need the, the film to explain it to us, relying on that information, but then betraying it, because you need something else to happen. Yes. 
uh, that's where we that's where we would get the problems coming in. And yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's where I'd go with it. When you talk about like with an alien, something that is interesting is that, of course, like it's it's kind of like inevitably going to happen. A lot of designs that you would have for like fantasy creatures or aliens will borrow things that kind of signpost their equivalents. So like you could have an alien dog that would have like the silhouette of a dog, but a little bit different. And just because of that, without telling you anything, you could have like a viewer naturally read into it like regular dog behavior or like regular dog attributes, but maybe with one or two variables. Like you have a lot of opportunities to introduce something that's totally new, but just use like iconography or silhouettes or just some sort of thing that's more um, tangible in the real world to more easily and readily communicate the function of that. But it's all relying on like things that you understand like things that you as a regular person who lives in the real world would understand. Because like not all stories can explain everything. They're not going to explain to you the origins of language or like the nature of currency or something or like how every single thing works. It's all basically a matter of like how much do you need to understand to be able to, how much do you need to know to be able to understand the story that's being told. Um, and when you're relying on things that are real, but then you start changing it, in the case of like, you know, I guess things are like super duper relevant to what's happening in the story, like a bear attack. Yeah, Ron has raised an excellent point. Uh, but the discussion was almost about what you didn't know, though. It's like, exactly, that's why I'm asking. Because there's people out there, people in chat right now who do know. Um, and just because mm -hmm. this is not one of my, like, you know, bits of... T like, Rags has already shared, he's, he, he knows lots of bits and bobs about survival because of the life he's lived. That doesn't mean that because I don't know about those things, that that rope can be stronger than steel. It means I need to go find out how, ro how strong that rope should be based on the material she used, or I can ask someone who's an expert mm -hmm. on it and find out. Um, and that is the reality the film has to... Yeah. This is what we talked about. When you make a movie... I'm going to go back to Marriage Story because I fucking love it as a reference. They bring in like experts to make sure things are grounded and real, but then they just give up at some point because it's too annoying to stick to, to, stick to it. This isn't and, what um, I wanted at all. And they have that... Um, I've even forgot, I know the reference, but I've forgotten the fucking dialogue at this point of, of what he even was. But they had an expert on something on set, and they introduced him that way, and then um, uh, Scar Johansson's like, oh, well, how accurate is everything? And he's like, not at all. <laughs> Whatever. Like, it's just, this is not even, like, it's almost like a, a job that no one takes seriously at this point, keeping things accurate. Because a lot of people just want to tell the story they want to tell on the moment, but... Um, I think you'll find that all the people who are familiar with bears have been complaining that this is not at all what would happen in this scene, and it yanks them right out. So it's worth... Because um, that's the thing, right? If they wanted to rebuild this scene in a way that maybe it would work, you could have the bears real fucking hungry. He hasn't got any prey. Yeah. There you go. Have the yeah, same thing. No, Lindy easy. Beige. That'll Lindy Beige has an old bear. Sorry, what's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I was, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Um... Is talking talking about the historical accuracy checkers. I think Lindy Beige has a video where he was hired as a sort of historical advisor for some show or film, and he talked about his experience doing it. And he said essentially, and a lot of ways they just they just your input just doesn't get valued at all. Mm -hmm. Almost like you're there in a symbolic sense that they just didn't care uh, when they when he would bring up yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah, which sucks, but uh, I, I can almost understand yeah. how it ends up happening because of the stress of the production. And it's just like, you're, you know, getting people to be in on time, getting the scene shot when they needed to be shot. And then some guy is like, should that bear really have ran up to her that fast? And he's just like, shut up, Dad. Shut up. Which, it seems <laughs> delicate. Um, so next, I guess, do we, do we go into the bear runs off, or the bear runs off chasing the dog? Hmm. She goes down to the river. She's got her bow and her arrow, and she's looking. Where did they go? The dog runs past her, and the bear is following it back. She shoots an arrow at the bear, hits it in the right shoulder, does absolutely nothing to the bear, as you would expect. Yep. But you know, worth a shot, I suppose. You might hit an eye. Um, yeah. And... Uh, the scene, uh, she jumps, yeah. It happens what? pretty fast, but obviously, so like, the thing here is, like, it looks to me, best faith interpretation, she's going down to see where the dog is. She cares about the dog. She sees the dog yeah. run past it. She is not acting a little, like, she should just be running with that dog. She'd be like, we need to get the fuck out of here. She only runs when she sees the bear is on the way back, and it's just like, oh, man, yeah. you are, yeah. you are not being as survival -y as you could be. That's all. I'm, I'm just saying. I know you care about the dog. It's dogs, a good so thing a space it. alien was here to save you. Oh, fuck yeah. 
Absolutely. Uh, because yeah, that dog's got the right idea. The dog's taken off. Uh, she shoots an arrow. She's like, oh shit, that didn't work. Oh. And Fringy's gone. Oh. And so she just she she well hopefully. Can I um back. just I real quick? There's some people in chat who feel unheard. There are people in chat saying it's totally accurate how biz do everything. And it's like, it, you know what? We're just gonna leave it. Us at EFAP do not know if that bear were accurate to bear. Okay? <laughs> we're yeah. just gonna leave Well, it. if it is how bears react, good. We have no issues. If it isn't how bears react, then, ah, uh, that's not good. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's the shame. EFAP stance. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. the EFAP stance for both. Whichever scenario turns out to be true, you like, have our answers. To be fair, the bear could be there wearing a red t-shirt, and I wouldn't know if that's accurate or not. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I, Maybe honey? They like red. Maybe they like red shirts. If he was in Honey with a little red t-shirt, I'd be like, yeah, that's an accurate adaptation of uh, another franchise. Yeah. I'm very familiar. It's a strange place for a Christopher Robin cameo, but, you know, I'm down with it. I'm willing <laughs> to give it a shot. Um, by the way, I just want to say that it's really nice to see actors running around in the wilderness. Oh, you mean that's not nice. a green screen? Yeah, not a green screen, oh, but yeah, he, here's a river. We got to we, we got to film here at this river. We we brought you to a river with rocks and mud and water. Now jump in, run around, get right in get your feet. It's I really liked it. You really feel like you're just part of the wilderness in this movie. They do a really good job of just showing. How do you feel about the bear the though? Did he feel like he was there? Or do you feel like he was a big sea diamond? I think they did a good enough job with the bear. I think the bear was good enough. I didn't have any issues with the bear myself. I think I'm 50 yeah, 50 on the bear. Fine. I think he's fine. Yeah, like the, the running, fine the, with the bear. when the bear is running, I don't mm. mind it. When the bear is up close, I think it looks pretty good. The long, far shots of the bear, interestingly enough, look the worst to me. Hmm. It's usually the opposite um, of that, but. Also, I think there's only. I, I think all the dog stuff was real with the exception of maybe a couple of the like the drone shots where they would get shots of the wilderness. And I think they CGI'd far below um, the people walking through. But it was I, I think I'd have to go and make sure because I think I noticed it on a dog on a second watch through. But I like that this film puts a lot of emphasis on real people in real places. Um, they try not to over CGI things. Fringy, did you believe the bear? Did you think the bear bared? I said no. Damn. He's not, not really back yet. No, I guess not. He's here in spirit. He Maybe is he's, like, he's fixing the router downstairs, and so now yeah. he's reconnecting, and he's rushing back up. Like, I gotta talk about that bear. <gasps> <gasps> Quick, oh, before, the bear. The bear. <laughs> before the bear conversation ends. Yeah, I'd love to talk about bears. Are you, are you, are you making fun of me? No, not. we're we're complimenting your hard work and dedication to the craft. Yes. Now, tell us, do you believe the bear? Do I believe the bear? What? The just all bears? <laughs> do you believe? I mean, all I, bears? I think that they exist. Yes. Yeah, all right, um, that's uh, that's fair enough. Bear. That's a bold that's claim. Bear enough. <laughs> that's bear. Oh, 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 oh that was that was barely a pun, Mahler. Oh shit. Oh, damn, you, oh, you beat me God. out now. I can't You're do You're bearing down on Mola's puns. Oh, listen, let's let's go ahead and just end this right here. This is let's unbearable, this No, no, we gotta stop this, all right? I because can't the bear most... it anymore. You're using the same one over and over. The this important... is bearing. <laughs> <laughs> this is bearing. Yes, it's very bore bearing. Oh! Yeah, what? see? Look, at, look at that shit. Pun, the most it's not really a pun, it's just shit wordplay, really. <laughs> the most important pun that can be made here is that ultimately an alien saves her from a grisly death. Oh, oh shit! Okay, you Man. win. You win. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> I give that. Yeah, he's got it. Uh, got it. Yeah, uh, all right. So, what, what we were talking about. That's it for about... today, guys. Thanks yeah, for Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, we'll be here um... all week. Well, no, we won't, but, you know. We were we were talking about the bear CGI. If you like, if you were into it, if it, if you were thought it was good or bad. Where would you score it, Fringy, or... out of ten? What the the believability of the bear? Yeah. Oh, uh, the I bear I, have, I I I I honestly can't give you a number. I got no idea. I thought it was so so. I think it was mostly all right. I didn't have any issues with the bear really. I thought it was good enough. Um, mm -hmm. I'd settle on a six. Is how I'm feeling about I it. I would. I was just thinking a six. It was 6. right above the right 1. above that line. A six point one. <laughs> oh wow! All right, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jeannie's baby. Becca, would you give the bear a number? 
be uh, that objectifying orange. to him. Orange? Fuck, he's screwing up everything, dude. We all gave numbers, he gave Colors a color. On numbers? Maybe he for you. He gave a color because we said that he couldn't. I think six is fair for the bear, because there's just enough of, like, I feel like for the far shots, I see enough nature that the CGI really stands out to me. Whereas, okay. oh, you're up asking close. About Okay. Oh, oh, oh it's behavior? Uh, yeah, no, just, just, that's, like a, no, that's like a no, two. Not his behavior. Whole package. Whole package. Whole pack. Oh. Yeah, I'd be at a six, I think. Yeah, a six. Yeah, yeah, if we just had to... Yeah. Alrighty. And that's but, our bear I'm, review. There we go, Well, I, I will say that the bear... Uh, Most of the bear bones of it. No. Well, the bear CGI <laughs> looks pretty bad if you pause it in certain places. Nice. Ah. Uh, Anyway, we've clawed our way out of the bear puns. Let's continue Look, with I our think story. You, are, you deserve a round of applause, Rags. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have yeah, many of those. Yeah. Every time someone tries to make a, a pun, I can just see Rags' disapproving face like, nice. No, I'm glad. I'm like Tabe in this scene. I'm glad that you, I want to empower you to try and do your best, yeah. even if you can't bring it home. Oh. Uh, no, it's good. Man. No, I, I, I appreciate that's, it. I really that's do. really, that's really... <laughs> We have not, a loving relationship. That's really here not in nice, Rags. We do get along. We do get along, even offline. We really do. We have fun here. It is. Um. So she dives into the river to escape the bear because there's some instructions <laughs> up ahead. It was a and, dam, right? She's man, trying to swim under it to get. I think so. Yeah. yeah. She's trying to get underneath there, and the bear is hot on her heels. He's chasing after her. And it's it's clawing away. It it wants that woman. It wants to eat that woman. That's the damnedest situation. Yeah, she's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Damned if you know him. Nice. And the the predator pulls the bear away. She's like, oh no, ah, she's panicking underneath there. The bear's about to get her, and the bear gets pulled back because no, it doesn't. The bear smells the predator. The bear smells the predator. It smells something. It's like, wait a second. It does. And I think we have some predator noise here. Um, I don't have the audio on on my thing as I'm double checking, but he's like something's up, and then predator comes in. And they start fighting. This predator fights a bear. Oh my goodness, that's that is a step up from a wolf. Mm -hmm. Fights the bear. Pow, pow. It looks like the bear gets a nibble and and gnaws on him, and then it's invisible. It loses it. Where did it go? And then the predator's like, oh, I'm going to get you. And then the bear charges after him, and that predator fucking punches it right in the face as it's charging, just bam, wallops it. And mm -hmm. it beats the bear. It defeats the bear in this contest. Basically, it, with a one-hit kill to the face. Well... Yeah, he gets a really... Uh, well... Doing a big... Yeah, go ahead. I they tussle before then quite a bit and wrestle a whole bunch. Yeah, and it's, you could have argued he's knocked it out, but then the kill comes in when he starts draining its blood all over it. You know, like, that's probably where the bear's definitely dead. But I was just going to yeah, say, I don't know if you guys agree, uh, I like the beginning and the end of this fight. I'm not a fan of the middle. The, the middle, middle being... Is, um, which part are you just, prefer referring to yeah, specifically? Which you well, well, if you guys were to guess, you'd probably get it. It's that the bear seems to be victorious and walks off. When oh it's yeah, yeah like, that was weird. Pretty sure the bear would be digging the fuck into whatever this thing is, it and just the predator would be thrashing. Yeah. It'd be like ow 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 this fucking bear mouth on my yeah. blah, blah, blah. It wouldn't just like. I mean, it's like on dead. the ground grabbing them and everything. Yeah. Um. Because let me see the bear. I, I I like the square up of a predator and a bear. Like the, it really looked like the predator was like, so you're a dude with some. You're you're pretty big. Let's just do it the old fashioned fucking way. Boom. And I could even kind of like that the predators having a bit of trouble here um and then i like that the predator does still win in the end because he's fucking that's how strong the predator is but it's so weird that mm -hmm. like it looks like the bear has bitten him and then releases him and the predator's i guess playing dead for a few seconds which doesn't seem at all like what a predator would do and the bear just loses interest in the predator and her i th yeah the mm -hmm. There is an element of how much does this change in terms of how the fight works out. Oh, and mention because the I don't predator think the reveals himself matters at all once you're in the fight. The bear's got other senses. I don't think it's going to be. And missing. He's, he knows something's up. It's Especially still it's bitten, got adrenaline pumping. Bitten the predator. That shit is. You know the the bear knows what he's dealing with at this point. Even if it's got the camo, yeah. the camo's not even working. You know, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's so so. It with all the splashing going around, it make things harder. But yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Ultimately, 
it was a decent bear fight. Yeah. Well, I love the ending. And it also, also the ending is really up, cool. Uh, where it lifts it up, absolutely. Also shows us how how strong the predator is. Yeah, uh, this is like hand to hand, like, which is yeah, it's like when you which beat is up very is important. That is a blessing and a curse for this movie. Yes, it, it is. <laughs> it is currently <laughs> a blessing. Somebody just said Mola Ray read way too much into that. That's what happened. That's what, yeah. <laughs> like the bear just the bear's just like, screens. oh, where was it? Oh, I guess it's gone. I didn't make All any right, of that I up. Guess I'll go over <laughs> here. Yeah, that happened. It's in the fight. I'm... The bear just turns around and just walks off like nothing ever happened, which is weird. And, um, and scene. And I was, uh, yeah, I've mentioned before. I Almost. fucking loved the, well, the end of that fight. I was just going to say the, uh, Drenching him the visual himself in the bright cool, bear blue. Bright cool, yeah. Um, as pointed out, it was taken directly from one of either a Predator comic or a, pre a Terminator comic where a Predator is in it. I'm not sure what it was exactly, but um, he was saying okay. that's not like an original idea from this film. Is like I don't really mind. It's just it's it, it looks great. It's and cool. It, looks great. Yeah, it looks cool. cool. I that, totally. That is a very happy Predator. Yeah, I totally believe <laughs> this is something a Predator would do. I love that he's fucking so happy with himself. Look what I just did. Look at this fucking thing. I killed it. It's like look at it. <laughs> I did that. Like, good for you, buddy. <laughs> you, you did good. And then, yeah, getting um, the first sort of proper physical, closest thing to a physical reveal is because he's drenched in bear blood. I think that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it would have been really, really cool problem. if that would have been like the actual first time we see a yep. silhouette. I, I think we said that, that already, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 That, that would have been, been such a cool reveal. Yeah, absolutely. Now, some of our viewers might be wondering, but Naru, what, what's happening? She's still there in the dam, right? Like, hiding from the bear. Like, well, what happens is, as the fight rages, the dam, the dam kind of opens up a little bit so that she can get away. And she watches his fight for a moment, and as the fight ends, and she sees this predator drenched in blood holding up this bear, uh, she, she fucks off. She oh, yeah. continues down the stream to be carried away by the stream. And the predator sees her. The predator is watching this, you know, watching her float away. And he lets her go because that's not what he's about. He killed the predator here. He went after the big trophy who was doing the, the strongest who was here. She's nothing compared to this bear. Uh, so I agree with your interpretation, as didn't. As felt like this was a mistake really? on the movie's part. The, the predator really? was clearly interested in killing her and just for some reason stopped going after her. No, not at all. I, I, I actually I think, thought... I think Rags nailed it. I think that's exactly what was yeah. actually happening here, was that he was just like the wolf with the rabbit, just like the snake with the thing. He spotted two animals interacting. He killed the predator of the two. Yeah. He doesn't care about the prey, however. Oh, I she thought she remained yeah. prey. Because I thought he, uh, he, he is going after her, but she had, like... Uh... The speed from the current yeah. to he was trying to get her. away yeah. long enough for yeah yeah, yeah yeah tracking her he was That's tracking I mean. her like, but it led to not for killing you know a confrontation between two entities one of them was clearly the predator he killed that yes. one yes yeah, yeah yeah I think he considers her remember... a, a curiosity That's all right now well yeah that's fair that's fair absolutely if we if we rewind a little bit the animal he kills before this is a wolf. By the way, yes, he, sorry, or a coyote. I just want to make sure. As said, lots of insightful and interesting things about this film. I'm just, I'm trying to offer some other interpretations. He's, like, as gotcha. a, was suggesting alternative uh, storylines that were really interesting as well. You can go check that out. It's an open bar. It's up now. It's just that, um, you know, I, I'm just trying to involve some alternative uh, criticisms and praises here as we go through. But I don't, yeah. I don't know if this was intentional or not. But um, he fights a, a wolf, a coyote a canid uh, before um, he fights the bear. Right. Kills the coyote, becomes familiar with it. And when he's in his cave with his trophy, he hears the bark of a dog who is sorry. And then he tracks the dog's footprints through the, uh, through the mud. So maybe he thinks that he like because sorry is a dog like the coyote is, and he's familiar with that. He thinks he's tracking that in order to like kill it potentially um but but we we obviously don't quite know because you know there's a lot of distant you know there's a lot of space in between these scenes but it is it, it is potential that that's what he thought he was tracking when it turned out it was actually just a it was just more of a domesticated dog um he might not have even known that she was there it's possible i don't know what how much he knew it's tough to say 
Um, so she floats away down the river, stumbles out of the water, dries herself off, and starts a walking. Walking through the woods. And as she walks through the woods, she hears a noise behind her, and it is a search party of her tribe's people. They have uh, been sent out to look for her by Tabe. But she's missing. She left, right? Yeah. She didn't tell anyone because, of course, they'd try and probably stop her if she did. And uh, so Tabe's worried. Where's my sister? Where she's going? She said she might, uh, you know, in his mind, he's probably thinking she said she was going to go out there. And now she's missing the next morning. I think I know what's up. He's up and to some shenanigans. I don't know if this is intentional because we'll get to the conversation that they have with this uh, search party. She told him that they have to go far beyond the ridge. Uh, and so Tabe is going out. Uh, let's see, what, what are my notes here? But I think that there's a, a potential that he thinks that he's going out to the place that she described they have to go. But she mm -hmm. got knocked off course, so to speak, by and what so she found in the river. B found so her the dead. other party, yeah, the other, the B team found her when he was looking for her, where he thought that she would be based on what she told him. I don't know um, if that's intentional by the movie, but it makes sense character-wise. Uh, it was only on the second playthrough, playthrough, watch through that I was thinking about this, and I'm not sure if it bothers me or not. I'm curious what you guys think, but... Obviously her tribe would panic if she disappeared, and she doesn't seem to give a fuck. Um... And it kind of, like, I guess, bothers me a little bit, but I think at this point it might just be a characteristic that... I think it is a characteristic. She just doesn't seem point. to give a fuck about what the tribe think, uh, even though mm -hmm. obviously she does. That's what drives her to do everything she does in this movie. But I just, um, there's a pragmatic and almost a moral component to this. On the first half, being the pragmatic, it's like, you know that they're eventually going to come looking for you, right? And when that happens, they're going to punish you probably for this. This is not acceptable. You can't just, like, randomly walk off because it'll... It'll disturb the whole tribe. They might think someone got you, or something got you. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, so we there's... already had this happen. Like, some yeah. a hunter went out alone and got pounced on, and it was a big deal. Like, we should, we could be doing other things with our lives, Meanwhile, but we have to uh, go out looking for you now. Then you, uh, then you got the other half of it, the more, like, why wouldn't she care that her family will think she might be dead? Um, yeah. Just so she can go... Because, like, what is her intention? To go and hunt and kill this thing? It's like, yeah, sure, but, like... They're not going to take very long before they realize you're missing. Probably well before you even encounter the thing you're looking for. And so they'll they'll be panicking, and it's like, that's not good, love. That's bad. It's your whole family thinking you've died, or something horrible's happened to you. Yeah, and you're probably quite a tight-knit bunch with all of your, and then, um, your people here. And then you'll, you'll have, you know, lots of trouble with, like, they're going to have to put themselves in danger trying to get to you. You know? And you might be like, oh, danger, just going through this. And it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's more than, it's, it's completely off of what they were going to be doing. So I don't know, just not much consideration there think, at all. Yeah, if you think there's something out here that has to be taken care of, because it'll put people in danger, you're leading people away from where they'd probably be the most safe, which is at camp altogether. Um, so it, like I said, in the second watch through of this, I like Naru less and I like Tape more. Yeah, I actually like some of the other people more, but yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we we will continue and see how she uh, stacks up at the end oh, of things. Someone just said something in the chat. We'll get we'll we'll bring that up about it. Don't worry, don't worry, Carlos. I'm gonna bring that up. We're not quite there yeah. yet. Ah, yeah. Carlos. So there is uh, some concern that I have that they are able to find her. I'll lead that up to their ability to track and be hunters as they're out searching. But she did get pushed way off of where they would otherwise be. We don't really have a good sense of space, mm -hmm. the directions, where people are, distances. We also did a so couple of cuts, tough to really so say. we don't truly know how long it took for them to find it post-water adventure, I guess. Or was she still a yeah. little bit wet? Because if she was, her hair looks a bit wet. Yeah, I think she was still... In that yeah, case, she's still looking a little bit wet. Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say this was a coincidence of hell that they bump into the hills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a pretty big place, you know? Yeah, but I, I'm i not sure if they had, like, oh, well, based on the terrain, she'll probably go this way, or maybe this is the best place to check because it's the valley. Well, as you said, or, right? I don't know. Like, it's tough to say. She went completely off course with that watery adventure. I think if... Annoying if... her, dumbass. She probably got attacked by that bear and <laughs> fell in the river and would wash up around here. <laughs> wow, great call, Jim. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Good job. Know. 
Um, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty uh, on it. Uh, I guess we'll have mm-hmm. to see how our coincidences stack up as we proceed. Some are more believable than others. So she's walking through the woods and the search party comes across her. Uh, they said they were sent to bring her home by uh, Tabe. Oddly enough, the presentation is really strange here with the scene. They seem to sneak up on her with bows drawn, even though they're just standing there right off to the side. Um, it's odd that she didn't notice them sooner and that they weren't going, you know, Naru, where are you? And like, calling out her name every once in a while, which is like literally what you do when you're searching for a person in the woods as someone who's in search and rescue. That's that's literally what you do. Hmm. Um, so it's strange. They just sort of come across each other almost as if everyone had fog of war cranked up to 10. But yeah, being, man, the, uh, I just looked at it again. There is an overzealous boy at the front of the lot of them. He's like two meters away from me. And it looks like he's about to fire. And it's like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. Yeah, just that is. Down. Oh, I forget the names. Uh, thank goodness for subtitles so I can remember a lot of the names and stuff. But yeah, it's like, geez, calm down. You know, it's her. Like, I know how eyes work. You can, you can perceive objects at vast distances. It's fine. Um, so ba, 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 ba. let me look here. Oh, so I Tommy's probably going to have to tell them to become the ridge line. OK, so she calls the creature Mupitzel, which I think means monster. And the opening uh, in the intro of the movie, we get it spoken in what I believe is Comanche. The, and then it's said in English. She says that word, Mupitzel. Um, I think that's the word for their word for monster. So some people call this predator Mupitzel. I think it's totally fine. Maybe we'll call it that as we progress. I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, so she calls it Mupitzel. And they're like, oh, like a monster from a children's story you know that sort of thing they're pretty they're they're pretty skeptical right Mm -hmm. but in their defense i feel like if i was naru and i had just seen what i had seen i would be a lot more descriptive and serious about explaining like i saw this what's like i think this might be a monster from legend that i also witnessed here when we were talking about uh i guess like the the amount of tunnel vision that this character has and like the problems that that can present in terms of making her endearing, I think a really quick way to fix that would be to show that she's deeply concerned about what this monster could do to the tribe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have, the, the have, idea have that... the priority given at this point to like, oh my god, like the tribe, we gotta kill it. Like we and you we can... have to to survive, right? To survive, like uh, like a mom said. You could have her trying to explain what it looks like and what it does, and they're all like, yeah, we know you're desperate to take this thing out to prove yeah. it. Like, no, 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 no. I just think you guys aren't ready for this. You have no idea what this thing is. He's going to kill us all. Yeah. Like, it, killed a, it killed a bear with its bare hands. It, it, like, this is insane. We've not seen anything like this. It's, it's like a monster from storybooks. Yeah. It's, we've, this is an issue. And I yeah, need to explain to you in detail just how crazy this thing we, is. And, and, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing to write exactly because like I would try and picture if if the five of us were just doing our thing and I saw the what she saw with the predator and the bear, I don't know how I'd explain that. Obviously, with you guys, I'd just be like, it was a literal fucking predator, I think, like because of the references. But <laughs> if we didn't have yeah. references like that, I would just be like, so it's like camouflaged. It's fucking tall. It's like seven foot. It uh, and then in my head, I'd be like, how much can I say before it. they're gonna think I'm insane? Yeah. Yeah. There, there is this element of where you would expect her to explain the story. We've got a calm moment. They're here. You're here. They're here to look for you. And like, all right, let me tell you what happened. And I'll start at the beginning. You lay it out. Like there, I was going through. I saw a bear. It picked up my scent. It charged me. It, my, my dog saved me. I wonder. I hope he's doing okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I, the, the dog you know, rescued me, and then it chased me, and I ran away, and I was only saved because this creature. You know, and she explains the stuff she said, and there's no real attempt. I mean, there's sort of an attempt, but I feel like I would go further when they don't believe her. I'm like, I know it sounds crazy, but I didn't just imagine this. Like, look at me. Like, where all my gear is gone. You know, all my stuff is just, like, my bow's gone. Like, you think, why do you think I'm out here? Like, you know, that, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Go back to just my Just minor boots. tweaks, like a little extra Yeah, scene. Like, just, yeah. It's, it's so close, man. Like, all it would take is a few extra lines of dialogue that would go a long way. So, the... Uh, go ahead. 
She described the attack against the, this is my notes. She describes the attack against the bear poorly. She doesn't really say things that I would say or that I expect you to really say. Um, now, this party is here to bring you home because you have been a naughty girl and you have just witnessed the predator take on a fucking bear with his hands. Her move here is that she still doesn't want to be part of the group. She wants to go back out in order to kill it. Yeah, not very smart, no. Yeah, so, so, so at this point, you kind of feel like surely what you would do now, regroup and inform. Absolutely. You need to get like, all this your could shit be... back together. You need to tell everybody what's happening. You need to get them all prepared. Instead, mm -hmm. for some reason, I think the film really is trying to argue this wet and almost like deprived person is now like, I'm gonna go kill it. It's like, you just you just saw it defeat the thing that you were terrified and about to die from. Like, why would you yeah. even say no, love. Now you don't no. have your equipment. Yeah. Um, there, there is an element of, if this was a, a if this was an alternate universe version of this movie, her dejectedly going back to camp with his search party is our second act low point where she's defeated, she realizes that this thing is insanely powerful, she doesn't know what to do, she has to think, she feels like a failure, she gets her comeuppance from the tribe, they're very angry at her, Tabe's probably furious that she went and uh, did this. Um, it, it, it's, but they, they take a different route with it, I suppose. Not one that I think is, it makes me real, it, may, it does make it hard for me to be on her side when you're making these really, really dumb decisions. I when does reason her tomahawk, and do you really need anything else? That's true. No, 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 no. Up with, with what she's seen, the thing can survive a bear bite, so the tomahawk is gonna, it's like two bear bites, really. About it. A bear mauling is pro, it, it, I think it might literally be the most deadly thing in their world. Um, a bear mauling? Like, maybe a, a lion attack, I think, is just like right, adjacent or right below it. A bear mauling? When like, you say mauling, do you mean in your, it, one swipe from the bear? Like, in terms of the, the worst possible thing that could happen to you in terms of just strength and aggression that you just cannot handle. Well, like, uh, the worst thing that... Would you wonder if the bear bite would outclass a bear swipe? Oh, oh I, I mean, I, I don't mean individually. I mean, like, the, uh, the bear attack, the mauling of a bear as it's on you. You know, like, this is... like right, To right. put it into perspective of, in her mind, this is the deadliest thing in her universe, you know, in that kind of world that they're in, a bear attack. In oh, it, yeah, okay the bear up so like really we've set our power levels pretty clearly and this, you are uh, you're very confident sweetheart imagine like yeah because there's so many other directions this film could have gone it could have been once they found her she was fucking terrified she's shivering she doesn't mm -hmm. even know what to do and they have to take her back like walking her back she's just that scared and then you know she's trying to regroup she's explaining herself at the camp and then she gives all the information and then she realizes as she's getting up and trying to get back into normal gear even considering just never hunting again that was a huge mistake that her brother's heading off. She's like, well, where are you going? He's like, I'm going to go get that thing. She's like, you can't. You can't. It'll kill you. And then he's like, I'm, I'm, I'll be okay. I'm taking, you know, John, Frank, and Bill with me. And they're, they're great. So I'm going to be fine, sis. You worry about you. I'll worry about me. And then, of course, you have her. That's her hero's decision to make. Will you go with him? Or will you stay where it's safe? You know? And she's like, I'm going to go. And she can help. Yeah. She can be a hunter. That would so much more. Yeah. But what instead she does is even she knows that these people are here to bring her back and she decides to not go back with them. Instead, she's going to go out looking for it again. Maybe things will be different next time. Yeah. If you I don't think maybe what they were going for is that she's she's got to find her dog, but they don't say that as far as I know. Yeah. Um, well, so she said uh, uh, something people have brought up to me before is that the dog is really fucking weird if you try and trace him in this film. Uh, oh, he yeah. teleports everywhere. He's weird. <laughs> Gets around. So, <laughs> the, the, I, I did a little no research on the dog as a result of that. Because I was like, yeah, the scenes the dogs are in is pretty nice, but where the heck did they go? He's like, um, um, he's Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite. He's this and really the, helpful the, NPC. The, 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 the dog exist. actor, Coco, uh, from what I found, is about as much of an actor as my dog, Lou. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, they did their best, but <laughs> it was not a very well-trained dog. I'm pretty sure, like I said about him being like Elizabeth, he doesn't actually exist. He's, 
he, but he does he can't be touched or hurt you know but he does help and that's that's the yeah. dynamic okay he's a helpful npc dog so he yeah, one of the hunters asks where are you going when she she tries to leave and I think the fix here is I have to find Sari. I have to find my dog. We have a I I love my dog. You know, pretty yeah. pretty reasonable thing to say. Yeah, um, yeah. What she says is I saw it, and then she explains the the monster stuff. I saw what left those tracks, yeah. and they 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 think it's a bear. She's like, no, there there was a bear, but there's something else, and it was huge, and it it took on the bear, and it was covered in blood. It looked like a beetle. Yeah, but um... she um. Yeah. I was going to say the implication, of course, being he's going to go kill it, <laughs> which is just like it's insane. What? <laughs> no clue how. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's weird. So the um, so the heroes of this scene decide that they have to they have to just take her back. She's going to go get fucking killed, and they ha they have to bring her back. You can't go back and say, "Yeah, we met her, but she didn't want to come with us." Um. She's being unreasonable here, honestly. And if she said, I have to find my dog, that would have given us some interesting... Yeah. Yeah, something better. Uh, Hunter says, you're going home. And she, you know, he, he grabs her shoulder. She turns around. And when she slaps him, he grabs her, puts her to the ground. They fight. Uh, it's, it's kind of a stalemate by the end of it. Um, they're both... I mean, they're both kind of beat up a bit. Mm -hmm. But ultimately... He says at the end of their fight that um, uh, I think he says like, "Fine, if you want to go, then, then go, yeah, then then go." But then uh, he says, "If you want to leave, then leave." The ruse. Sorry, what? what it's a that? ruse. He doesn't. Mean I think that. it very well might be because this a other guy's room? there, and he's like, "Nope." And then they they basically they thwomp her. They, they suck a bunch of pretty hardcore. Um, yeah. Pretty much, which I don't blame him for at this point. No, I don't either. <laughs> she's kind of <laughs> we, nuts. We gotta bring point. you back to camp. Yeah, you would think that she's just flat out being unreasonable. Yeah. And, which, and, which she is. And she's it's now she's being really super like physically aggressive and will not come back. You have to bring her back. Like, there's no way you're gonna go back empty-handed. Yeah, because it's just... You're at the same problem we had at the beginning. <laughs> She's out there on her own doing shit. Because, yeah, obviously, what makes this scene go smoother is if her brother were here. Because he'd be like, dude. Absolutely. He could reason with them, reason with her. Yeah. Now, as they take her and they start leading her back, we see that they are being watched by the Predator. Oh, my goodness. Oh my he's here with pizzas in the trees. He's got his Hito vision. He's watching them like take her. He's watching the the men take men take her away. And he's got his little spooky triangles on the spear points. That thing is very accurate at identifying potential threats. And um, yeah, he, he watches him. Uh, watches him go. And the next scene, I guess they. Pointy. It, yeah, points are. It is very. You, don't, you wouldn't think you need. I guess it just does that sort of as a side feature. Like, yeah, it, the guns and stuff, it detects those. But I mean, the just, UI just was clear, designed by Ubisoft. A little uh, too much. It does. Yeah, it looks like an Assassin's Creed kind of thingy. Yeah, a little triangle. So they walk a little ways and they set her down by a tree and they say, uh, it's uh, one of them says he's, he's got her gear with him. And he says, you need a leash for your weapon. And he's, mm -hmm. he's got the tomahawk with the rope on it, which is... Yeah, he's it's, he's it's, insulting it's, her weapon when he doesn't realize that thing is amazing, okay? He's got to try it out. awesome. It's incredible. That's all the magic yeah. powers in it. Yeah. Um, I believe is Wasape is his name. Uh, you need a leash for your weapon. She doesn't say anything, which would... I, I don't know. I feel like I'd want to defend it, but I guess she just doesn't want to have any conversation. Well, until you try crap. it. Yeah, she doesn't like these guys. They mean. Yeah, that's fair enough. He says, uh, "I get some water. We'll rest a minute. Everyone stick together." And one of them starts to wander off because he's got to go take a poo. He is. And a you don't want to do that in front. You don't want to do that in front of everybody else. That would be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Um. So, one of them asks, uh, "What'll happen with Tabe?" He's out looking for him, and they say, "I guess he'll meet him uh, back at camp." So they've got arrangements for that. Um. Now remember. Uh, I think his name is, uh, let me double check his name, Itsy, who's going to take a, a poopsie. He leaves the what? group to go do that. So that will be relevant in a moment. 
The others are hanging out there in camp. And do, 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 we have a we have a spooky scene of trees and there's Ooh. predator noises in the distance. Oh, and the hunters are yeah, they're that aware that something's nice. out there. They're looking around like, what the hell is this? What's happening here? Um, they, they've got they're they're on they're on edge and they, they they are by this tree and they it's it's fallen down. They're by a lot of trees. It is the woods. This one is fallen down and they got their bows and like, oh, there's a sound over there. What's going on? And they see some possums run out and one of them shoots the possum. They're like, oh, it was it was only possums. Ha ha. We were so worried. Look at your face, the one guy yeah. says to her. <laughs> Look at your face. And uh, Naru's like, oh, what do you think scared the possums our way? Which, and to be we fair, have... could be anything. Could be anything, it, yeah. Could, yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fair. Now, Wasape goes over the log in order to get the possum. And as he goes and picks up the possum, he notices that on him there are these red dots. That's really weird. I like his reaction to it as well, but you have just like have these glowing dots on you seemingly like he's almost like, a, is this a bug or is this a thing? And he, you know, he's, he's, they're just on him. But we and when know one what of them it gets, means. We know what it means, but oh, you no. see the audience knows something that the characters do not. This is dramatic oh. irony. What they call in the biz. Now, when one of the one of the lights gets in his eye, he like squints and he holds up his hand but to no avail, because tink, 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 three of these metal darts, they, they, they stick them in three different places because the dots are wandering around his body. In fact, you can see the wound on his hand where the dart goes through his hand and right into his eye where the, um, the, the dot was before. Uh, so, hey, that's him, Rip Wasape. He gets darted. He dies, triple darts on the floor. Uh, the others tell Naru to stay down because she's still sitting by this log. They're like, stay down. Interesting little detail. I tell her to stay down. And um, we have our scene where uh, we have our predator fight, our first uh, predator human fight here. Yeah. And I quite like it. I like that it sort of, it, it walks up to Wasape's corpse and it it's invisible and it pulls out the darts of from him one by one. And they're just sort of watching this weird thing happen in front of them. One of them shoots an arrow at it and hits it in the arm and it sticks in its arm and he pulls it out because predators are super freaking resilient to damage. Mm -hmm. And um, they go out to start fighting it. One of them gets a spear and he gives out his big yell and they're they're going at it. And ultimately, she requests to be to have her bindings cut because they bound her hands because she's a he's a loose cannon. And uh, they say, no, 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 you stay down, you stay down. So they're fighting. And they go out there to fight him with their spears and everything, and they put up a pretty good fight. Uh, mm -hmm. These two guys, they they get some hits in, but ultimately, now they're um, the the predator makes mincemeat out of them, and uh, they go out fighting. All while they're fighting, she uses the tomahawk on the ground to cut the bindings. She has to go to Asafe's body because he has her tomahawk, and she cuts her bindings with it. And by the time that uh all the this fight has ended she has she's ran she's out of there she's she's left uh which is weird because this is totally what she wanted i mean here it is but i get turns out maybe running is the best idea <laughs> well so yeah, yeah if we can if we'll stop there then because i'll roll back absolutely we can stop um yeah this is a whole scene feel free to discuss whenever the predator leisure. does anything i just try and think of with all of my assumptions about what he's thinking and what he wants to what do, do does it match any one as long as it matches one I'll be fine. This one's strange because he kills one of them. He obviously knows there's more there. And he walks up to the body to collect his ammo, knowing for a fact that they've all seen they're all staring at him. One of them's aiming at the right there. Him. Yeah, they're staring at him. He doesn't seem yeah. to give the slightest of fucks, which I think when I was going hyper good faith mode when I first watched this, I was just like, the predators like chill with them as long as they're chill with him. And I was like, well, that doesn't really line up, does it? He, you just killed their friend. Like, you know the how predator should be smart. smart enough to know that not only is he giving himself away completely, which is typically not great. You want to avoid that if you can, and you definitely can. You you're, you took the effort to kill one of them at range if, 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 efficiently, and then there's like two, uh, technically three more, but let's just call it two because she's bound. 
Um, it's essentially two more right there, uh, and they're behind cover, and they've got a warning. This guy was killed straight away. It's like it just seems to me that the predators just kind of like, nah, they won't attack me. Oh wow, they did attack me. All right, fine, I'll fuck you up too, which is really odd as an attitude. You would, you think you would go in expecting all of them to fight you back, especially if you kill one of them and then present yourself, and they're sitting there with these bows and arrows and stuff. I'm not um, quite sure anything I can. I don't think of really justifies just, that. It's it, weird. His mask already he, warned he, him that was pointy. Is. Does he already, as he's pulling the darts out, does he just think, well, they don't have a weapon, is, I guess this is the problem, do they have a weapon that can actually damage me? And if there's no potential for it to really actually damage him, then is that a trophy? It seems to me uh, unusual for, for any the Predator to do this. It just seems weird. It is... Oh, I think this is, uh, yeah, I, th I think you're, this may be the first human kill in a uh, Predator series, d depending. Well, actually, no. Ooh, I don't know yet. Probably not, actually. Um, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. But I like the fight itself, because I like that it doesn't just, these aren't just red shirts who would just fucking die. They actually put up a fight. They, 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 they go to put it, they, they, like, they get some stabs and hits in. But it's just, it's a predator. It's got invisibility and these insane metals. And it just, it just fucks them up. But they like get hits in. They're, they're actually do a pretty good job. And yeah, when it goes brave. to look for uh, Naru, she has fled. They are, they are brave lads for what they do in this scene. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And the fact that, yeah, oh, they don't they... just get insta gib straight away. I, I do appreciate that. I think it's neat. And I think that the Predator could probably have had more. This is stuff I'm more forgiving of, right? If someone said, why didn't the Predator just back up and shoot them with his thing? I'm willing to think the Predator's like, I'm going to take him. him. Yeah, I, I want to fight them with my, yeah. even with his fists. Yeah. And then, I think that even On happens that in the fight. Time. At first, he's just using his fists. And then one of them, I think, tags him. And so then he, he pulls out his swords or whatever they are. Which is similar mm -hmm. to what happened with the dog. Uh, not the dog, the wolf. Yeah, that that's that seems to me pretty consistent with the predator that he's and when he like... recognizes an escalation in the uh the technology or like the weapons, because we'll see it later, an escalation in the force that he's willing to use. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're almost like at the point where we can have that the, conversation. The fun of the game. I think the only thing I was wondering is why the other guy didn't use arrows while the uh... The that one guy was uh, fighting the uh, the the predator. I think it would have been neat if he was like I don't know, functioning. Well, so the, as what a, they show us is the the second DPS guy sneaks something. up behind him and stabs him with a spear. So yeah. Plus the first arrow just didn't seem to do anything. Um, but wasn't that one guy still behind the lock? Or am I just misremembering? No, no. So he, he fires an arrow, arrow and grabs his spear, ready to fight this thing. And they, oh, the they, guy with they, the arrow that okay. They okay. do some kind of like hand movement, and I think it's the, the you go behind him, I'll go front, and then they do, and they get a stab on him, and that's when the predator gets his big things out. Like, oh shit, okay, these gotcha, guys aren't gotcha. retarded. Okay. Which you um, know, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, go go ahead. <laughs> um. So she runs, and uh, she runs out into a field, and she runs into. Uh, Itzy, who had gone for a, a poo, he, I suppose, had seen this from a distance, and he was like, fuck that, and think, decided to lay low in this field in the grass. I think that might be a subversion, and... by the way. Um, they imply kind of heavily that he's going to go off and have a poop and get killed. Meanwhile, it's the actual main group that do, and he's fine. You know? Uh, yeah, maybe. I think yeah. that that's playing with the fact that we would have thought, like, oh, he's going to go and poo and going to get killed. He that's never how comes it works. back, yeah. Where is he? How that thing must be stuck in sideways. One of you needs to go and find him. He's been out there too long. Uh, and they find his corpse or whatever. Yeah, that, that is sort of what you probably expect in a lot of other things. The, the loner gets picked off. Um, so, I suppose we, we can get into the... Do you want to get into the Predator appearance now? Because you could sort of see his, like his head. Do you want to wait until later? I think or... his helmet is cool as fuck. Well, should we wait until it's the helmet comes cool. off before we talk about it? Oh, sure. Oh, well, mm. I, want, I just wanted to clarify, though. I don't know if there's anything... That is that true. The OG Predator helmet. That thing is fucking awesome. The bone helmet is really cool. It's what I imagine... It, it just seems more predatory to me that it's like a trophy that has been well, repurposed into a wearable piece of armor. 
I think it is a cool new thing that we can see, but I do really adore the original Predator. The original like, is special, comment. yeah. This yeah, just seems like... more predatory esque to me, but they both look great. They both look great. Um, um I like the original just because of the, the technological plus uh -huh. tribal. I think that the the helmet mm -hmm. feels like it was crafted specifically for Pippus, while this one is an alternate that I also like. That's just how I see it. Yeah. So we have uh, Itzy is laying in a field. Uh, he's 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 laying low, and she grabs her. He grabs her, pulls her down, and uh, they they communicate with sort of hand gestures without making any noise. Like that's just a thing that you know to do with people, like useful for hunting and whatnot. And she notices the dots because the predator's got heat vision, so he could see them sort of in the field. Yeah, and before but they he think they're nice and concealed. Yeah. Well, he he's thinks crouching in tall grass really doesn't work that well. Isn't there? Yeah, um, it's not a video game, unfortunately. Not, not with heat vision. Sure as hell doesn't. He, he, doesn't he say, "Uh, we have him," or "I have him," and then she says, "He yeah. has yeah, us." Yeah, it's like I've got him. He has us. Because he's aiming an arrow right at it, and, and the camouflage looks really good here. The the invisibility. This is probably one of the places where it looks like the best. It's really cool looking here. It's it's really ominous because you could just barely make it out. If you didn't have a good copy of this um, that you watched on fill in the blank streaming service, then you might sort of miss it because it's nice and subtle here, and I really like it. That just silhouette of him, uh, but he thinks he's going to hit it with an arrow. But she notices Naru notices the three dots on his forehead, and she's like, "Uh oh, I know what those do." And she pushes him down at the last moment, and the darts go sailing over. Uh, Sailing over his head. Now, we, we'll leave for, like, that must be a bitch to find those again out in the field. Oh, yeah. Well, but maybe as a metal detective. <laughs> may, yeah. Maybe. Um, so, their cover's blown, and they start running. They start running, and he is behind her. Itzy is behind Naru, and the predator pounces on him and rips him to pits. And that's the end of him. Uh, so... Yeah, it's about what you'd expect. I like the dread of... Really like the big explosion of yeah. blood when the Predator pounced on it. Because you got invisible thing tearing person apart. It just seems to match that it would just be this pile of blood and flesh would happen pretty quickly. I also just like the sequence of the Predator is fucking that, sprinting at you and it's it's that fast and I mean, that powerful. The, it's just like, the oh, man Jesus. looked like he got it's hit by a B, uh, 50 BMG. Yeah. Well, you got the uh, the the grass as well parting with the invisibility looks cool. Yeah, and then above. it's cool to get that shot again. This time, a big blood trail is behind it. It's like, yeah. nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he dead. Naru keeps running, 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 running. She got her tomahawk in her hand, and she is running. Runs across the field, and a a bloodied invisible predator is chasing after her. Uh, I mean, it's a very, very bloody predator. If if you're shown on the the screen, this thing chasing after her, it is very, very bloodied, very red. That sure is a lot of blood there all over him, where he was once invisible and now he's just covered in blood. But it's chasing after her. Now she reaches the end of the field, and once she starts to get back into the trees, alas, she steps on a metal trap, and. The trap, um, you know, she falls over. Ouch, that hurt a whole bunch. She's trapped by the trap, thus the name. And the predator shows up behind her. He's like, wait, what's this? What's this? This is the same chain that I saw over at those skinned buffaloes. Yeah. How interesting. However, mm. um, the, the predator is, is bloodless right now, as far as I uh, recall. Uh, his blood is gone. He's now before. squeaky clean. Or, yeah, you have... I was going to say, it's such fucking mixed bag man like i know i can't wait to compliment an element of this but i can't help but criticize probably about three or four things at once here like go for it man what horrid luck that she stood in a trap that sucks for her there's there's many different things that could have happened well, there but that's what happened how amazing that she did more like that's actually true but let's that's, just you know yeah. we'll go from her pov i guess for that moment yeah. um and then of course you have uh the Frenchmen are just here immediately. So, they're here, yeah. They're just here. And they, they, they grab it. It's just like, that just seems really coincidental as well. 
They're not here fast enough, however, to have spotted the Predator, and the Predator does not react to them in ways that you may have expected him to, considering his other stuff he's been doing. But, you know, sure, fine, fine, fine. He, Main... Yeah, he's sort of, he seems to go into that wait-and-see mode, because you see him take a knee and get still with his invisibility. Yeah. Um, And just sort of watch. The main... And if I was, yeah? Oh, because I, I've only got... Yeah, it's the one criticism left for a compliment. Um, how unfortunate, when watching this film, I was like, fuck, our protagonist probably can't walk again. Or at least, he's limping. Because that is going to fuck your, your ankle up hardcore, uh, standing in that uh, trap. Yeah, depends where it hits and how strong um, it is, but definitely does damage. It's, it's supposed to secure an animal in place so you can come by and get it later. So yeah, I, I you know I'll be curious to see what we got for that moving forward. Wink, wink. Mm. Yeah, we will see. In fact, we're gonna get a a payoff for that very but, soon. Of course, the really cool aspect of this scene is we get to understand more about the way that this predator is operating. He sees yeah, um, her caught in the trap, examines it, and doesn't kill her because I don't think he likes that. I don't think he likes the idea of killing somebody who's been trapped. If we run with um, what Rags like, was saying, uh, when, you when ruined it for his me. Trap. If we go from what Rags said when we, when they f last saw each other, uh, the predator was like, "I defeated the predator of this interaction. She's fine. Whatever. Moving on." And then tracks whatever finds these guys, kills them, and then sees at the end of this fight when he's killed three of them that she is there. She's holding a weapon. He seems to, like, you know, for lack of a better term, match them. She's with them. So I think this she is have a signal to the Predator too. that, like, so we're going to fight then, I'm guessing. And it's like, all right. And she runs off. It's like, all right, then. Challenge accepted. And then, of course, the Predator sees this other guy with her, kills that guy. And then he's just chasing her. She's running. It's about to get her. Then she gets hit by a bear trap. And it's like, oh, that's lame. <laughs> like, this yeah, is a, um... um... I, it's, it's insanely coincidental how all of these things just converge on this one point. Um, yeah. and again, just for forget the, the, co the predator was blood soaked, um, at this point he's covered in blood, but the we swap scenes and he's super clean again because yeah. he needs to be invisible for the French. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so, oh, yeah. And, so, and so to now with the fact that this is incredibly convenient, with, well, with, with the context we've just added now, it turns from how inconvenient she stepped on that to Ooh. how hyper convenient how very, she stood on that. Very, very convenient. Yeah. If she hadn't stood on that, she'd be dead. <laughs> very yeah. like, I guess she would have just ran into Frenchmen. Yeah. And then, yeah. I don't so even know how would that have played out? Which, to be honest with you, would have worked better. I, I guess think. that takes the can I... down the road, though, doesn't it? Like, I I, I think I would have well, so preferred that in the I sense of the Predator's like, oh, a new challenger has that would, entered this fray. That would make more sense, but then they yep. obviously want the payoff of a Predator sparing someone who's stepped in a trap, yeah. which I think is pretty cool, you but you gotta do a little bit Yeah, because it's not his it. trap, so I it's guess almost like I don't get credit for it. coincidences though, right? Like, either she steps in the bear trap and you get that, or she just runs into the, the French guys who just um, happen to be out there. I'd be more willing I, to I'm justify willing to hear this... bumping into them if I they guess, make a lot I, of sound as... in the fight that... We have and with the predator and the, the guys. She, yeah, the noise. She had to step in a very specific location to get caught in the like yeah. if she had ran a couple of meters the other way, um, that doesn't happen, whereas she still would have encountered the Frenchman. So like it is the greater coincidence. So I suppose the question is, what do you want to accept? A greater coincidence or a with a with a, maybe a more interesting payoff or a uh lesser coincidence with a similar payoff for this would be, let's work a little harder and figure out how we can oh, get yeah. what we want yeah <laughs> yeah i guess if you only have those two options though if if you it would have been interesting for the, the french of the hear this commotion in the woods what is that we're in the general area we should investigate they go and as they're on their way there was this there was this comanche woman with a tomahawk in her hand, and maybe she's got a whole bunch of blood on her from a, a nearby kill that's gotten on her. We could do that. So a very strange sight. What she she's running for her life from something. Let me ask this, and it's particularly in like maybe this scene here. Frenchmen are here. You have the predator right behind you. You have all these men with guns. Is there a part of you that says, like, look, look, right there, right there, right there, look, 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 it's trying to kill me. It's trying to kill me. Is that an element that maybe should be a part of the scene? Because hmm. she doesn't... I don't think she says anything here. 
I suppose she just looks up at these. That, that is. That I mean, she could have done, but could she also just be so fucking shocked at everything that's just yeah. been Maybe. happening? She's done. I don't think it's really a complaint. It's just me wondering, like, yeah, if I was in this situation, what might I do, or what might someone do? Would that have made it interesting that she points at this distortion and is like, "Yeah, this is the thing that's chasing me and trying to kill me." So, huh, who knows? Uh, we also get, of course, we get the trope. The uh, m the subtitles are in French. I do not know what the French are saying for this. Um, so any analysis of the the French speak is not going to be a part of my analysis. My my subtitles are in are in the French. They got the ZT. Oh, sacré bleu. Ah, oui, oui, baguette. Mm -hmm. um, like so baguette. the French show up, and of course, we get the trope of hit her in the head with your weapon and knock her out. Uh, sigh. Man, like, you could so easily just kill someone by doing that. Just carry her back. It's just like, oh, it's this, this woman in the woods. Yeah, this, it doesn't really this matter. Native, this <laughs> woods. And you could just cut from them. You know, you could have them walk toward it, cut. You don't even need to knock her out or grab it. We can infer that they took her here. <laughs> It'll be okay. It's, yeah. It's, um, yeah. it's to instantly set them up as bad guys. I mean, they're already French. Do we really need anything else? That is true. And I understand that is coming from a German, but that is true. <laughs> um, there, yeah, I just feel like it's like, uh, you I, would you have done that? Would you have hit her in the head? I feel like the other three would have gone like, just, like what, what's a French name? Clemmy, what are you doing? Why, why would you possibly do this? Why, why would you hit her in the head like that? That's not very Christian of you. But who knows? Who knows what they would have said? But it's just, it's just, I hate this trope where you can just hit people in the head to put them on pause. So that you could do whatever you want to do with them for the next scene. Yeah. Um, we get so to see the, the result of the bear trap, act... The trap in general. That's it right there. Uh, I almost think this is like a... <laughs> I don't even know. I think they showed us this to be like, no, it did hurt her, but this has no consequence. That should yeah, shatter her no. bone. She Well, probably not. Um, I mean, if it's a, it depends. Trouble, all, like, yeah, that, it... It's clearly something that needs to be tended to. Um, but the, to set the scene, she awakes in a cage. A cage in a French camp. She's surrounded by Frenchmen. It is hell on earth, truly. They're all over the place. They're speaking their horrific language. They're just all making noises and everything. She's trapped in a cage. Oh no, what am I going to do? The horror. Now, she awakens... And she feels, uh, uh, she's got a boo-boo on her leg where she stepped on the trap. And it seems to be totally untended to, uh, which is... This is like a consolation like, prize. I, this is, th th this doesn't matter. It has no bearing on anything ever from this point on. I yeah. feel like they showed us this just to be like, yeah, she got hurt, but fuck you. Yeah, she, the, see, there's a wound and she went, ah. That's the payoff, is that she said, ouch, essentially. It's, I think it's just cheating to put her in that kind of trap and then to be like, well, we're done with that payoff, so whatever. Just have her trip on the chain. Yeah, you could have done that. She falls right in front of the Frenchman. Maybe you hear the loud clang of the trap as it gets set off because she tripped on the chain. And oh, then wait, you, you can get everything you want. Do the, do the trap scene. where she steps in um, a little little hoop and it, it ties and then a weight drops and you get flung you upside down. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. That doesn't some, some... hurt her to do that, so do that. I mean, it does hurt, but, you know, not in the same vein as this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, there is the, the, the Frenchmen, they're all being spooky, like, oh, is it? <laughs> making their noises as French people do. And she's in her cage and she's looking at him and they're like poking her with sticks and just being menacing and jerks. Um, doesn't seem to be a kind heart among them. There's a, However, there's a neutral heart among them. Yeah. Say what? There is a neutral heart among them. There's no real kind ones though, no. Yeah, there's sort yeah. of one. Yeah, so this, uh, enter Raphael. What a name, Raphael. What an interesting name, Raphael. Raphael is their translator. He speaks Comanche, amongst many other languages. Nice little touch. He has a little, like, feather necklace on him that uh, maybe he got from natives. Uh, nice little touch that the translator has that. Now, Raphael talks to her, and he says, What did you see? He's like, you're, you're a Comanche, I speak a lot of language. What did you see? Trying to talk with her. Trying to see what's going on. Because it turns out... Da, 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 da. 
the, the turns out the trappers are aware of the predator. They're aware of something out there, mm -hmm. which makes me somewhat question what the timeline of this is. Has the predator had enough time to cause shenanigans with the French and also do all the things we see him doing? It's, it's up in the air. It's odd. But apparently the trappers are aware of the predator. I also wonder uh, how this guy's concluded already what it is and what it does. I just wonder if there's even been enough time for that. Where not only Yeah, because he knows Raphael know the French know what it what its 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 system is, sort of. They have figured it out. Yeah. Um he says, You should be helping us. I think this creature is a hunter looking for the strongest prey. What do you know? It killed your whole party. And she said, no, it didn't kill everyone. Which I don't like, by the way. Which I don't like. I, I, I would not. This is not the point. You are you are you barely survived. All of your compatriots are dead and you're in a cage surrounded by Frenchmen. It's, you should not be cocksure right now. It's not yeah. just that. There's this growing sense in my head where I'm like, those guys deaths gave you time to break from your bonds and escape. They're part of your fucking tribe. You know when they tied you up, it was for what they perceive as your own good. They've been brutally fucking killed after bravely like trying to defend themselves from this creature. And you're just treating this like, fuck it, they all died, whatever. I, it didn't kill Not me. me. Like, yeah, no, it didn't kill yeah. you. Because it spared you. Because you sucked. No offense, you got hit by a trap that, you know, all of them got killed because they fought it. You ran. Like, I don't appreciate yeah. this severe lack of humility from her. It's, you are um, not, yeah. You, I, I don't know. You, you should, you should learn from Tabe. It would be so much cooler if her lines. He's like, you know, he, uh, he killed everyone. She's like, no, and then she like looks up. Or maybe, maybe she could be. We need, I think, in that realization because she has a line later that helps the scene a little bit. Um, but in the moment, oh, it we'll really, get into that. Really comes across here that she's like, eh, didn't kill everyone. It's like, don't be proud of yourself after that scene. <laughs> yeah, on, yeah. Kind of, um yeah again rewatches in particular i like her less and less but we've been getting into that so uh so he uh raphael is right if you were smart you would help us because this thing f fucks people up and we're a whole bunch of we we may be french but this is old school french we are we are capable of doing things and we have guns and there's a lot of us and we are woodsmen so she this should be her golden opportunity to be like like, they didn't have to make French just the evil jerks, you know? They could be like, yo, listen, we're we're out here, try, we're just out here getting pelts and whatnot, doing what we do, and there's this creature, and it's fucking with our folks, and it seems to have done the same to your party. We need to cooperate. We need to work together. But they instantly make them both so incredibly standoffish against one another, which I don't mm -hmm. think is, is interesting, nearly. Um, right. So, but, but Raphael's right. Yeah, if you were smart, you'd help us. And I, I feel like that, that he is correct. Judging by the amount of lantern lights we see just in this shot, makes me think that there is a, is a shit ton of them. French, I mean. That is a that is another note that I noticed. This oh, camp, yeah. we see this camp in the daytime, and it is not. We are led to believe by all these lights that this is a very like this is like a French fort or it's something. Practically, like a they brought them whole to town. New France. <laughs> like... Yeah, there's lights all over the place, but I guess that was for I don't know what that was it's who knows maybe i don't know um so because she apparently is just not talking to them now and she says that she's not gonna help them out she's just being quiet she's like oh, it didn't kill everyone i i survived um which i was like eh. one of the the angry fat frenchman with the bear skin um i don't know if it's the bear or not uh maybe they came across it and just i don't know but uh he goes out to another cage on the other side of this little uh, campfire. And, oh no, they have Tabe. They've captured him. They must have captured him while he was out looking for you. Oh, yeah, man. How about that? Oh, no. Poor Tabe. Now, let's talk about how we might behave in scenarios. Now, <laughs> just because in a movie somebody doesn't behave as you would behave or think you'd behave, that doesn't mean it's a flaw. Doesn't mean that there's an issue, doesn't mean that it's a problem. But I feel that sometimes when characters don't do certain things or do do certain things, haha do do, yeah. I get pretty annoyed and mm -hmm. I get pretty frustrated at what I'm seeing. Because it's tough for me to really believe that characters would do things or would be doing the lack of things that they're doing. So let's set the scene. You are in Naru's place. 
you discover that in this French camp, you are not the only captive, and the other captive is actually your brother, whom, in theory, because we know he loves her very much, but in theory, you <laughs> love him very much. He is your brother. You're, yeah. He is your blood. You've been through a lot together, right? You went through that mountain lion, and then there was the... The, those puhi oh good times good and then the hawk at the river we've been through so much together my dear brother and i now these angry frenchmen speaking this disgusting foreign language right that you can't understand they're like ah oh, ha, 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 and they're laughing and they're being all grandiose and they're they're clearly keeping you prisoner here and they don't seem to be very nice they pull tabe out of his cage your brother your blood that you love very much supposedly and they yeah, they they pull him out of his cage and they hold him and one of them pulls out this big old knife, right? Now, I feel like I would have a very immediate, distinct reaction to these events occurring right in front of me. I feel like, and I'm, I feel that if that was my brother and <clears throat> my brother was that much of a fucking Chad that I knew who really cared about me this deeply... I would be screaming my head off. I would say, no, 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 I'll tell you everything I know. Everything, please don't hurt him. Don't, 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 don't cut him up. Don't slice him or dice him. Don't mm -hmm. do anything. I, I, I'm I, just afraid. I'm sorry. I'll tell you everything I know. We have the same goals. Just please don't hurt my brother. Don't do it. Please don't do it. That's what I feel I might do, especially as the Frenchman is taking this knife and he's dragging the knife along Tabe's front and making this big red line, and Tabe's going, ow, fuck, that hurts. Jesus Christ, that hurts a lot. That is a knife in my chest. And she just sort of, like, scowls, and kind of kicks the cage a little bit. Like, she's a little upset. She, like, she's somewhat it, perturbed at this. I'd say it's almost played as though she doesn't have an opportunity to hear with them her particular disdain and unoffer, and as if they're playing it as though she doesn't speak their language and they don't speak hers, but but they've got a guy right there they who definitely clearly has. have a translator that she's given like a line to, and there's specific. He's specifically like, "Help us! Tell us what you know." Like they're not trying to. Like, it's not like, "Ah, tell us what you know, so we can kill your friends." No, it's please tell us what you know, so we can kill the predator. Like it, she has every reason in the world to help them, apart from yeah. the fact that they did headbutt her with a rifle, and she's understandably a little, you know, little miffed at that. I'm fine with it being but pissed Jesus over that. Christ. But yeah. I think you're totally right, and it's just feels like something's missing and awkward here, because with the way the scene works, it, it implied to me directly that the Frenchman came up with the idea of, let's see if she wants to help us if we hit this guy. That seems to be the idea. But then the scene kind of just ends. And it's like, oh. Okay. Yeah, it's it's over. And I'm like, what? But right, I, but um, please what? help to let's torture your brother in front of you, and then nothing. Yeah, yeah I don't know if they're just jerks who like to hurt people, or they're trying to be like, we're gonna we're gonna bleed him so that it, the scent is in the air. Or I, 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 as far as I know, it's like, oh, this is your fellow, you know, your 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 fellow here. We're gonna hurt him because you are not telling us what you know. When. I mean, like, I don't know I what part, how much of me blames the French for cutting a guy because you've got a predator killing your dudes and you think this woman might be able to tell you something and she's just not telling you something. And you're like, ah, oh. and, and Raphael's like, please tell us, you know, you should be helping us. They killed your whole party. If you're smart, you'd help us. But she doesn't protest. Ver she doesn't say anything. She does yeah, not say any words. Um, someone in chat mentioned she's angry at them for having killed the buffalo. Even if her brother yeah, is potentially about to die matter. here, I don't think that she's going to let that level of disdain overshadow saving his life. Unless she is, Isn't and that's just her character, which... What a prick. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bro, but they, 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 that's the whole herd right there. Yeah, it was Jeez. really mean what they did. <laughs> well, it might not be the whole herd. Of course, the ones who didn't get killed, they ran away. So maybe there's a uh, chance they're out there. I, of course, you never uh, know. <laughs> Maybe. I remember yeah, one, right one thing that uh, people were bringing up in my reaction was, hey, you know, the uh, the French were actually like some of the, they had some of the best relations with the natives, not like it's depicted here where they're just a super evil bad guy. And there was a French and Indian war. I mean, that was a thing. I mean, yeah, in fact, too. it's not too far into the future. George Washington but, will fight in that one. But also, as I, 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 I kind of already knew that the French had pretty good relations with the natives. Um, I mean, uh, that's kind of my ancestors. Um, the French or the natives? Both. Oh my oh. god, they really <laughs> did get along. Yeah. <laughs> they must have got along. 
Um, I, I've seen a lot of criticism tends to be in the way of, man, the French were so one-dimensional and lame as, yeah. as people, whereas, like, you know, the other faction in this, the whole range of kinds of human beings in there. Um, yeah, I'm, in, I'm inclined to say that it would be nice if the French had more dimensions to them, especially considering how much they, they do feature in this film from this point on. Jesus. Yeah, I wish they were certainly more multidimensional, not just we're bad. I, I don't feel too bad about it just because they they really didn't have that large of a role. They um I mean we see a decent amount of them going forward now. Uh, they're in the in movie terms full of what on for they the next do, like, you mean? 10 15 minutes. I mean like the the amount of screen time they get. Um in terms of cuz like obviously the criticism is basically that they're all boorish and Gross. Uh, I guess people just wanted to see less of a weighted depiction that's clearly gunning for a particular idea as opposed to what feels just like a genuine one. Like, look at these gross, smelly Frenchmen's all being mean. These are your red shirts. That's what it feels like. Um, and I just think mm -hmm. the film would easily benefit from... I probably would have made Raphael really nice. Um... I probably would have yeah. wanted to try and make it so that... Because they almost get there in this film, but I don't think they go far enough. I probably would have... And this has been suggested by a lot of people. I think, uh, as was saying, this is probably what he would have done. But just, why not have them both work together? That would have been nice. Yeah, um, I think that's, almost, that, that would have been better. Almost play with the idea, but I, I would say we don't really get there. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame, because this is... Yeah, it would have been neat to have that back and forth sort of like they don't necessarily have to super trust each other but they work together they've never really maybe encountered you know the, the white men before so especially with tabe there that could be interesting how he's this crazy amazing hunter and everything and super talented and he works with them a bit but eh, i don't know that this is what brought our people together was the predator somehow it's like that would have been interesting but that, that, that would have um, been a nice little Feather in the cap of my ancestry is that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's predator, why. It, is the predator came yeah. and was messing them both up, and they had to fight it off together. And then afterwards, they went back in the teepee for a while <laughs> for a little celebratory uh, conversations. They like him exotic. So oh my. we have uh, da, 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 da. somebody to help us cut Tabe French. Okay, so the Frenchmen have tied up. Tabe and Naru to a tree in the middle of a uh, sort of a semi clearing. They, I assume, they burned a part of the woods in order to clear it out of all of its uh, brush and debris, yeah, which is a well. smart idea. Oh, I thought someone was saying something. Pardon. I say Tabe was taking this very well. In oh. terms of like the the pain. Oh, the just the whole situation. situation. Yeah. <laughs> He's proactive, I mean, man. He's, he's only he, thinking about... He's goal-oriented. Yeah, what's the best thing to he, do next? That's what we focus on. Well, he says... Uh, well, we learn later his... Uh, we, we'll get into Tave and some of his dialogue later. But um, he's trying to, of course, you know, project strength. Like, when they cut him, he's like, he, like, yells at him. Yeah, that sort of thing. Now, uh, they tie him up to this tree, I guess, to use him as bait. But is the issue is the, yeah. Just, I think, an interesting point immediately, because you tell me that this French guy has cracked exactly what the Predator is interested in doing, and yep. then you tell me you're going to use them as bait by tying them to a tree. Uh, I don't think that, I don't think, you can't, you can't have both of those, you have to have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say they figured the it point. out. It almost feels like that's a line for the audience who hasn't figured it out. I mean, no. I hope not. <laughs> but, but I, I hope was, not too, but no. I thought that the it's film it. was foolishly trying to say it wants to kill hunters, so if we tie up a hunter, it'll go for it. As opposed to the reality of like, well, no, it no, it wants to go, it wants to, wants to hunt, not to like fucking randomly kill. What? Fine. <laughs> I just think it's it was never gonna work. Uh, and then yeah, it's having a, her point yeah. that out, it's like, yeah, yeah, I know. Also, she's still technically not really a hunter yet. Um, yeah. Interest. I think that, well, to be fair, I think that actually does play into the scenes as they go forward. This is something I it kind will. of appreciate about the film, I believe, is that 
up to this point, she's not done anything definitively to the Predator. Um, she still hasn't. Mm -hmm. She's only ever ran away from it, looked at it, like it. So it's not got anything on her yet. If it had like a list of crimes she's committed, it's not really. Anything. Meanwhile, the people so, scream at it, hit it with things. So we we got the clearing that they they exposed this opening to make it a lot more a lot less foliage and places for it to sort of hide. We get some ash in the air. Um, we so, have yeah. yeah what, what happened here? What is this place? I, I assume that the place. French. I, fr I assume the French set up a controlled conflagration yeah, to clear out all of the brush and the trees, it. and yeah. Make so it's the more environment open. is best for them. Okay, interesting. I would have never guessed that in a million years, to be honest. I mean, the other reason would also be because it looks cool. <laughs> and it that was my cool. that was my reasoning. There is <laughs> like, a, there is a third sure benefit. Um, I think from a action scene point of view, uh, but we'll get there eventually. So I'm not even saying just for the look. It, it, there's a mechanical thing that happens here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of... No, I, I know. Yeah, it. yeah, I know yeah, it. yeah. I know that. Now, uh, Naru asks if she, Naru asks if Tabe's okay. Did they hurt you? He's like, oh, they tried. Because um, he's, he's a tough one. Uh, horses Winnie in the, uh, the background and the Frenchmen are watching. They got their spyglass. They're up on a hill. Uh, they, they're up where the, the fire hasn't been, so they're, they're looking into the trap area. And there are some Frenchies on horses, and they're hanging around. The horses are restless, because animals can sense these things, as you know, of course. Unless you're a rat, um, then you can't sense it all that much. Um, but they, they speak to each other in French, and I have no idea what they're saying. We can only, we can only guess. There's probably no way for us to ever discover what they say. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure they're saying, man, isn't it great being um, French? Yeah. Right. Probably yeah. that sounds like something they would say. I yeah, sure I do like get... being alive for an additional twenty or thirty years. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to France and have some cheese and wine and um, do whatever it is we do in France. Um, so, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just sort of going through my little list here. Uh, I like Tabby's... that little. Yeah, oh, I like that little line they do. It's like, oh, this, so this thing. Uh, this is what you took uh, for your. Kutum, yeah. She, she just goes like, yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's There's a point where I'm like, God, my sister is a retard. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and to be fair, I, I think she is uh, her most tolerable when she's with him. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's all of us. We're all at our most tolerable <laughs> we're when we're with him. much better when we're with him. He's just like a <laughs> conduit for all of our, our the goodness all in the world. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the, the predator, however, he's around and he starts killing Frenchmen and, uh, there was this big old fight and I didn't really know how to put this down for the notes other than to say there was a big old fight. Maybe we have like stuff to comment on cause he uses a lot of his weapons. We see a lot of his arsenal. Yeah, this is, I guess you know, the comment would be that this is cool. Well, <laughs> it is to, very To summarize cool. it in terms of events, he fights all of the Frenchmen, um, yeah. So we could just talk about and, that, uh, I guess. Meanwhile, they... Do you want to say, you know, we could talk about how they escaped? A portable wood chipper! Oh, I love that part, actually. Well, let's... Yeah, I don't know. This is, it's kind of annoying to figure out exactly how we should go about this. I'll start right, right early on in terms of a comment. I like the fact that it shows a Frenchman realizing that the Predator's already behind them and killed a bunch of people and says, Merde. I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> However... Yeah. It's about three or four bodies back there. No fucking way you killed all of them with you nobody getting alerted. Yeah. They're about three meters away from these dudes. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I get, yeah, it's supposed to be the whole, oh, the predator, he swooped in, killed them all silently and efficiently. And I'm like, eh, I, uh, all of those men were apparently on horses too, and all the horses have ran off. It's like, you're getting, you're getting so many sounds from all of that. that and I, think I guess they noticed because the horses run. That's what I think, no, I'm I saying. Think... You would hear that. And maybe the scene would be made better if we didn't know how close they were and we just saw the horses run and then we cut away. You know, like just like halves of thing. people on horses as the horses run away. Like I, don't the know if we need the, I don't even know if we need that. Just the fact that the horses are running away. It's like, why would they do that? You know, less is more. A bit eerie, yeah. And Before we get the big, you know, cool fight scene. Um. So, yeah, I suppose, uh, you, the first... I guess overt predator kill, you get uh, his spear travels so fucking fast and so heavy, it just takes the head off a guy and impales it on a tree. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Remember yeah. that spear for later. And then, yeah, it shows that the Predator's uh, camo is not able to function in this shit. The ash is fucking him up. It yep. Yeah, the ash entirely. landing on it causes some issues. Yeah, which, you know, it's fair enough, but I'm assuming that was part of their intention as well. It's like, we can make an action scene where he yeah. can't use his camo. Um, we can really show off our cool-ass Predator. Yes. Uh... In certain ways, and this this fight has a lot of different choices in it. A lot of things I like. A lot of things that I have a different thought on. Um, I'm trying to see which one comes first. You know, what's what? What are our predator? Um. So the predator, yeah, he notices that the ash is disrupting his camo, and he's like, "Well, all right." Oh yeah, this is any. The, the first this thing that happens straight after that is he gets hit by the the French trap, which this part fucks well, me off before. a lot. But before that, right before this, uh, he starts wandering into the ash hole, and Tabe sees it coming, and he says, Ah, oh, we're the bait, he's coming for us. And Naru says, No, he doesn't hunt like that. He wants to hunt like hunters. He doesn't want to just, he doesn't want to hunt bait. That's not how he works. So I guess that's She's our. She's learning. She says, yeah. Before the trappers captured me, it saw me. Oh my goodness, it came right up to me, and it left. So she, this, I think this is where she, I guess, she's supposed to piece it all together. As she's well, she's certainly piecing there. a lot of it together now. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, yeah, I guess they, this, this so much I take it. Fucking one tiny moment of the predator hitting a bear trap. He falls over, hits another trap with his hand, and then they put a net Does on really? top of him. That. Yep. That plays into something cooler later. But God, there's so many things to say about this. Like, first of all, this is a big, wide open space. You have five Frenchmen prepared on this one trap. Do you have that everywhere, or is it just lucky as fuck that he ended up on this particular trap? Like, damn. Um, I'm surprised the predator. They would show us the predator acknowledging bear traps earlier to then have him fall for one later. Feels like the opposite of what should happen. Yeah, like it's also be weird because to look you... out for it. It's because you know this is a trap that's meant for you. Because they also start the scene with showing like him. Predator. They had to set up rope and log traps specifically yeah. because the predator could see their trip wires and knew to avoid them. This is what I'm saying. Like not only do we have that, we have the fact that he acknowledged and understood the bear trap type things. Like why would you show me that and then show him fall for one? That doesn't really line up very well. It's not very satisfying. Especially because they show him start walking like next to some of these traps, looking like so oh so he's aware, so no traps and then like after three or four he just steps into one it's like wait what yeah um so that's the situation right he's in two traps and they've got a really good net on top of him and i remember when we were first watching this they're all they all start celebrating their victory and it's like guys we got him in a net we did it and then like he's obviously not dead so he starts killing them it's so awkward wouldn't you guys all this this thing is causing so many problems? You seem to be pretty familiar with it. This was your chance, lads. This was it. You had it in a net on two bear traps. Go spear, 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 or whatever weapons you have. Just go nuts. Go to town. Tear that thing apart. But no, instead they're just like, mm -hmm. woohoo, guys, we did it. It's like you have not yeah. done it. <laughs> you don't deserve this victory. Um and then the weirdest thing. And I, I distinctly remember, Rags, you, you were very unsatisfied with this when you first saw it. Uh, what is happening here? I'm just going to put it on repeat on the stream so everyone can see it. All right. Predator well, stabs like him. Lot. Remember, he's in two bear traps on the floor with a net on top of that. This is what the Predator does. He... What? Well... Oh, and then he just yeah. like does this weird lift up thing. Oh, like, yeah. Like, how... Wires. Yeah. What, what is that? Like, what? Okay. I guess that didn't work. And then he like punches him How is into he... another guy. One of his feet are in a bear trap right now, but both of them are moving. So like, My, I guess you could still move. You could still move it in the bear trap because the bear trap is attached I'm to trying... the chain, and the chain is pegged down. Let's see if it's, it's still on him or not. But yeah, because he yeah, breaks it. It has to still be on him because he breaks it off in a sec. So he breaks it. Yeah. But it looks like it's hard this to is tell. like one of those. Oh no! How could our plan possibly have failed? But yeah, um, I I just wouldn't have 
I wish wouldn't have written it so that he got caught cool in this, this this whole thing was awkward. <laughs> like, alright, that's what you wanted to do, I guess. Uh Um Also, right before this, we have a little bit more dialogue. Uh we have uh our two at the tree and uh she says, you know, it, it's it, it on a certain way I figured it out. Um and they talk a little bit more as it's walking in before it gets hit by the trap. So she said that it didn't see her as a threat. That's why she doesn't think that it, you know, killed her. And then this is a good character thing for Tabe, I feel, because they're in a they're in a pretty rough spot. You got this alien creature, you got all the Frenchmen, which is worse. I don't know, hard to say. He yeah. says, Your plan uh at the tree. Like it was it was your plan that I used to kill the lion. Like you legitimately helped the lion. You weakened it. You like you had it. You know, like, like he's really trying to pepper up. He's trying to give her that encouragement. It's like, all right, this is our time to shine. We really need to, you know, did you do have what it takes? Um, that you was, can yeah, do that was this. my interpretation as well. That this is why would he tell her anything else in this scenario? You know, yeah. it's, it's a good job mm -hmm. on him to tell her. This is the best thing you could tell her right now. Yeah, he says he explicitly says you can see what I miss. You know, she's got that eye for detail that she sees things and you know that that he doesn't necessarily see. And he's telling her, he's telling her here after she gives her like she explains how the predator hunts, and uh, they're really trying to big her up. You've always been able to see things that I don't. And of course, we get I don't know that this thing can be killed. And then he says, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Of course, Shazam! <laughs> there it is. Of if which it bleeds, we can kill it. Would be fine with if does he have any reference at this point? I know she has a reference for it, but does he have any reference for it having bled? I don't think so. Here's the thing. Uh, when the Frenchman had the had Naru in the cage, uh, they, yeah. and they were interrogating her, the way they showed what creature they were talking about was a leaf with the predator blood on it. So since they already had her brother there, they might have used that same one, but then. You know, yeah, they probably asked him that's actually fair. Yeah, yeah. They what might that have asked is the same in the first thing. place. You yeah, probably did. Okay. Right? okay, that's good enough for me. Um, it passes my smell test. That works. Um, I don't, I don't like. I'm not doing the he said the line woohoo stuff. I'm just saying. No, it's like it's a good line. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's. Um, yeah. This is like your your yeah kind of moment in the theater. It's like we're gonna get him, even though we're tied to a tree currently. Um, we'll have to ameliorate this. Someone keeps asking, "What did Az say about this scene?" There's a whole, if you want to see what he, he's got, you a whole watch, stream and video. On it. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, dedicated stream and videos about it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's got. I think he might even have. I think it's just the one video. But yeah, you got. Um, he talked about it on the last real BBC and uh, open bar. I'm not sure the open bar is up yet. I saw James saying it wasn't. Might have to wait another day, but you'll you'll get. But yeah, um, acceptable. All you disagreed with Az about this scene, what did he say about it? Did I disagree with Az on this scene? I think you said you liked the line, didn't you? I don't think I... I well, I, I never have. I felt pretty neutral on it. Why would I like that line? Yeah, then I, I have no idea. Then I don't That's know. an amazing line. Because like, obviously, I, well, I like the line in the like, I'm, I'm, the, My whole deal with this is that... Um, I'm not even sure if it, like, I want it to fit in a bit better. I don't know that it does uh, fit in very well at all. I said the dog was the best character. I like the dog. Dog's pretty good. But uh, I don't know if you can beat up Captain Chad, yeah. Yeah. Captain Chad. So he starts killing all the Frenchmen after he escapes from his net. And he, he like, the one he has stabbed, he stabbed him to another guy, so it makes a little shish kebab on the floor there. Um, he, uh, let's see, what is he, he sees some people scrambling away, so he throws his net at one of them. And we get the, we get the net. A uh, portable it, wood chipper. Yeah, yeah. It, you, you throw the net, it goes over something, and it connects at the back, and then it just pulls the strings inside the space strings, and it just dices you when it pulls you through. That's just a jerk thing to make. I don't know what kind of <laughs> fucking It is a jerk thing to make, but it looks cool. 
It doesn't. Yeah, it is true. You can't even get a trophy out of that one, honestly. <laughs> no, it's just it's a very I small one, maybe. It's just, just a meme, I guess. It's just mean spirited, really. Oh, it's cool uh, as so fuck, though. Uh, it it originates very cool. in uh, Predator Two. That's the first time we see him use it. I'm pretty sure. And then uh, there's he uses it on an alien in AVP, and it's acid blood actually I think breaks he uses through it on the net. AVP, right? Doesn't he use it on a person too? Yeah, but I'm saying the more interesting element is that he Why uses it on an alien and it breaks through because yeah. of the acid blood, which is you know bad. Yeah, kind of like yeah, I guess that would happen. And it makes the mark on the alien so it can be identified later, yeah. That's true, he's a little net alien. Uh, the only other thing I think I would add is that it looks like a different design in this film. The ones in Predator 2 and AVP, they like each of the... landed wide, and they just applied a lot of pressure and cut like a bit in, caused a bleeding death. Whereas this closes up completely in the yeah. back and just absolutely dices the motherfucker. Yeah, this is yep. definitely a different bit of tech, but still... Annihilates your victim, fucking hell! <laughs> I guess it, it's pretty fast, at least. I def, you know, yeah, it, I guess. it'll go down pretty quick. Um, yeah, and then you got uh, so he did fall into that bear trap earlier on his arm. It's still connected to him. It has been this whole time. Um, because it's setting up a predator kill here. I quite enjoy. Yeah. Um, yeah, to... I like, I like they want a bunch. Kind of a strange to understand entirely, but man, it looks brutal. If I can, I got it on a bit of a repeat. <laughs> oh, yeah. go, everyone. It, like, knocks the bear trap off with the tree, and then it resets it by doing that, and he fucking tosses it at this guy's head. Gorgeous. Just crunches. <laughs> it's great. Love the flow of that. Yeah. It's been so long since we've been able to see the Predator doing Predator things. This is, it's hard to explain sometimes, because we had the big lumbering CGI monster mess running yeah. through, killing everyone, doing all that, but, but, like, this to me is way more satisfying. This is the brutality, oh, yeah. I think, of this, just this move alone. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, um, he's not a CGI monster, which helps, too. Obviously, the mm -hmm. fucking yeah. bear trap is CGI, I'd imagine, but <laughs> it's still... I would imagine that, yes. Nope, all real, real people, all dead. Real thing, real friends are friends. cheap. Hey, look at all these responses we got. That's a good shot. Looks dumb as fuck. Seems way too, too intricate. Dude, that looks pretty cool. Man. Oh. It's all over the place. I like it. Um, but I, I like it. I could be argued into thinking it's dumb. I, I'm not sure mechanically if it all lines up. but Rule of cool, right, anyway. guys? <laughs> yeah, it is really very cool. cool. Uh, so then you have three Frenchmen with rifles here nearby. They shoot, and so the Predator turns around and he activates his little arm shield, which blocks the bullets, and they start to, like, oh shit, bullets didn't work, we better start reloading. Yeah. Which and... yeah. <laughs> take about two <laughs> yeah, so, those guns. I think it's a moment of, our bullets don't work, we should probably reload anyway. Like, it's, just, <laughs> it's literally all we've got, like, come on. I don't know, yeah, I think that's um, kind of fun. I, I, I just... I had a good laugh at that part when they, yeah, they realized sure. that they were absolutely boned and it's going to take several minutes to reload those guns. Yeah. Good fun. We see Naru is pulling a trap towards them because they need to get free of the, the, the rope that binds them to, the, the, to each other's wrists. That's how they're held to the tree. Uh, their arms are around the tree. And then we cut back to the Predator just killing French people. They are running up to him with knives and machetes, or knives and tomahawks. Yeah, which this is... ends about as well as you'd expect. <laughs> it does. I don't know how to feel about it because, like, well, yes, at this point still... they're trying to take him out with bad breath. <laughs> <They're>, um, <laughs> plenty of them have tried. They, uh, we, I guess, we assume like because uh, what I find interesting is it sort of happens in the background, but uh, Raphael tries to shoot him with a pistol, does tag him, and the predator immediately tosses a uh, little. Wrappy around the metal thing at him in the background. Yeah. Yeah, the little metal wrap. Um, you have ones like this. This happens in movies so fucking often. I'll, I'll even make it clear on screen. Arrives, but, you know, there's some people who are obviously going to try and kill him by straight up just trying to stab him, but this guy just looks like he runs into being, like, what was he doing? You know what I mean? That guy. I'm, uh, I'll be right back up. Now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Wait, like, he... you just sort of ran up to him to die. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did he have a gun in his right hand? Did he, he was a, a frame? 
He wasn't pointing it at him. That's though. what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I just don't get it's it. a, like, the classic. It's the classic. Like so many movies do it, where they just run up to them. I don't like why. It's mad. I ain't getting yeah. near this thing. No. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. This thing, this bullet I resistant. It's just you, alien like, demons. Yeah, it's very uncharacteristic for the French. I just, I don't know, but it's just really, I don't. Uh, what? How did you think this was gonna go? At least run up to him with a crucifix or something else. Just <laughs> Honestly, at this point, as like I, this is clearly a demon from the new world. Maybe like the holiness can repel it. That mm. might be something that occurs to my 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 seventeen nineteen French brain <laughs> far <laughs> faster than well maybe if I run at it yeah. and stab it with my knife. Well, I wonder how many moviegoers would complain if they did try something like that, and in the movie it doesn't work. I, I would be interested, like it holds up a crucifix or someone, one of them's like on the ground, like backpedaling or something, and he holds up a cross or whatever, and it just doesn't even do anything. That would be cool, though, like the, the aspect of yeah. he runs up to him with the crucifix, so the Predator's curious at first if he's going to be a threat, and then he's just, he's just standing there with the crucifix, so the Predator's like, I'll leave you alone, strictly for the reason of there's no sport in killing you. But the, the the dude interprets that as ah oh, you see I am holy he yeah. will not attack me Jesus yeah Jesus saved me the, the the Lord delivered me from evil and he runs away happy yeah. and he gets to live because he's like ah oh, oh, thank you Jesus he runs away he, he like he clasps Indeed. it and he just goes ah oh. yeah nobody's angry right everybody's happy that nobody's would be upset great. or offended <laughs> <laughs> um but this this feels like a, a cool one as well. Very stylish, you know, and they they were kind of going for some stylish kills in this. So this predator's like, I'm pretty cool, don't you think? He's uh, mm -hmm. he's going for those max points, like he's he's racking up his smoking style. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he cry. I was thinking of uh, is it called Bullet Storm? Do you remember that? Bullet Storm. I remember Bullet. That's Storm. a great game, man. That game is so great, and yeah, like how you would chain together crazier kills to get yeah, more points. Yeah, the game's like you'll get less and less points if you keep repeating the same style of yeah, kills. Yeah, so you got to mix it up, like kick people into cactus, into a cactus, or <laughs> you know, like th that game was cool, man. It's a shame that like barely anybody's played it. Ultra Kill does the same thing too. Yeah, I mean, a lot of games do it. It's uh, it's just a really easy way to make people. Um, mess around with your mechanics more and try out new things. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, I guess it, you got to appreciate that the guy's got by the throat. That guy pulls out a knife. The predator, like, does a nice slow, just glads at it. Like, ah, well. Yeah. I guess I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's like it's yeah. a, you pulled out your knife. And his shield! Yeah, which is another cool kill, and shows that the shield is incredibly fucking sharp. It chops through a tree Very with ease. Very sharp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, and then there's this moment. Like in... This one seems... Yeah, yeah. I don't well, like that one. So, well, I guess we'll summarize it quickly for the people at home. Uh, the mm -hmm. Predator waits this, for this guy to shoot at him, and then he does. The bullet reflects directly back into the guy's head. Yeah. Both um, comments. I don't think that would happen. I yeah. just it's such it seems like such a stretch that it would bounce off in that direction. Plus, especially when you're using 50 60 caliber lead balls. I and... find it interesting that the predator makes this choice, but that shouldn't have been the outcome. Yeah. So I think this like is supposed to make you laugh. I think it's I think supposed so. to, but I didn't laugh. I'm like, oh, I didn't. That's dumb. That's silly. It is dumb. But um, I like that he actually just goes up to him and wants to see what it would do. So yeah, I was Speaking holistically, assuming that the mask is strong enough to withstand a uh, shot from a, a flint I can believe it like is. That, I can uh, believe it. The ball itself should have flattened and uh, exploded outward. Like, that it would ricochet directly back into his head with enough force to penetrate. To not only penetrate, but come back out the other side. Look at the blood splatter on the back of yeah. his head. Like, that maintained a shit yeah. ton of force that it should have lost. That ain't yeah, happening, it's, bro. It's, it's, so yeah, it's stupid, is the answer. This is dumb. But um, I yeah, like that the Predator really actually well, yeah, so approached him. My take on this with the Predator would probably be that he's uh, currently in a sense of, like, I'm fucking dominating these losers. And so he's like, Fine, take your shot, human. See what you can do with it. Yeah, give it give it your best try, buddy. 
And so consequently, yeah, you know, this is mostly fine because this guy was dead no matter where that bullet ricocheted. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it just... I think they did it because they thought it was funny, and it's just kind of like, eh. eh. It wasn't. It's dumb. I would have aimed for a. I just would have not aimed for any protection that he had on him. I would aim for like the neck or some other mouth. I wouldn't have been like, I'll shoot him in his clearly. I'll shoot him what is clearly a helmet. <laughs> like I, would, I know yeah. it doesn't look I, I like thought, a human helmet, but I, th I thought the obviously more interesting thing here would be the guy out of fear drops the gun, just lets it go, and, and then the predator yeah, like, runs you know, away, and he gets to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the predator <laughs> the, just, maybe. He just fucking screams and runs away, and then the Predator just carries on, because he's like, well, that guy's worthless. That would have just been a fun little yeah. interaction, I think. I think so. Yeah. The guy who realizes maybe this isn't worth it, <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> like, it. you know what? I've had enough. This is clearly not yeah. working. I'm going to go home. So, uh, let me see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. So we cut back to Naru and Tabe, and she's pulled the trap closer, and she's got a little stone, and she says, I remember when there was a beaver in a trap or whatever, and it had to chew off its own leg in order to get out of the trap. And this obviously really concerns Tabe, because he's like, what the fuck? Are you going to about to do your own handoff? Don't do that. Don't do that. And then she's like, nah, I'm smarter than a beaver, because she drops the rock in it to free the, to make the trap Fun go. meme. Which mm -hmm. is like, yeah, uh... I guess you are. That's right. Wait. You are smarter than a beaver. Good for a little movie payoff, I suppose. But man, if I were in the, you know, if we didn't have this tense dramatic scene happening, I'd be like, fucking, why didn't you just explain that was the plan? I can, I can help. Of, I was I worried. Like, what I if, was yeah, fucking... what if I ruined it by pulling your hand away by being like, no, don't chop it. That ruins our chance, exactly. you know, so you should probably That's tell me. That's what I would have done. Yeah. I would have been like, no, you'll need that hand or um, those fingers later. You can't, unfortunately, you can't do that. Unfortunately, it like makes me again think like god you smug just really want to get the appreciation points don't you you want to be like look at the plan i just came up with ada grace like you could have told me the plan then i've already complimented you for your really good yeah plans. it's only a plan <laughs> for you because you know it i'm watching this unfold in real time and it concerns me i am a spectator right now i am not yeah. a participant and, in your plan and uh, i'm just scared uh, for my hands i don't think that like i i think at this point especially on the second watch i was like i get it movie she's clever okay having her say i'm smarter than a beaver it's like i don't know we didn't at need the bar high we just gotta drop the thing i think that's we a, don't even need the line it's quote for the ages i'm smarter well, think... than a beaver I think um, it's kind of a persistent problem in the film where it's like, you, we didn't need the line. Like, we got it. I got it. Like, you don't need to tell me. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you just dial it back a little bit, it would just make such a difference. Then we come to possibly the worst scene in the film. Maybe? Maybe. One of them. One of them. Right. Uh, why don't you summarize, yeah, yeah. summarize it, right? I... Yeah. So... The, the, the Frenchmen, they're shooting at the Predator. They just can't. Oh, they're having a terrible day. Predator is jumping from the from he he, he pre presses his buttons right he's got his little um he's got his little arm thingy and he goes beep boop 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 and he's running around and he sort of he, like he's activating something like he's doing something with it yeah and he and all these Frenchmen are up and they're shooting at him as he's going through the trees oh my goodness gracious um and it turns out that the predator has left behind this his gauntlet essentially he just he's dropped his gauntlet in uh the middle of all these guys and so what they do is all but one of them i think they're just like oh my gosh what is this is this loot or is this free items that we could just have um it's beeping and making noises how about that isn't that interesting aren't we curious and then three discs rise up from the gauntlet and they float it around eye level and then it is at this point that the French think to themselves, we should leave. And it's too late now because these are like mines that follow people and explode or something. Yes. Um, this thing that. is not your friend. <laughs> Anything that it leaves you is not a gift. Yeah, I was trying to be so generous when I first saw this. I was like... How fair is this, really? You, you, could, know? you could stay there for a while, right? You could end up staring at that curator, and it's like, oh man, I don't know, man. It comes from the thing that's been trying to kill you. It's it's this weird high-tech alien. It's just dropped something near you. You'd sprint away from that in an instant. You'd be like, that's gotta be a grenade, well, grenade, grenade, grenade. To... It's gotta be something alien grenade. 
You compare it to what we saw at the beginning when um they were like confused as to the red dots. I think it's a lot more believable to be confused. Oh as yeah, to the what red dots, are, especially when you you've not even seen the predator compared to you've just been in a fight with him and he's left a weird thing here, like a weird yeah, device. Like, what you, come on, get the fuck out of here. But also, I mean, is this fair? Is it fair to use this against these guys? Oh well, I think this is the last of us. New, all the weapons are done with this, so we can now talk about that if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, this seems particularly unfair compared to the fact that instead of the plasma caster, it's like you know arrows. I think it's like, fine because he clearly only pulls this out when he's being attacked by probably like ten of them with ranged weapons. Right, like it's one off. And they are, sh it's, they it's are like shooting at him says. as he's jumping through the trees. They're both shooting. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. I'm actually pretty happy to defend most of the predators' choices ever, and I think it's because it's really hard to be definitively critical of anything they ever do because ultimately. What they choose to use and when they choose to use it, I can probably argue that it's like it's going to be dependent on his feelings at the time and what he perceives yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Because ultimately, some um, people very cleverly, you guys are so smart when you do this, very proud of every last person who points this out. How is it fair that he gets invisibility? These guys don't. Predators aren't fair. Like, okay, so clearly the predator <laughs> thinks that that's fine. That it's on the level that he gets to have invisibility while his enemies do not. Sometimes, you know, you could fight a fucking chameleon, they kind of come across that way. And as right? we've seen, <laughs> a large number of the animals have identified him and still are able to attack him even when he's cloaked. He, so. Like, you have to run with the, the angle of sporting, right? And so, I think that this film probably does a better job of that than... A lot of the Predator movies have in terms of like he'll yep. he clearly like like take the bear for example he goes at that with his fists at first exactly but then he, he pulls out his claws to, to fuck it the hell up and the same goes for the wolf uh, Fringy mentioned that one earlier like with um yep. with these French lads seems like the fight opens with him using the spear and the claws once he's hit with the bear traps uh still using the like the basic off. stuff. He's still even going with, like, he's still just stabbing them, but there's a couple of ranged bits and bobs, but once it gets to this point, and he's, like, got loads of them all firing at him, it seems to me that he's just like, alright, fuck you, I'm gonna use my really good ranged weapons, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Boarding might well be determined by how he's feeling at any given time. Exactly. Uh, just the kill combo got high enough, Ian. I... Unlocked his ultimate. <laughs> the only concern I have for, like, the balance aspect is that the Predator is aware of how insanely resilient he is to damage. Um, which automatically, it puts him at just, he's just like a super powered creature in comparison to human beings. And it just sure. puts him already at a base level way, but way, way above It's them. like 20 against 1 in this case. Which is, you know, like which is a... yeah, an element of it. Uh, in, this, in, in this scenario, certainly, it comes back to the, like, two... Could those the, those two Indians in the woods? Could they have could they have killed me? Could they have hurt me? Really, you know? Like there is there is that element of I'm s unfamiliar to rain as well. Um, someone's just highlighted. Except the whole point of why he can be invisible is because he isn't bulletproof. So hiding in stealth are what he uses until this movie where he is bulletproof, I guess. So first until of all, this until it, this okay. movie, first of all, his prey yep. aren't bulletproof either. So that doesn't establish a fit. It's not like you say, since I'm not bulletproof, I get to be invisible. That's not how. That, that's not what we call. <laughs> Everybody's <fit>. not bulletproof. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so that's where the predator was actually bulletproof would be the predator. Yeah, that's true. He was literally bulletproof. In this, he takes shit tons of damage. He seems to have a very large health bar. That's that's all I can yeah. conclude from this. Um, the invisibility, genuinely, if you were to able to have an actual discussion in terms of what's sporting, and you said to him, don't you think it's a lot less sporting that you're invisible? In the first film, I'm sure he would be like, nah, I feel like this is fair. There's a lot of them. They have really good weaponry that can mince me up yeah. easily. I feel like having invisibility is just, you know, it's a trait I have. It's a trait they don't have. If you said, okay, what about this movie? Like, yeah, I still feel like it's relatively balanced uh, as far as I'm concerned. He'd be like, it's clearly not Mr. Predator. And he'd be like, yeah, well, you know what? That's your opinion. And that's fine. <laughs> you can think that. But also, uh, you, just, it, this movie, this movie establishes him as bulletproof. Yes. Yeah, bullet <laughs> resistant, certainly. Very well, bullet resistant. The, but the I'm point just, where I don't it's, know, it's man, weird that they picked this movie. Predator yeah. 2? In exactly. Of the tree, he just walks towards Bill Paxton in the subway. That's just true. Walks. He tanks like fifteen oh, shotgun yeah. shots. And then the Guys. shotgun, yeah. yeah. 
Guys, he this is this, Predator Two is weird. He takes like three full clips weird. of uh from from Bill Paxton magazines. Magazines, sir. right? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you know what? That, that yeah. it, it, sometimes in my head, I'm like, it's definitely the, the to to account for which one it isn't. I end up thinking it is the one. Um, but yeah, oh. he's firing at him, and it's just like going ping, 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 and it's just like, oh, and I guess I'd accept that if it were hitting his helmet only, but it's not. But uh, it's not, it's hitting his chest. And then chest. later on, he's hit with a shotgun, and it goes straight into yeah. him, just like, hey. Exactly. And, it, and the, he oh. takes all those shotgun shells, and he's still not dead. And he's still not dead. Yeah, I was it's gonna not say, this film's fault that he's bulletproof. I would say, Mr. Chatter, when he not. tanks, like, five shotgun shots to his belly, wouldn't you say that's more damage than the guy in this movie even takes from any gun? Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. One second thought, I think the ricochet off the mask isn't too bad. Yeah, I'm, I, well, I'm fine with the idea that the mask is uh, able more to proof, you know, yeah. bulletproof, yeah, but I'm yes. fine with where it ricocheted. <laughs> like, this is, yeah. So, what I'm guessing I'm concluding on the Oh, he fights fair, does he? It's like, he fights uh, trying to... It would be like, I don't know, best example I can give, I suppose. If you're, like, excellent at Call of Duty and your, your little baby cousin is like, oh, I'll play, and, you're, and you can handicap it so that he gets given 1,000 health while you don't, you'll do that sometimes. And then, you know, you're, you're a lot older cousin comes in, and they're like, oh, can I play? And you're like, oh, well, can you move the handicap down to, like, Get plus you get four four the four hundred percent health, and then so you know a friend of yours who's just as good as you you're like oh you don't get to have any hand again you know and that's how I think the predator sees it he doesn't it's there's no real fight that's necessarily fair if you put a predator against a bear and you say right so what's fair now and it's like well the predator can't have invisibility because that would be unfair to the bear but um it's like well but they're both built completely differently it's already unfair yeah there's no like, way you can what make is this the nature fair. Well, what is fairness when we're talking about two different, like, species? I think the Predator have very different immutable attributes. his cloak as part of his basic traits. I would say so. And, and yeah. I think that's okay. Yeah, and, and the, uh, but what I like about the end of Predator is it seems like he really does gun for the whole, right, we've been fighting for a while, this has been a whole ordeal. I'm going down to nothing. I'm going to have just my arms and fists against you. And when I Snagger. beat you, my god. Yeah, like, that's, that's going to feel great. Shit. Which is, yeah, it's the same as being like, right, I'm going to beat Call of Duty World at War and I'm not going to use I'm anything gonna other than... I'm going to fight a veteran. I'm just going to use my pistol you know, and that's it. You know, the people do that kind yeah. of challenge all the time. Of course. And that's how I think the Predator operates. And if it were like, you know, as it does in this movie and lots of the other ones, where it's the things start getting a little bit more difficult, I think it will be like, all right, I'm pulling out my other thing now, fuck this. Which yeah. we do all the time in, in certain challenge modes or different things, or different rules getting broken and stuff, as, assumed rules. And I just think it makes the Predator so much more interesting than, than so many of the uh, other movie monsters we get to deal with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not just a stupid beast who wants to kill you. It's I just, hunting you, yeah. Because, yeah, if someone had said, yeah, why didn't he just use his uh, little shooty spear things on the bear? And it's like, yeah, I think that's a good example of how the Predator was like, I'd like to try see if I can beat him myself instead of using that little gun. Um, yeah. So we have. Um, if anyone else wants to add to that, feel free. But if not, I'm gonna carry right along with our movie because we're in the home stretch somewhat. So Naru says that she has to go get a uh, sorry, uh, sorry, and the 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 dog because the French have captured her dog. And, uh, sorry, Tabe goes to get horses. So she goes back at camp, and there are panicking French there gathering supplies up. I suppose they're trying to get whatever they can of value and then scram. Because they've had enough of this. Fuck that. Now, apparently, I don't have the, I don't know what they're saying specifically, again, with the subtitles. Apparently, it's very important that they kill this dog <laughs> yeah. My impression really from the weird. body language is we're all we're packing up and we're leaving. Either take the dog with us or kill it or some you know, like do you want to look after the dog and then he's like, "Oh, no." But I agree with probably what you're about to say, which is really really now we you, you got to yeah, kill the just, dog. Just let okay. It, just let it loose. Just let it yeah. run. <laughs> Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Like, is it maybe the subtitles really do explain it? Like, one of them says, "I am so damn hungry," 
And he's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's eat some, some dog. Nom, 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 dog. Oh, no. Maybe mercy That's kill. Easy. So but you just let him go, right? You wouldn't. I guess maybe if you believe that letting him go, he'll just die anyway. Like, he won't have a chance. So it's just, you know. I think they're just cartoon evil. Yeah, I think probably. That's what they're going it's, for. It makes it, it makes it easier to not care when they get killed. I, 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 can we? Yeah. Can we at least all agree on the fact that right before she kills all of them, they had one of them be like, "I'm gonna kill the dog." It's like, okay, yeah, right, okay. You want us that, to hate that, him? That's definitely a way to get the uh, audience back on her side. <laughs> they should already be on this. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, oh, well. Yeah. It has been over an hour. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, Naru is in the the camp hiding out, and when they try to kill the dog, she attacks, and we get what I think is a pretty weak fight scene, honestly. I'm not the at all The only compliment I have it was done in one shot, and some of yeah. it has okay bits in it, but for the most part, it's bullshit. This there is are pretty, that are really silly. pretty bad. I am not keen on this fight scene at all. I don't believe it. She comes out, I think, pretty much unscarred, totally. These are all adult men, they should have guns around. Um, they outnumber her. I don't know why she is so good at combat. Where did she get her experience to do all of this stuff? I don't know she's why like we slicing done... and dicing and flipping, and she's apparently strong enough to stab a knife all the way through as someone's skull. And I'm like, damn. Uh, yeah, don't like this. Uh, don't like this at all. Feels to me like they wanted to have a big action scene that's over, as opposed to doing what was obviously the correct decision, which is, you know, one of them is like, oh, I'm just putting my, my putting my shoes in my bag here. La, la, la. Oh, my neck. There it goes. She's got it with her knife. There it goes. Mm. I'm yeah. down. And then she, so she runs a behind the tent the horse, while he maybe, or... falls over and then, you know, maybe even doesn't alert anybody. But let's just say he does. He goes, blah, blah, blah. And she runs around the tent. Some guy runs up to him and goes, oh, God, what's happening? Some guy further in the back is looking around like, whoa, what just happened over there? Ah, oh, he gets stabbed in the back of the neck because she's already moved around the camp. And so that's two down, two left, and, you know, as she's trying to kill the third one, the fourth one sees it, and that's where things get tense because now he's seen you, so you're not going to be able to sneak attack him, and you get the one-on-one -on -one fight that's real fucking close. She just comes through, maybe because um, at that point she's gotten the dog free and that helps her out, but why did you make a brawn mode to take on four guys? It's even Why worse did you do than that? that? It's so hard to believe, well, especially with a like magical, um, stupid-ass axe. <laughs> it, it, it just seems ill-advised, given what direction you seem to be heading in, mm. with regard to how she's going to prevail in the end. Yeah. That, like, she's not necessarily going to beat somebody in, like, a direct one-on-one -on -one confrontation. She has to be more... She, yeah, she just... can't rely on that. She has to rely on her different skills. The skills she has that are unique to her just seems, have... yeah. In addition to all of that, I have an extra note. Is this oh, her what? first kill? Of a person? It might yeah. be. It might be. Uh, no. In oh, fact, I would imagine that this is probably right. the... I imagine this is probably the first time that she's killed a person. Are, are you bringing this up? she does all of these back to back. You bring this up to like say like it should have some effect on her? I mean, there's that. There's the fact that she seems to be so good at it, and she's really bloodthirsty, just throwing stuff and stabbing people through the face and going full ham on it. And I was like, wow, you went from never killing anyone, and you have no reason probably to, to practice any sort of, like, combat, actually. But, like, wow, we, we have ramped up ourselves. Someone, someone bought some experience packs. So uh, wanted to be a hunter, right? Not a warrior. Yeah, this this, yeah. this feels completely out of sync with the mm. uh, hunting. This is this is just a bloodthirsty battle. It's like, uh, don't we have we have our cool action scene here? Everybody's like, uh... yeah. I would. They needed to have Tabe doing this. I believe that he can do it. Sure. Um, even with it, even if, if he took if he did the exact same thing as she does in this whole fight, I would still be advocating that it would have been better to have shown some intelligence and kill one yeah, or two of them with Yeah, he wouldn't be stealth. dumb enough. Yeah, he wouldn't be dumb enough to just like walk into a group like this, give himself away, and and, and just see, you know, th don't they have the they have the guns? Like no one uses a gun in this scene. People when when the Frenchmen are out of out of the shot, they're just sort of on pause for a moment. Um, you don't exist if you can't be seen. You know, and like that's true. <laughs> that's true. 
He legit like but... sees the axe as like a if I get that I automatically win, and it's like yeah that's true. Unfortunately, I don't like how the last kill kind of looks like she goes for the cameraman. <laughs> Kind of. Well, I think that last one was particularly annoying. Egregious. That's the one when she like pulls it out and then it flies into the other guy and kills him. Yeah, no one does like man. I think she does that twice. It's in a guy. She pulls it out and it, the pull of it you manages to have the momentum and so direction. Yeah, it's not just to, that. It's just like them. how fucking lucky of you to be able to yank it out and that it just perfectly slides right back into the other person at the other end. Then you do it again. It's yeah. Like, ah, it, yeah, it's a bit stupid. Man, that was way too easy on that fight when I talked about it yesterday. Oh, were you nice to it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was very nice to it. And now you point all these things out. Like, oh, no, that's actually even worse than I thought. I mean, I actually thought it was fine because I was like, oh, yeah, I guess she does some damage here and there and always has a thing to get away. But now you point out, oh, yeah, she's a hunter, not a fighter. It's like, oh, yeah, that's that's kind of bullshit. Feels like they, so, uh, they're they doing this for one. other reasons, mainly that how fucking awesome is she? And it's like, she can be awesome without being ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah, it's, I just don't, it's tough for me to believe you, uh, that she is real. Um, I, I think, wasn't that our, when we were watching this for the first time, I think a lot of us were like, she killed like the first guy, and we're like, eh, and then we're like, eh, uh. I mm. think we said, yeah, I was like, I guess that was fine-ish, or something. I think I said I didn't like it, um. It was. It didn't. It didn't pass the smell test as we were watching it that first time. And but especially those um, last kills. I remember being like, "Ugh, that." Fucking oh yeah, those last like, stupid yeah. magic axe. Stabbed a knife through an entire skull. I was like, "Man, that probably that takes a lot of force to do." Yeah. Um. Well, moving on. She got the dog back. Moving on. Yeah, she saves the dog. That's good. Like, glad he. Uh, glad she made it out. Okay. Wait, which means then, so, dog got separated from her with the bear. And then it just got picked up by the trappers, right? That's yeah, for some reason they picked up her dog without knowing really... that the dog is even with her, because the dog was wasn't with her when well, she was running split. away, right? Yeah, they were split up. I guess yeah. the... from the bear. I guess it's just weird, right? They pick up the dog, it's like okay, and then they're gonna kill it. We really need to know what that subtitle is. <laughs> like, what do they say <laughs> is the reason? What is the reason? Man, I just hate dogs. It's the it, Cruella. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Do you think a dog killed their parents? <laughs> Pushed them off a, a thing. Somebody sent me this. Kara sent me this. <laughs> oh, there was no. We didn't record watching this. Some people were asking, will there be any fat movies? The, the, the oh, no, no, no. There no. wasn't no, much commentary. Was... It was more so just watching. We we do that every yeah, time. We chill and watch a yeah. movie together because we're all friends. So the next scene, we have the Predator healing himself. He's got his little his little Healy pen, and he he's got some bullet wounds and stuff in him, and he gives himself the old, the, the, the old spray, and it helps heal up his wounds when he gets hurt. Pro tip... About drawing parallels, maybe move the two scenes of the the hero and the villain healing themselves in almost the exact same way at different parts of the movie, so that we can then go, "Hey, did you notice how their two healing scenes were very similar?" When you put them right next to each other, I give you like a thumbs up. I'm like, "Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty neat." Yeah, you know parallels. that's a thing. Yeah, you know that's a thing. But it's just like you know, this this I think a problem this movie has where it's just it not really willing to let you um, sort of come to this stuff by thinking about it for a while. It's like, no, 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 I got you. Here it is. And you're like, thank you. Th th thanks. Some call it hand-holding. It comes to drawing meaning. I, I would say, yeah, I do prefer when I get to dig a little. Myself, but at the same time, it's all right. Still, like I said, thumbs up still. Um. So she's putting some stuff on her cut from earlier and as she is doing that she hears the cock of a gun turns out Raphael has limped back to the uh, camp he had his uh, had his foot taken off by the predator when he threw that thingy at him it back indeed. in the back in the back in the fight so he's made it back late to the camp makes sense he gets here last and he he's got the gun pointed at her it's cocked and loaded and everything and her 
reaction to this uh, kind of bugs me. Uh, she instantly stands up quickly and grabs her tomahawk. It's like, wow, that's a great way to get shot. Um, but is she, all right. Is she familiar enough with the guns at this point to know that that's, that's what that is? I assume is, so. Right? And I assume so. After all of that, and he's pointing at her, and it, like, I, I think so. After all that, that they've been looking at. But if not, I mean, she does say, I mean, I assume so because Raphael says, if you heal me, I'll tell you how this works. So I guess so. She's yeah. like, yes. So it relies on her knowing what that is. Uh, and so <clears throat> they, they strike a little deal. He's got a wound. He says, you have medicine. If you fix my leg up, heal my leg, I will teach you how to use this gun, which is fair enough. I'll show, he deal. says, I'll show you how to use this. Yeah, that's a fair deal. That's good knowledge to have. Uh, it's, he's got what he's got. So as she heals him, she puts the she takes off the little predator stick thingy. That's something that she has now. She's got the predator the slicey thing. Mm -hmm. As she heals him, puts the stuff on the wound and everything. He verbally explains how to load a black powder weapon. Um, I would say this is not sufficient. Uh, Wait, doesn't, doesn't he doesn't he show her? And then he only happens. shows yeah, her the very last part. In there, and more uh, like you know, he like enough. Points. Yeah, enough. he he at the very end he he shows her the little pan with the powder and that sort of thing, the the striker, and he's like, you got to put it here, and that's it. That's the only part that he sort of and he doesn't even show. He points to a location. Oh, okay. But he just yeah. he verbally explains how the process is done in in exact terms. Definitely feels like right. something that. Ain't gonna work out for a reload. Uh, he ain't gonna be able to reload that. Ver it's so confusing to hear. Even I remember even thinking about it myself. I was like, could I load? It's like I'm familiar with the fact that there's you know powder and the 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 ball and the, the little padding and stuff. But like I don't I don't know that I, I don't, even so considering what I know from all the movies I've seen of them getting loaded on top of what he just told her, I'm still not confident I'd be able to load one of those properly to the point where I can fire. If you if you gave me a table with all of the components necessary, I'd probably be able to do it. But that's if you gave me all of the components necessary and just presented them to me, and I just had to figure out the order and right. the technique and the manner that it's done, just from sort of watching it in media and whatnot. And I saw a demonstration at Jamestown once, or but uh, or sorry, Williamsburg. Well, but well, enough, uh, that's someone point out in chat. Prestige is probably the film I'm thinking about the most because there's when he's explaining the bullet catch, he explains how to load the gun. I think that's one of the most straightforward, and it's shown, you know, with the people going in. Mm -hmm. Probably the, I just, I'll rewatch that, and then I'll be alright. So, uh, yeah, pretty scant information. Nice gun, though. Uh, nice uh, gun that Raphael's got. And uh, as after she sort of heals him up a bit, she gives him the orange Tootsie flower. Yes, it returns. It makes a comeback, and. Ooh. At once, he starts to have the same sort of a little bit of convulsion. His hands are like, ooh, ugh. and he feels really, really cold. Um, so this is where we have to talk about setups and payoffs and executing them because uh, the Predator walks into camp and Raphael plays dead now that he's been giving the orange tootsie. Um, and it, and Naru learns here that it cannot see him after he takes the herb. So, like, it's set up as a thing that's part of the world and the universe, that it makes you that cold, mm -hmm. that it cools your blood and it makes you feel very cold. Like, I get it. You set it up. You, it was used in previous, you know, adventures and whatnot. And now we're starting to get our payoff for her using it essentially uh, as she'll use it soon it's just one of those like yeah uh, like Sorry, I, I can't believe that's a thing that an herb can actually do make you that cold but well, yeah uh, that's, that's where the point where he that. takes it to when the predator shows up does a minute even pass well, well it's been shown that it works extremely hour, quickly right? like even wow. if even if it took a lot longer you have to accept that the predator's heat vision because if it makes you to a certain like if it get, if it gets you cold enough you're gonna die so like yeah. it would have to be yep. cold enough that you're still alive but also 
well, sorry, warm enough that you're still alive, but cold enough that it doesn't appear on his heat sensor. So you just kind of have to presume that his heat sensor is calibrated to a very specific temperature. Um, but otherwise, yes, it was set up and then paid off and will be paid off, you know, eventually. So it's kind of like, eh, you, I you think did the thing. it breaks but, well, um, a different rule. It's it's establishing an item that should be an impossibility. If it brings your temperature right. as low as your like as low as the ground around him, he's just dead. Yeah, then you're dead. So yeah, yeah. you have that to make that big, big buy-in to the premise, which is just not happening. It's it's, it's unless, that's the, thing, like, the film knows the what predator's heat vision is, as I said. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that sensitive, maybe. Um, no, it's incredibly sensitive. So much so that even a minor change in temperature that's what I'm saying, you'd, out like... Once yeah. I was saying, you'd have to make it super unsensitive for this right. to work out at all. But it seems like, I mean, he's... I mean, they show it during the film. They show him when he's looking at stuff, when he's looking at people, when he's looking at critters in the wild. It works pretty darn good. It yeah, does I seem think, to. I think they want us yeah. to believe that that's how cold your body gets, which is just like, oh, you can't do that. I'm sorry. That's not, you know, yeah, it's yeah. even much. if you tell me that's how it works, mm -hmm. that's just, you can't have that. It's, um, the example we used to use all the time was a uh, married bachelor from you, I think. It'd be like, you tell me that's in your will. It's like, you can't have that. You can, you can mm -hmm. tell me you have that, but you can't have that. <laughs> it, 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 it Internally, it doesn't make any sense. What am I supposed to make of this? What are you, you surely you are referring to something else when you say those words. It's like almost like a joke name or something. Right? Yeah, and um, you have to then conclude they brought this in because they want to have their cool things that they're going to do with it, but it's just like, sorry guys, there's a reason why like we haven't had this in a Predator movie before where you drink a potion or you do a thing and it makes your body temperature go to zero internally. Because they would kill you. <laughs> like, it was, there's yep. a reason they don't do it. You know, Predator 1, man, everyone just wants to recapture the magic, and it's really hard, because that movie's so fucking good. Yeah. And, like, I almost want to pat him on the head and be like, look, I, I get it. You want to <laughs> Yeah, like, they tried to do something, it's just... Uh, it needs tweaks, that's the thing. A lot you know, of Predator movie... 2, they had those suits in that particular area. That part was weird. <laughs> yeah. but, like, that was you know, a weird yeah. section. Everyone wants to, because that's the thing, right? Every time you make a new Predator movie, it's like, I need to pay off the whole honor killing stuff in a different way that everyone else has. I need to pay off the invisibility and sort of finding him in a, in a way. I need to pay off the, I need to do the final fight in a different way than everyone else has done it, but still maintained within the rules. Like, you want to try and be a bit special, I, I know, but this wasn't it. Sorry. Yeah. Nice try, though, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is, like, a nice try. You knew things to do. You knew, you knew what that you to do. You needed to establish mechanics earlier on and then have yeah. to become relevant later in ways that um, enhance and improve the story and lead, lean into the character development you're doing. But, of course, you know. <laughs> you, didn't, you, you didn't just pull it out of your ass, but... No, mm. you didn't, but... Yeah. So, like, um... So What's yeah. been done? Let's pop an, a dentine ice. Dentine eyes. Nothing's colder than uh, ice. Do you guys have? Do you have dentine ice over in I, Australia and Wales and Germany? I have never like heard of that before. We have ice. Uh, yeah, ice. Have I have ice in my freezer. Even it's crazy. You have ice. All right. Well, you're halfway there. It's like a a super pepper or like it's like a a mint gum. And you know how mint gives you that kind of cool feeling in your yeah mouth so they'd have these commercials where you're like ah cool as ice and, and they'd take the gum and they think like cold shit would happen like dentine ice would be the... it's one of my memories from my childhood on, I mean, on air waves is that a is that a national international brand i don't even know Airwaves. Airwaves. at least that's what the gum is called the company's probably something else no probably, no probably I'm not, disney or something i'm not familiar with Airwaves. But those are like those strong gums that give you that feeling you are like just chewing describing. five gum. This yeah. is what it's like to chew five gum. Yeah, the orange. There's a brand the called Five Gum. Um, in yeah, that is. Well, whatever happened to four gum? This is what it feels like to chew. Well, they got their ante. That was the old formula. It's new and yeah. improved now. Got an upgrade. It'll be six soon. One of these days, six they'll, gum. they'll find a way to improve the formula. They'll be chewing six. All right. Next up, Raphael, 
plays dead as the predator enters the camp. I like how he does it. He just kind of goes slim. It's like, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he does something smart. Kinda... And I'll be yeah. completely um, honest. I was like, at this point, I was like, hope this guy makes it out. Feel kind of bad I for kinda him. I kind of do too. I feel uh, bad for him. He's he's sort of been nice to her, kind of. He's in a really bad place. He's willing to make a deal with her. He only go through all that trouble. Once. Limped all the way back to camp with a foot. And like, I hope things will work out for him. He worked so hard to survive. He really did, yeah. Predator's looking around. We see Predator Hito Vision. And, oh, he's, 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 stand, he's basically right on top of Raphael. But his body, is it's cold enough that he just can't see it. Huh. Anyways, mm. the Predator turns to leave. He steps on, I guess, his leg. And Raphael's like, ow, fuck, that hurt. That was his first and last mistake. Was don't yeah. complain. <laughs> He's oh, so, I, the predator. I feel like I can't blame him. I, if he was screaming that loud of being stepped on, it was probably like horrifically painful. Paul, are you about to say that there's been disagreement and discord? Well, I would rather particular... say what it is and then see what you're not allowed to say anything, and neither am I. So, um, <laughs> okay, this is bullshit. Why is the predator killing him? He's defenseless. You said yeah, that was is kind it, of annoying. Is it? Is it because he was? Um, like, did he get surprised by him when he's right below him? I mean, he's, like, stepping on the guy, and the guy screams. Interesting that that's your, like... your first thought. And I'll explain why that's that interesting soon, but I just wanted to make sure that's... everyone gets a chance, yeah? Yeah, that's what I was, what I was saying, too. I, that's I would... exactly what I said. He gets spooked. He's like, oh, shit, what is this? And just fucking stabs it. Whatever I... it is. Let's see. I don't... I have to check. Did he have the gun on him? I don't think he did. Nope. Let me... No, he, he wasn't doing her. anything. He was yeah, just lying there trying the gun to... At that point. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Just trying to survive, um, basically. Let me see. Yeah, I is Yeah, that's I guess that would be my first thing that I'd go to. So um it, it's been said by people here and there that it's like no reason to kill this guy, mean old predator, and breaking your rules. Meanwhile, I would say uh the predator is probably got a decent enough memory to know that all the people were attacking him earlier that he did throw that thing at one of them and if that was like he i think you could piece together that this guy is one of the people that escaped he didn't kill them all and uh that doesn't mean you get to be spared if you try to kill the predator and fail and then run away i don't think the predator spares you i think he fucking kills you but if that's not good enough for you as a reason i think it's more than reasonable enough that the predator seems to react in terms of yeah. killing him. It doesn't seem to be like a, aha, a defenseless being, I will execute you. It seems more like, what the fuck is this noise? What is what is happening here? There's something beneath me, I can't even see, I'm stabbing this. <laughs> like, what is yeah. this? Predator turns um, off his alarm clock. Yeah, it seems obvious to me that the Predator just, it's that video, right, on Twitter, you, probably, you guys probably seen it, with like, some guys getting interviewed, and then behind him, there's like a bin, and someone jumps out of the bin, goes blah, 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 and the guy just like punches him straight away. Yeah, and the reaction, yes. And, and this reaction, yeah. It's the kind of thing where I would relinquish all responsibility from that man in terms of just like, look, that was, that was as a reaction as when you touch a hot stove. You just go, it's just like it's done. It's probably yeah. done before you even know what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, you just know? think about when a fucking fly flies in front of your eyes, and it goes like, oh, you just go wiggle around with your hands. Yeah, the just predator... Just slap it. Like, we should not treat the Predator like a Terminator with the rules of fairness, where it will analyze and then conduct... Uh, the Predator's no less probably emotionally thingy than us. You'll probably be like, if you jump out and go, blah, 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 he's probably gonna go, ah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what is this? <laughs> if you go, blah, 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 yep. you Yeah, the, the Predator panics at the end of all of our EFAPs. That seems like a meme yeah. where you've got Jeremy and then the friend is like, dude, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully the worst is by <laughs> chops his head off. <laughs> like, I know you're not a threat, but you're gonna surprise me, you know? Exactly. So, uh, I live a I live a high stress life. Maybe maybe Jeremy is a big threat to <laughs> to friend of them. Maybe he's got to, yeah. <laughs> you know about. Yeah, I think this kill is absolutely fine. I have no problem with this. Yeah, yeah. No, I, think no really cool. I think my only commentary is, aw. Yeah, poor yeah, guy. It's a shame. For that guy. I wanted him, yeah, I wanted him to be all right. He seemed a likable, reasonable. You, you, you like, sympathize with his situation. If, if he had survived and then afterwards 
relayed that relayed the information that hey, evidently uh, that thing didn't see me or what have you, versus her just peeking around the tree and piecing it all together real fast. I don't like at all. That she she looks that looks over that looks down at a thing and that goes. It can't see him. It's like, oh god. I, it, it yeah. Just a little more credit, movie, please. I implore you. <laughs> I uh, get it. Don't, yeah, come on. If, to be honest with you, we, we all figured it out the second they established there's a I thing in this world that puts your body temp to zero or whatever. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay. If they did, um, like, screen tests and someone's like, I don't understand, like, why she did it. It's like, thanks, man. You, you ruin everything. <laughs> You're the reason everything <laughs> You're like, I'm standing. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I just didn't get it. I don't know. Sorry. I wish I kind of wish Raphael made it in the opening like narration was in a French accent. Like that was him. Like he's, he's telling the story yeah. like, when he gets back home. Yeah, then by the time he reached the end, it's like, oh, that's why we had a French guy do the opening thing. Oh, okay. And you're like, oh, it's Raphael. Oh my goodness. I guess he if you paid attention, you remember the voice, you'd be like, oh, he makes it. Um, let me see. So Sari comes back to bark at Predator. Tabe comes back on his horse. He rides in All right. right before, yeah. This is actually a genuine question, because this is just what I thought. Where the fuck was the dog this whole time? Why is he only now arriving? What's going on? I don't know. It just ran away and then came I guess back. he was hanging. <laughs> I time don't know. <laughs> well, we get a little bit of a time jump um, between the fight and her healing herself. So the dog could just be wandering around. I guess um, so. Hanging out. Yeah. It's, just, it's just around. See, the dogs wander a bit. They want to check things out, new places, new people. I, um, I just can't help but say that if the dog were in this scene before the Predator arrived up till now, like, it changes, oh, yeah, changes a lot of things, you know? That is true. That is true. It's Elizabeth. Really? I have gone too far, so my guess is she freed the dog from the camp, and then it just kind of went around the scorched earth smelling the dead butts for a while. Yeah, I just wanted to see what was like, going freedom. on. What did I miss? Wow. What happened over here? This. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't... Oh, wow. Look at this. This is interesting. Now I'm going to go back. This shit's crazy. Huh? So yeah, sorry, he comes back to bark at the Predator. The Predator sort of has its gun trained on it. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to um, shoot him. And then uh, before it can fire, we have Tabe rides in on the horse that he said he was going to get. And he comes by and he knocks Predator on the head and his helmet flies off. And then when the Predator shoots the uh, little dart, the arrow, it goes to where the um, it goes to where the red dots are pointing at a tree. Mm hmm. Yes. Just like an like an like an arc, like arcs seems, around. The yeah, it seems to go moving in Naru's head. Well, my issue is that Naru can't see this. Yeah, it it is outside of her. It's <laughs> it is on the other side of a tree. Yeah. Um, oh, is it really? Yeah, well, yeah she's there's like a double tree with two trunks. Oh. She's behind them, and the red dots are. Is just it implied on the other like side. they want us to believe that she is? Able to, she can't see it directly. She can put enough puzzle pieces together from like the sound of it slamming into the tree. Seeing the mask is pointing at the tree, but she doesn't actually see. It. I think this is an element of someone forgetting that characters do not see through the camera we see through. That's I think that's what that it is. Likely to me. Is there like a way that she could see just the laser pointers, just a laser pointer in the direction because you can see them from the side, right? Unless later um, on she's stuck in the tree and noticed, or I don't know. This is where she gets the idea because he fires each one yeah. individually, and yeah. each one goes to one of the dots, and that's how she pieces it together. That's how she knows it. Even though we kind of already knew this, or at least she she sort of she sort of have should um, I guess we, because she pushed well, uh, Itzy down when they were in the field to so to save his life. I'm sure that like my mm. presumption was that it didn't go straight to the laser. It was like the laser is the aimer in the same way that you put a laser on a gun. Yeah, it's not yeah, that's very true. You know, like if the laser, it's going there as long as you're aiming there, as opposed to it tracks specifically. Yeah, to that's that's probably what it is. You're probably right. Um, what I think at first. Yeah, you know? a little tism with the camera. She shouldn't technically see it. Like again, the movie knew what to do, but she can't actually technically see it. Mm, okay. Um. So this is where we see our predator unmasked. Yeah. And let me take a look. 
let me scooch back here. I guess you can get a. At least I think so. I think this is the part where it happens. Yeah, yeah, you do get a good shot of it. Yeah, the, the mask okay. gets yeeted off, so you can yeah. see the voice. Um, I like his look. I like it a yeah. lot. I, I like this Predator look. Overall. I like it. Yeah, looks good. I, li I like that it's a, a, a new but familiar design to it. I dig it. Um, plenty like of people it. do not. I, I don't well, know what really wrong. to say on this subject. I, I just yeah, I mean, I guess it, that's like a subjective thing, right? So like if you don't like the look, I, I guess nothing you can do oh, about it, like, right? Like it, that's it. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's I think it looked good. Um, he screams as mandibles come open. Good stuff. Now Tabe's riding around, making noise, hooting and hollering. Look at me! Look at me! Um, the predator. I guess he's aiming without his helmet so he misses those times or the arrow is sort of deflecting like the path of it is kind of skewing it to the side and as he's riding around he shoots some arrows at it he's drawing all of its attention uh naru is uh loading up the gun uh that she has the gun from the uh, Raphael's gun through with his instructions was it not and loaded no, she is trying she to, she has to load fire it. it the first time, and it just went click. She she is loading it uh, as she's uh, hiding behind a tree. What I'm saying yep. is, like, I figured Frenchman had it loaded, but I guess he didn't. I guess he sorry. didn't. Oh, I see what you mean. Which, which means it was French. what a because hey, he, man. he he arrived there having the gun out. Aiming just, at her, you, right? You think he probably would so have you, because it's yeah, especially without a leg. It's like you're gonna want everything you can get at that point. That's I think the point. same could also be applied where like you this monster's out there, you got your leg your your primary goal is to just get back, get away, get back to camp. It's you don't even have fighting in your mind. You're just trying to get away. It could work both ways, I feel. And if someone points a gun at me, I'm gonna assume it's loaded. So I think it checks out. But I guess not, because she has to load it and she has all the components necessary for it on hand and her, the, the 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 cloth the ball the you know, the whole thing and she starts to assemble it as Tabe is fighting with the predator and then she loads it comes out from behind her tree gets behind the predator and then goes to shoot and it doesn't go off it just clicks and nothing happens she has not loaded it correctly which is what's going to happen if you don't get good instruction on how to load one of these yep. things I imagine so I would be far more upset if it actually went off and she was able to accurately load it. I think that's so fair. So I like that. So when she, uh, let me see, da, 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 da. she loads, you know, so she has to yell to get the predator's attention. And it does Tabe, work. Yeah, it does. She gets the uh, predator's works. attention. Tabe has brought with him the spear from the forest. So, yeah, the one that impaled the dude's head, I think that was the last time we saw it. And the one that I guess the Predator didn't retrieve himself, I suppose he got it before the Predator could go and get it? I think we're supposed the, the to timing, assume that, yeah. Yeah, I assume the timing there is just, it's kind of up in the air, but Tabe saw, they both saw that spear, and Tabe's like, I'm taking that shit. And mm. he does, and he is able to land a very considerable, like, spear hit through the, um, Predator uh, from the horse. Well, this he, like jumps off his horse and stuff. Tabe is strong as fuck, apparently. <laughs> this little sequence is kind of exactly what I would like to see. It looks like he is trying his fucking hardest, and he's got arrows mm -hmm. set up around the area that actually require him to move to them, thus giving him distance from the predator. It's like that's just a good idea, and uh, it's only when the predator closes the distance himself. Tabe has to actually fight him one-on-one -on -one right next to him. Seems like he's, yes. he's got the smartest approach out of basically anybody we've seen in this film. Someone had said, I can't remember who it was, but like, ah, oh, they give her all the hero moments, they don't even, like, you know, can't be anyone else. I was like, nah, fuck that. He has the best Predator really? fight. He is he right here. Does. He has the best fight, for sure. If, yeah. if, the, if in another version of this film, the Predator died from this, I wouldn't be surprised, because he stabs him with the special spear, like it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like, it's the Predator's own weapon. You know, that that's a big deal. Um... So he stabs him with his own spear. He even hits him with an arrow right in the butt. No, it isn't. It's in the back, right in the back. Uh, you see the blood come out and 
God, yeah, the Predator like pulls it out and it's two weapons in one. Like the spear comes a- comes apart and he's got his weapons now. Yeah, and then you uh, have that first strike he goes for on Tabe, he Tabe dodges it and then grabs the arrow he's already put in him and pulls it back out just so he has more ammo and it's a weapon. It's just like, it's good yeah. stuff. I like it. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I like and I believe it coming from him. When he does it, I believe it. She, uh, Naru is trying to reload the gun again. Um, I wonder if there would be something else. She would she be throwing axes or something? But she's, I guess, she thinks that this is a particularly strong weapon, very potent. Yeah, At least in her mind, that's what she thinks. The best chance, maybe. Yeah, so she's trying to load that up a second time. Uh, Tabe's fighting the predator, and uh. It turns invisible during this fight as uh, Tabe's yep. fighting it. And then the both of them stand around looking for it. Where did it go? Uh, what I was referencing earlier, this is the one I do not like. He's got several big wounds. Looks like he's literally holding on to an arrow that's in him, and he goes completely invisible to the point where there's not even a distortion. Just the best kind of invisibility you could possibly ask for. I don't believe yeah. the shield would work yeah. this way at this point. You've got plenty of... Yep. It's exposed. There is liquid dripping out of you. Blood drops and shit. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it should never point. be this good. And Tabe, the reason I'm annoyed is that Tabe should have a target to deal with. It shouldn't be that you get to go completely visible and gone. Tabe's earned it, damn you. <laughs> you don't yes, get it. He really did. Now, uh, it's going invisible. They don't know where it is. They're in the camp. They're looking around. He's got his bow. She's got the gun. And then... Tabe realizes that, oh, I think it's close because he says, this is his, he oh, no. goes, he says, run, Naru, this is as far as I go. No more. This is it. Because he, he thinks the writers have decided that he dies in this scene. Kind of, yeah. Pretty much, yeah, because it's not, it's not quite where I would like it to be. Uh, something that someone just mentioned, it's like, oh, fuck yeah, the Predator's blood glows, man. You're not losing track yep. of that bitch. Yeah. It's running and you're going to see it. You're going to see it no matter what. It doesn't matter if it's got his cloak on, if it's bleeding that much. So um, it really did feel like the the as you just said the writers kind of were like, look, we're running out of time code. <laughs> Talbay's got to go, and it's like, oh, sorry, do we have to? Can we get rid of her? <laughs> no, he's so cool. It's not quite. Or I'm trying to think. Is it as bad or not as bad as in Predator Two, when the Predator just kind of ducks out of frame and then. <laughs> Wait, when does which which part are you talking like, about? Like right, right at the opening when uh, Harrigan sees him like immediately on the rooftop and is like, "What the heck is that thing?" Pointing a gun right at it, and the predator's like, "I can't kill the main character right away," so he just ducks out of frame, and that's that. <laughs> that no, that's because yeah, the the predator he doesn't kill him because he like, he notices him from earlier. And I think there might be, like, he's taken an interest in him. Yeah, I think the, know, the film maybe... tries to go with the angle that the Predator keeps an eye on Harrigan throughout. Well, is the instant invisibility in the middle of the fight worse than just ducking out of frame in Predator I think... 2? Or is the Predator 2 one worse? The, the benefit the Predator same? 2 has is I think Harrigan is so, like, what in the world am I looking, is that even anything? Or am I just, is it just really hot, you know? Like, what's going on? Well, doesn't get... he say, like, I'm, like I'm, I'm seeing things or I'm going crazy yeah, or like, something which, like that? Yeah, like, at least you have that. With this, it's like... I just don't like the able to happen this way. It looks cool. It's just that I'm sorry, you haven't established his invisibility to be that good. It's it's never yeah. that good. You're yeah, cheating. ashes Doing turn it off. Like if enough ashes keep hitting it over and over, then it'll just it can't. I guess it can't deal with all those little things, and it just turns them off. Uh. So, um, he tells Naru to bring it home. And then when uh, Tabe turns around to try and uh, hit it with an arrow, it um, it stabs him. The predator mm -hmm. stabs him with his claws. This is what I mean. This is why we break everything up on EFAP because we want to try and point out what we're praising and what we're criticizing. Because like in the middle of the middle of the middle of the moment, the idea that Tabe already knows he's dead, not because uh, like the, 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 we're just waiting for the predator to decide something. Tabe knows that the second I move gonna kill me mm -hmm. um because it's i think he has like now. a he has like a uh i don't know like a stake crack or something like a yeah that's what clues yeah. in that it's behind him so that means now that you know predators has the predator can kill him at any point so yeah 
why he's just and like, more specifically as well he's identified me as the person he wants to kill not you so now's your chance to use that to get away mm -hmm. this is your opportunity yeah regroup and then bring it home he's yeah so he is uh before he dies though he's able to get one last hit on him it wasn't enough it, that still didn't kill him uh, even though there's two big spiky things going through them. Point of interest before that happens is the fact that the Predator seems to be giving her the chance to make the decision to pull the trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Which again, then, I really feel like, if you follow all of the everything in the movie up to this point, I think this Predator really is like, are you a threat to me or not? Because it's like, it's not entirely I, been clear to me. Yeah, like, make a decision. But uh, yeah, before she can decide if she's pulling that trigger or not, uh, Tawe does get another hit. Yeah, he he takes off the the wolf skull from earlier. He yeah. pulls that off of the uh, predator's little trophy rack and he stabs him in the leg with it. That he does. Yeah, that was uh, set up, but that was there. Yeah. You think Tabe's dead, but then he gets another Chad moment right there. Imagine. Does. He is the Chad as Chad. Yeah. So unfortunately, goes on. That that it is unfortunately this is the uh, end of him. Uh, the predator oh. kills him. Naru <laughs> runs away, oh. which means Redcon revive him. <laughs> exactly, we are saying somehow she survived. The next scene is her washing up at a nearby uh, river. She's getting the blood and everything off of her, and she's sad. And uh, I'm glad they had her being sad. Yeah, that's good. Something. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, not very long. So, isn't there also? It's also a scene where like someone tells the mother. I'm actually not quite sure who it is. I'm f well, some... yeah. Apparently, they couldn't forget it when it's like the secondary main character. You know, like it's yeah. Like, Thank fuck they got this. Or, yeah, but basically, someone is clearly. I think they spliced this up as well to make it seem as though it's something she's thinking about. Yeah, but uh, like someone comes back, and I don't know who it is, and tells her that. The, the the guy is done so so I I don't know who it is. This is what I'm confused about. Uh, that's a good question. I'm not actually sure who that would be. Maybe. Exactly. Wait, no. I was about to say maybe that's like someone of his party, but it doesn't make sense because they were both trapped by the Frenchman. So yeah, I have no clue what it is. I don't. I really don't know. I'm not sure either. But I suppose they could piece everything together eventually by just checking out everything that happened. They'll eventually find his body, probably. Whoever looks into this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because we don't really get a time frame when this happens. I guess. No. Yeah. But, um... As far Remember as I dog? know, it's it's a day's time. <laughs> I Yeah, yeah, the dog <laughs> It is... just... Where, where did he go? Just chilling. Leave him alone. Because that he fight is happening. He's not here. You'd think... What's the dog doing? You'd think the dog might have... Because that's the other thing. The Predator will go after that dog. You cheating, movie. It's Elizabeth again. He's just packed it away. Is. You can't. Do... Sorry, I mean the, the dog. dog we never should have worried about the it. dog, but everyone did because it's just like, don't you, don't you hurt that dog? Uh, to be honest with you, they were probably like, we're never hurting the dog. The dog stayed alive. <laughs> we the just whole can't do movie. it. Yeah, it just yeah. Disappears. We want people to like us. The reason the I dog? certainly want exactly. to highlight this, by the way, is there's a reason why people were baffled by the dog's logistics in this movie. It's just like, <laughs> there he goes again. You're like, oh. goes everywhere. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Oh, and he's gone. Yeah, because oh, okay, he just, uh, you know, she's she's mourning, and uh, and the dog turns up again. The next day, because remember she sleeps. Yeah. By the the river, she's I guess she's tired and she sleeps, and uh, when she wakes up, the dog is there. She wakes it, up, the dog's it? there. The next yeah. day, I thought it was just uh, she was just resting till like uh, the sun is starting to go well, down. I guess it's either the next day or that. I guess it's that night. She sleeps until that night. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. And, uh, yeah. And the, and the dog is there. Um, and once she wakes up by the stream with the dog, we have, um, she sees a, sees a Frenchman the washing up a bit. The dirtiest, fattest, grossest one of all. Like the king he of the is gross the one Frenchman. Who, he yeah, the he big, is the biggest asshole. Yeah. Earlier on in the fight, he's the one who ran away from the little mines. He's the one, he's the fourth one who had, who'd ran away when yeah. no one else did. The bearded... So, Bastard who we killed all the him. buffalo while smoking his cigars. We don't like him. He was quite. He's very much a jerk. He was a super jerk. That bastard Frenchman. 
So she goes and uh, she she kind of gets her idea for the final fight and she ambushes him, knocks him out. And I feel like how she just runs up and beams him on the head with a rock. Yeah, yeah she <laughs> just comes up behind and hits him with a rock. It's like this. No time for finesse here. We're just going <laughs> to come up behind mm-hmm. you and hit you with a rock. Um, so she makes camp at night. And she essentially, so I guess, well, actually, let me use the loo before we get into this, because we're we're pretty much uh, just about at the end of the movie. Yeah, we're getting real close. Oh. I can't believe yeah, we're, we're yeah. at six hours. Yeah, it's Wait, taking excuse a while. me? I know, yeah, <laughs> I know. Also, uh, Decker, nice of you to hang in there, man. Six hours is a long time. <laughs> yeah, good job. Fortunately, Lou only wanted to walk once, but I'm going to have to feed her soon. Uh, well, I think oh, you have boy. to feed it yourself and... Live life at some point. I know that. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, it's optional. There's um, no living life on the internet. First priority is take care of the dog. Out of curiosity, uh, has your has your view changed on the movie at all throughout the six hours of talking about it to death, or uh, compared to the beginning? Well, I'm, it's uh, I am seeing more like yeah, the, the 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 fact that she is hunter, not warrior. That that fight, while it's, you know, kind of fits the cool factor, doesn't fit the believability factor nearly as much. And she is kind of a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's the biggest takeaway I had from my first to my second watch through. Um, and I think Rags just sounds like he's saying something similar with that. My first watch through, I was fine with her, but I think it was more so because I was detecting the point they wanted to make as opposed to absorbing the character for what, what she says and what she does. Um, yeah. Our biggest sort of my biggest frustration with her is yet to come. We haven't actually gotten to it yet. Um, but I think we've made a good case for how what my biggest frustration with her is going to be is kind of in line with who she is throughout this movie. I, mean, I don't mm. dislike the character, I just think she's kind of a cunt. Um, if I could separate it out into, I mean, I wouldn't be friends with her, I think she's an asshole, but <laughs> I like, I don't know, you know, I wouldn't translate that into like a, a definitive flaw. I think I would just go as far as saying she's. Uh, I can understand at this point why so many people have told me they really didn't like the main character. Um, yeah. Like okay, yeah, I can. Um. How does it rank for you? Okay. Editor movie. Ah uh, man. It's just there's so much more going on in every other movie. Like, this is a pretty simple, straightforward kind of Predator movie. Yeah. They, do it, they do well with what they have, for the most part, but they're, like, the, uh, the fact that we're seeing everything from Nara's perspective does mean that you don't really have... Like, the first movie, you have... Every single character is very interesting to get to know and see how they evolve. Uh, second movie, yeah, about half of them are interesting. And then there's just the crazy cartoony bad guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Predators just... It, uh, went a li- it, it had too easy of a time trying to get the... Uh, is, uh, here's how we can make this character stand out, that character stand out. Some of them do actually like, are memorable, like the Yakuza. I did enjoy that. I really did enjoy them with the Katana duel with Falcon. I remember that. Was, that. I, I, I still absolutely love that part. But despite them having such an easy time being like, okay, all of these characters will be unique and memorable, most of them really are forgettable. Let's not talk about the predator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just Naru has a good amount of depth. Her brother has a good amount of depth. Her mother has a decent amount going on. You can see where these characters are coming from. Uh, from um, uh, the Rufio-looking motherfucker. I don't really know <laughs> I don't all of what motivates him. Yeah, I, I I see he doesn't like Naru. Which, at first viewing, I was like, oh, he's kind of a jerk. But now I'm like, uh, you know, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand where you're coming Probably from. Probably fair. You had an opportunity to, to punch her in the face, and you took it, and I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> I am back. Um, oh, hey. 
Well, maybe we'll uh, we'll save if you can figure out a rag, because we're, we're pretty close to the end anyway, so... Take yeah. it away, Rags. What happens next? All righty. So, she gets her plan, and her plan is... It involves that that night, she sets up camp. And her idea is that she cuts off the Frenchman's leg with, uh, with what I assume is her little... Doesn't matter how she does it. She, she can do it. Yeah. She uses a little predator thing, the little predator yeah. weapon that she has. She still has it. Cuts off his leg, part of it, and is by a fire, and she wants to get him, essentially tricking him or luring him into being the aggressor towards her after it after he wakes up. Yes. Um so I have so I the idea here I assume is I'm, I might be a little confused because I see this working potentially multiple ways. The predator wants to get the person who's being a, the, well, I guess before it actually plays out. Here, I'll, I'll tell you what happens. So he's very angry and he says French things. Not sure what he's saying. It's probably very unpleasant. He crawls towards her where she has this rifle by the fire. He takes the rifle. He loads it up. He's being very angry. And as he's loading the rifle, Naru is saying stuff like, oh, well, the, people don't think I'm a threat, and that's why I'm so dangerous, because people don't, they don't, they, they're unass I'm unassuming, essentially. Um, the Frenchman gets his rifle loaded, points it at her, and he's like, ah, I'm going to kill you. And he pulls the trigger and nothing happens. It's, I guess she knows enough to, even though he loaded it, I guess she has rigged uh, the rifle in a way that it won't go yeah. off, which I'm like, oh, I don't know, you know how that she gun did well. It. Or you know, what exactly she that's did. The, that's the, the issue I was going to bring up, was like, if he had just grabbed it and shot and it didn't work, that's one thing, but the fact that he personally seems to do things with it, which means he would know what's... Like, she sabotages it in such a way that he couldn't detect it, but it does work. That seems unlikely, but like, alright. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, like, I, I, all the things that were necessary to fire it were there, so I guess the, the powder and the sh shot and the cloth and all that, it, it's all there and he could get it. It's not like a video game where you just reload out of nothing. But uh, what you might have been able to do to sabotage one of those would be to block the pan from being able to get to the reservoir inside of it. However, if she were to do that, then still by firing the mechanism, the flint would still hit the steel and still spark the powder in the pan, which would cause a little flash. I don't know how he knows enough to load it personally and think it's going to fire. How does she know enough to rig the gun in a way that he doesn't notice after doing all of that? It's uh, When she, she fails a fire and he failed to fire both times, the flint didn't even spark. Yeah. We're not so different, you and I. Weird. That um, might just be a, a, a movie thing where they didn't have it spark in the production, but also, that's not good. Agree with the drinker. You want I know too damn much about guns. This Part is a little bit lame with how um, I think the the movie's whole point is said here, and it's so unfair because it's I think got everything going for it in terms of you being able to figure it out, and then she just doesn't let you know that without telling you that herself. She's like, mm. you know, one point is being made by this movie, and it's it's not just the fact that it's revealing the point of the movie. It's also that this character is so fucking up her own ass that she has to explain to her victim how awesome mm -hmm. she is. <laughs> it's like... It's <laughs> speaker language. Exactly. But she's like, no, no, you gotta hear this. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a bit cringe as far as I can say. First time around, I was fine with it because I was sort of thinking about what she was saying and thinking about how it meant. And, but the second time around, I knew all of it, so I could just take the scene for being characters saying things, and then I was like, oh, this isn't working for me at all. Like, this is just... <laughs> I did. Uh, my fiancé has been quoting her to me, like, you, you don't think I'm a threat. That's what makes me dangerous. <laughs> but to be fair, uh, my fiancé is in a wheelchair. So. Well, does she have a gun? She's extra dangerous, then. <laughs> if she has a gun, she's going to sabotage in such a Texas. way. in Texas. Of course she has a gun. <laughs> the wheelchair has guns attached. Damn. Pretty cool. Uh, so, this is something that, logistically speaking, people have been asking me about, and I I wasn't even sure of what... You and I are probably on the same 
not page here because I don't really, I'm not exactly certain how this is supposed to play out and what the intention of this plan really is in terms of how it works. If we go with probably what as explicitly is said, she's made it so that she's done the correct kind of trap where she's created not a tied up bit of prey for a predator to come and kill. She's got like a predator, a fake predator ready to be used as, it's like, oh, very, very clever. But uh, in the original, Arnie, to get the attention of the Predator to a vague area, he fucking yells really loud for a while in the whole jungle. And it just lights up the whole place and the Predator's like, what the fuck was that? And heads in the general direction. Here, she seems to just assume the Predator is watching them, I guess? Yeah, she she relies on it watching this. Here's the problem, though. Her plan relies on the Predator watching this interaction, mm -hmm. but not the part where she sets it up. I guess not, yeah. Yep. Or that the Predator just doesn't understand what she's doing, which is just kind of unfortunate in terms of its intelligence. <laughs> but, uh... It's also kind of weird, like, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to interpret this as the Predator knew she was there, you could see her and him, and then she took the little thing and disappeared on the Predator's vision. The, the Predator was just like, oh, that's kind of weird, oh, whatever. I guess she's gone now. And walks in to kill that guy. And then... I, I just, does, does he just treat her in the same way as he treat a chair? Doesn't care about her? Or did he never know I, she was there? Because she took the thing right before he arrived. And in which case, like, why would he have arrived? I just, you know what I mean? Like, all of it, oh, I just she, don't she, quite she, understand. Yeah, the Predator would have seen you taking it. And even if it didn't, you're next to a fire. Yeah, it's going to heat you up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, was I find the whole thing very strange. I'm not entirely sure what the thing was going for. All I know is that the film was very proud of itself because it was like, look, it's a trap oh. made to look. It's actually a, a trap when it doesn't look like a trap. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, weird. Yeah. And, and she moves her, um, and, and she, like, as it's behind her, she moves out of the way for it. Almost, like, the first time I watched this, I thought the Predator was almost just, like, didn't care that she was there. It wanted to get her out of the, it just, she stepped aside for it, so it just walked by to kill him. But then on the second viewing, I was like, is, oh, it's like actually that the Predator doesn't have any idea that she's there. She's getting yeah. out of the way so it doesn't bump into her yeah. and notice her. Also, remember how every time anyone took this orange tortilla, they were like kind of shivering and almost yeah. cramping up? She's just standing there. It's like, uh, that's fine. I think it's unfortunate that the makers of this would honestly tell you, yeah, she's used to it. She knows, she's, she knows, what's, she knows what's up. She's able to take it. Uh, no. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just no. Uh, at least you could have argued this film had them shivering. You know, but then yeah, you could have just don't. Because James pointed that out to me. It was like, it was even like, yeah, this could have been just a thing of tension where she has to try to control like her breath or something so that she doesn't freak out with the cold and everything. Uh, could have used it to your advantage. Uh, and also the whole um, thermal vision. Like, she's like right next to a big ass fire. Like, his whole visor should have light up like crazy. Well, it, like, it could have seen anything. Her up. Yeah, it, it's bouncing and it off heats of her. her up exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that heat hits her, and it and the, there's just like oh, there's a hot thing here. Yeah, oh. she's pretty. She's very close to that fire right. as well. A lot of so, heat. I I live out in the sticks. I set enough fires, controlled fires. They they get hot and they make you hot from very far away. Yep. Exactly. So oh, yeah, yeah, this, whole, this, whole, this whole scene is just, it's just, it's, it's an A. Well, I'm sorry, it's but like, we're, I got so many complaints to come. <laughs> like, so. Oh, this, uh, this whole, this whole ending is, uh, oh. So, um, a question, his invisibility is not actively working because it's knowing? Oh, man, this is uh, Oh. It seems I'm... to me that's what they're trying. I, I genuine question. I don't actually know. They show that it's snowing. They make sure for us to understand that it is snowing. Then they show him walking through it. 
And I don't know if they're trying to tell us, like, see, the snow kind of works in the same way that the ash does. That it's our flavor. It kind of does it snow. I guess it will snow in September if it's cold. Yeah, cold enough. Yeah, right. I mean, it seems to be coming from well above the trees when they show it, like a, a like it, it doesn't seem to be that she's. Do you know what I mean? Because like, he doesn't use his invisibility at all in this fight, right? Yeah, as far as I know, he doesn't. He doesn't yeah. And there's no moment where it doesn't like seem to work. It just He just walks in and he's not invisible. So I don't know why oh, that's yeah. the case. Are we to presume, then, it's just incredibly fucking lucky it decided to start snowing right now? I'm just frustrated because of the fact that I really liked how the Predator liked heat. It's a thing about the Predator that I enjoy. It's like, oh, he, he enjoys really hot summers when it gets super extra hot yeah. like it is in Texas right now. That's when you have to worry about Predators so, showing um, To clarify, in case and, anybody's unfamiliar, Predator 1 and 2, they are explicit that these are incredibly hot times of year and clearly hot yeah, places. Yeah, there's a heat wave in the jungle. And that's why with this movie, mm. the fact that it's gone to the point where it's snowing, it's like... Wait, what? <laughs> like, what? Does the yeah, Predator have a preference for the heat? They try to explain away the Antarctica thing like, well, it used to be hot there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, AVP, look at you go. Look at you limping Silence, around. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, this is what I mean. I'm very unhappy with all the things we talk about right now. Like, I hate the coincidence of the snow. I don't even think the snow should really... I'm willing to buy the ash... But, like, it, his invis can't deal with the flakes of snow. I don't know. They melt pretty quickly. He's good with water. Yeah. So, fine. His invisibility doesn't work. How lucky for you. <sighs> Which, um... So, the next, next, next? Yeah. Next. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. So, ba 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 so she shoots it, and I guess before we even get to this part, she shoots, uh, as, while it's at the fire, she shoots it in the back of the head with a gun, oh, yeah. it knocks the helmet off, she grabs the helmet and runs. So, question. Should that have killed the Predator already, or nay? The fact that it went through his head? Because I was, I, 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 I was like, maybe we can go with the whole uh, thick skull alien creature, we don't know how thick it is. But it goes pretty As much once in there. established in the Predator, when they shot the Predator dogs in the head, getting shot in the head doesn't kill them. It just makes them stupider. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't, There's so don't, much Predator lore I'm not aware of. No, no, that's the Predator. That movie, it creates a friendly Oh, I don't want to know any lore about that one. Stab it in the brick. I don't even want to. So, yes, <laughs> uh, it gets shot through the head. Yeah. But this is what I mean. It feels like... He has 100 HP and a shot to the head does like, I don't know, 40 damage? 40, yeah. Like, okay. Turns around like, fucking ow! Yeah, a little bit. And you know, she just sort of runs off after grabbing the mask, and I'm already just like, I think you should be dead now. You know, because like, he's gonna turn it's around a and... Cell. Yeah, like, shots to the chest, so like, okay, arms, like, yeah, he's super high pain oh, tolerance, very resilient. I, I agree that he should be dead, but I was also saying she should now be dead, because even if she does run off real quick, he's got his heat vision, oh, then again, I guess she's invisible. Like, yeah. Would she get, I, she should get hotter when she moves around. No, she's, exactly. she's fine. No. No. All, right. All right, then. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. It's not allowed. I just, it's so lame. The, the, the Predator is... One of the things I was praising about this movie when I first saw it was how I got to see some real cool, awesome Predator stuff. I would never have told you that was something I concluded from this next selection of moments. Yeah, I feel like we just get is... a different Predator now. Ooh. Which is sad, because it's the final fight. And the final fight yeah. in Predator 1 manages to make the Predator still badass as fuck. Arnie just outsmarts him in the last moment, that's all. And hey, the Predator still gets the last laugh in that fight. He does, Quite yeah. literally. So... Oh, like he's, you know, we get this little gap of like she sets up the helmet somewhere. Mm, you know, who knows what that <laughs> she be does? About. Yeah, she sets the helmet up first. It's one of the first things that happens is she sets up the helmet before the fight even begins. Mm -hmm. And she's it's... like got some sharpened stickeries that have clearly been tied to a thing. And you're like, okay, they're the two setupy things Put we some... see. 
Yeah, put some sticks on a tree, some sharp sticks along a tree, so that hopefully he'll jump at it. Uh, and uh, sets the helmet down. Now, the traps have been prepared. She puts the helmet on the rocks. The predator follows a blood trail that she's made. An obvious, obvious blood trail. Yeah. And then he gets to the end of the blood trail where the Frenchman's leg is, and he just looks around. It's, a, huh? it's the same, same strat what? from the beginning with the lion. Yeah, it's fine. Kind of, except, but, except but, the predator knows that it's a trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the predator's yeah, way it's, smarter than a lion. <laughs> it's just not fair. But yeah. is he smarter than a beaver? No. No. Oh, clearly not in this scene, he's not. Because he just gets to the end of the trail and he's like, oh, I guess I'll look around. And so, uh, oh, there's no one here. It takes like two steps back, but then she's already yeeting herself off the thing. Also, in so, this, yeah. the thing, right, if you guys were like trying to pitch me, say you, you just had a writing challenge, you got to have her defeat this predator in a fight, and you come up to me and you go, all right, so, part one, you see this little tree here, she's jumping off it, and she's I'm like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and they're like, what, what do you mean, no? And it's like, no, that's fucking absurd. First of all, you see the distance here. It is going to hurt like hell just to land on the predator. Let alone, like, whatever you're going to try and get up to doing and what he's going to do to you. <laughs> that just is imagining a huge her, risk you're taking. Her landing on the predator on her leg that got <laughs> caught in the trap and just crumpling oh, immediately, oh. like, ah! And then the oh, predator just stabs her in the ground. It's like, a lie. She flings into him so fast, she just bursts into a cloud of flesh. <laughs> he's just like, wait, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Whoa. I guess I'll win. So, uh, yeah, already a really bad start, as far as I'm concerned. The, this, yeah. Like, oh no. But the fact that it's just all lining up so perfectly, and then she gets one, two, three, four axe hits into him. Man, that predator's real fast, huh? Already not yeah. looking great. Not a great start already. And he throws her away. Imagine of course, he grabbed yeah. her by a limb and just started doing the what the Hulk did to Loki. Imagine that. Or a neck, maybe. Well, so, if she grabs her by the neck, she's done, Rags. Of course, it, that's never. Of course, happen. yeah. I mean, that's yeah. You would never. I mean, they're strong. He's strong enough to fight a bear. If he grabs yeah. her by the neck, she's dead. It would be really way, silly if they would do that. Hence the blessing it occurs. Blessing, because it's so fucking cool to see him beat out a bear. Curse. Okay, so there's no fucking way she's gonna be able to take yeah. it in, in uh, this level. It's, it's it's Wong chopping off that guy's arm. It's the same thing. Yep, you've told you us something that you can't untell us. Too late. Exactly. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's too late. You did it. Um, Pack it up. Oh my god, I just had this thought in my head of the a super chat is covered the, with the exact same thing. Shouldn't he lose her throughout this whole fight? Maybe he sees his own blood floating on her. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but no, he shouldn't. He shouldn't Maybe be. There's not really the pay. There's not a payoff for the for for her being invisible, other than at the campfire. That yeah. seems to be I it. Think that's it. I think now Which is absurd anymore. because that's the greatest weapon against this guy. In Predator, yeah, you need to be chugging when, that shit. When uh, Arnold makes himself invisible to the Predator, they do go to paints to show that the Predator's having a really hard time Crazy. finding Arnold, but they are detecting him through, like, motion. Like, you can see, yeah, was... see that he brushed against that fern. That fern's going, okay, he's in that general direction. Dude, it's fucking amazing. And this is what I mean about that script being so underappreciated sometimes by a lot of people when they just say it's an awesome movie. It's like, no, it's really well written. Do you remember the part where uh, Arnie's throwing shit? to make sounds in other places, and the Predator quick enough realizes you're, someone's fucking with me and throwing this shit, and it has like a triangulation calculating where the thing would have been thrown from, from the vibrations and the, and the shit he's detecting, and figures yeah, he's first, probably first over there. First it attacks where the sound came from, then realizing, huh, no, that was a rock. It had to be thrown. Let's see. Roll that back. Yeah, it's Zoom, really cool. Enhanced. There it is. And like... He does all that, and then he, he fires enough and vaguely in the right direction that Arnie has to move, and he, he, he jumps, and he ends up in the water, if you remember, and that knocks out his uh, ammo. Yeah. Because that film's not shit. <laughs> like, it's but a lot of people good. just mistake it for like, and, oh, it was a cool and they movie. Also, they explain very well why the camouflage is not part of the final battle for the Predator. Yeah. Because Arnold's first attack against him when he was, saw him coming through invisible with an explosive arrowhead, misses him, but the explosion is close enough that it hits his wrists and damages the camouflage mechanism. Yep, they show his little wristy thing walking up and shit. Ugh. I have to watch uh, the movie again soon. better than people give it credit for. 
top notch. So good. It is, but I think the number of people view it the same as like any other like like Commando or something. Like it's oh yeah, it's a cool action movie from the eighties. Like, eh, I think you're right. Where it's just like it's a little bit. It's got a it's got a punch to it. It's 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 better than that. Yeah, it's actually mm-hmm. it's actually like a really great film. It's not some dumb shit. Uh, here's like the Predator isn't using their camouflage, and it's up to you to figure out why. That's what, yeah, this, what, this, isn't that an interesting comparison? Like, they don't tell you, expl- you don't have Arnie going, it's camouflage is down what because I have, de- I have <laughs> wounded it. I destroyed it. it. <laughs> because I can currently see him, it must be his camouflage is down. I must have taken down his work. camouflage. Well, meanwhile, in this, just... we are legit all asking, like, was it the snow? <laughs> well, <that's laughs> like, I don't even know, isn't it? I guess so. But then there's other parts where it's like, they don't even trust you, you know? It's like, ah, no, we gotta explain it to you, alright? See? The the herb, it does this. It's like, I got it, man. <laughs> I, I figured it out. I am not an animal. Oh. Hmm. So, we got, um... The next like portion of the fight, she runs away from him. He chases her. She knows he'll jump on the little trees, so she runs to the tree. She's got a little trap on. And he ends up scraping on that, taking a big old wound Just... again. Oh, I don't Dumb think. Shit. Oh, we do. What about the spear part? Did we talk about the spear part? That happened yet? Yeah. So after uh, she's on top of him, she does her first jump from the tree. She's smacking him with her tomahawk. He oh. throws him off, throws her off. And then uh, he pulls out his spear and he gets it ready to throw at her. And just in oh. the nick of time, we have a, we have Sari comes out and his dog's running, running and jumps on him right at the right before he throws. So you that, it that misses is. her confirmation mm. that Sari is the equivalent of um, like your character in an RPG has Use dog. He's he's like the dog companion and, in Fallout. Like, d- yeah, and, and as soon as he does that like move, the, uh, it goes on less cool annoying. Down. Mysterious stranger. Yep. Dog yeah, bite it, it, you get to use it because she seems to pull it out and then just disappears. And then you know the cooldown. It's been getting better as she progresses. She has more XP and she's putting points Put into point it. Point into it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Make your skill better. So he throws the spear. It misses because the dog jumped on him at the last moment from behind. Yeah. He pulls out the tomahawk and throws it away instead of maybe breaking it or something or just throwing it out to the fucking woods. Um, and he starts to, yeah, this is where he chases her. And he he's jumping from tree to tree, which sure, it can't be more efficient than running. Surely. Yeah, at this point, well, it just isn't. After at, her. We see earlier in the movie when they're in the grassy fields uh, that he catches up to them like super quickly so he should like be with her like i don't know within like two or three steps just like easy it's almost like he did the jump 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 because he gotta do the jump 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 to fall for her trap yeah and as he's like, jump jump r- jumping and... you don't sound very enthusiastic more <laughs> right why now. would i be after i just said i'm only going to be complaining <laughs> Look, i'm just <laughs> saying you, i can i can tell it in your voice Hey man, now, if you end upset. strong, you know, that can do wonders. If you end real badly, you can do the yeah. opposite of yeah. wonders. Mm, I understand. I get you. Now, as Predator is jumping from tree to tree, chasing after her as she's just running. Um, so, like, the method that gets him to run into the spike trap on the tree, she she runs up it and does a backflip. Yeah, and then he, or like, like a, and it's like, ah, oh, damn. damn. And I don't I understand it. how the scene works because she she runs to the tree, like jumps on it and then goes backwards. But he seems to come in from the side and she's running it like the angles are very, very strange for how these scenes I are supposed check. to play yeah. out. Um, And let me see. He chases her and chases her a bit more through the woods. I just watch this because my notes are just like basically this. This fight shit. happens it's not very good yeah there's a few <laughs> things but it's mostly just this fight is shit so she goes and runs back to where the spear was and she grabs it and this the predator comes in and he he like punches the tree with his 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 spikes and it gets his thing caught inside of the tree like it's stuck in the tree Mm-hmm. she's got the spear now and she does this like twirl with it 
and then gets ready to stab him with it. Now, what happens next is somewhat strange. I uh, can he... take care of it. I looked at this several times because I was so unsatisfied with this event. Um, yeah, I watched this a few times too. You go ahead and go for it. Yeah, you, I'll let I you couldn't... know. If... She thrusts that spear. The predator on a plus side sees this coming, activates his shield, and as you can see, Cham doing this nice and slow. It, it's opening the way it always has, but it's jamming in a way because she's got the spear up where it sort of connects to itself. And the Predator intelligently realizes, oh boy, if she pushes again, she might just be able to slink that by the shield's little, little gap there and it'll go straight into my face. So the smart thing to do would be to push my shield arm somewhere so that if the spear were to go forward, it, would, it wouldn't hit my face. You know, for instance, left or right, but going up a little bit. And so... He tries to push it to one side, making it so that spear no longer has a chance to go into his face. Unfortunately, the shield finishes connecting the either side, and that has a chopping effect, as we've seen before. And it mm -hmm. just so happened to be rammed into his arm, and so chops it off. This is incredibly yep. unsatisfying to watch. It was so, so fucking lame, dude. There's a lot of elements that make this really just not work at all from her little fancy pointless flourish of it where she spins it a bit. But he is strong. Again, he is strong enough to fight a bear with his hands. There is no way that she can generate enough force with a spear point to even move that shield on his yep. arm. That shield was getting shot by muskets and it like wasn't even moving. He has legs. One kick, she's dead. Yeah, that too. Also, just, just fucking grab the spear. I mean, he's been stabbed with it before by Tabe. Oh yeah, I don't know. I hate this. It's, yeah, I hate this a lot. This is bad. This is he all bad. He's really upset with how early in the fight he gets crippled this bad. And it's just not done in a way that, like... Oh, I hate to keep going back to it, but I have to. The first movie, man, like, the way that Arnie <laughs> gets these traps to work, how much effort he puts in, and how even still he has to do the fist fight with the Predator because he doesn't manage to win. But then his last trap that he had set up, he's able to crawl to it because he's fucking losing so badly. And then the Predator spots the spikes, and you think it's all over. But the only way those spikes were going to raise up and do the thing was because of a weight. The counterweight and they them under the counter. What a clever little twist. Nice. This is just like, I swear to God, was anybody on Earth able to watch this for the first time and understand what the hell just happened? Like, I probably don't think not. So. I would be genuinely surprised if they did. It was like, wait a minute, why? how does arm get chopped off? Exactly. That's what I mean. When you slow it down frame by frame, it's like, oh, oh. But without yeah. that, like, I'm going to show again, like, chat, have a look at this. If you saw this in regular motion, what are you supposed to make of this? Like, it's in blood. Was it, what? <laughs> like, you chopped your own hop off the fuck? Yeah. I just came to a conclusion, like, oh, man, she got really lucky that this happened. <laughs> I don't know. This is so weird to look at. There's I, so I many didn't, things that uh, could have happened. It. I thought, because the first thought I had was that he did the regular, like, the shield was complete and he just spiced it off, but it was, like, the specific that it was the closing of the shield's two yeah. sides together that got the arm off. I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah. It's no, no this doesn't bueno. make any sense whatsoever, and it should not have happened. And lame. it makes this movie worse. It is quite lame. So he's upset, and he still has his insanely powerful shield, and he's so incredibly strong, he could fight a bear and lift it up completely. Uh, incredibly strong. It seems as if uh, the fight should be over here. She, the spear deactivates, because I guess... Well, that's a huge deal. Because it deactivates. Because so, I was going to yeah, ask she... you guys, like, what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Because if he can just remote deactivate this spear... Look, chat, look at this. Going in for the kill. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Why didn't you do that the first time? Yeah, that would have been helpful. You can literally just take the weapon off here remotely. He doesn't even press any buttons. It. She should have thrown it. 
There's no yeah. way that she had the reflexes yeah. to be. Oh, it's changing somewhat. I'm not going to throw it, especially with my hands so forward with it. I don't um, even know what I'm supposed to make of it. this. Is he doing it with his mind? She, must. He must know that it's about to happen and that it's not going to affect him. Have his mask on. That's his what I mean. His band is on his arm over there. Exactly. <laughs> One of his arms isn't even attached anymore. <laughs> I don't understand because if you want me to think that this is him, you can do that remotely and instantly. You should have just done that when she first attacked him with the spear. Whenever he throws it, he just needs to deactivate it. This is the second time he's been fucked by his own spear after he's thrown it. Exactly. You need to get into the habit of once you throw that shit, it just deactivates. You just deactivate it. So, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um... So, of course, the fight's over at this point because she doesn't have a weapon. He's still incredibly strong. He's very, very angry, and he has his razor-sharp mega metal shield on his arm. There's no possible way she can survive at this point. And she's got nothing. Uh, not only that, but she takes two hits from him. Wait, I, I, her... So, up to this point, I was still tolerating this fight. But this was the part where I was like, you absolutely cannot allow her to get into a literal fucking, like, fist fight with him immediately, just, like, yeah. one-on-one not one after, combat. Not after he punched a bear. That's just, yeah. Can't do this. And so, Can let's go real slow. By this guy. What happens here? Yeah, I think that's a miss? I think it's a miss. That first yeah. one is a miss, but you have That him... is not a miss. You even see a bit of blood spray out there. Yeah. That's that's GG. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, so she's man. dead. The shield yeah, yeah. hit as a GG. No, it just barely it just clipped her a little bit. It's like when oh, Kylo okay. hit Rin. It's like it does damage, but not any damage. Nothing meaningful. It just makes you sleepy for a little bit. Oh. <laughs> and in this case, mad. it doesn't do shit. Yeah, so um, we've sunk pretty darn far. Aim. It's just, yeah, It she gets knocked to the ground, and I guess she's okay from taking that razor-sharp shield hit wherever she took it. She's on the ground. He swings his arm face. down with the shield and misses, I guess. That's unfortunate. And uh, then uh, we get the worst. I think it's funny because anybody listens to this would be like, how does it keep getting worse? They're just like, so check it out. Uh, she realizes, out, yeah. oh, the, the place. You know that place, chat? See that? Do you recognize that? It's kind of like, we know that place. Alright, better head over there. Oh, whoops. I forgot, there's a predator right here, and he's grabbing me by the throat. And yep. you are dead. <laughs> you are so dead. It's yep. not fair. How can you let this happen? And then... But then he it... does the movie thing. He throws... Yeah, no, it, there's even more. Oh, it's, it's not even a throw. Ground. Yeah, with this, it's over. Yeah, I accept this because he hasn't even let go choke of it. Slammed her. Yeah, a choke slam from the predator to a ninety-pound lady. You're dead. Yeah, I yeah, don't he's know how trying you're to kill you. You're not gonna. Also, that's his shield hand. Open up the shield, and she's dead. Yeah, but you Squeeze. won't. You won't do it, will you, predator? You you're not allowed. Her, like, because that's <laughs> what you do allowed in movies. To be you well, throw, to be fair, he will have... open the shield. He just won't do it yeah, until she's safe. Yeah, which there's no way she's going to get it. the safety. So right. he, he's so he's in a bad. The ground he's not... and somehow takes him and the like. She kicks upwards when what should happen is nothing because he's way stronger, way, way, Correct. way stronger than her. Yep. But apparently, this like guides him up between those rocks. Yeah, well, like which are here. Just for the sake of uh, for the people watching, so I can show them, right? So okay, okay. this is the situation, right? Chat, you see this? See him? See her right now? Activating the shield kills her. It's over. So what could possibly happen? Well, you see, she looks up. Now, chat, you see that? That is two rocks with about enough space in between them to fit a human head. I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which you know. How lucky! Hmm. How fucking lucky! <laughs> and so. Because she's clever, she kicks the ground, question mark, which pushes and her, what was what, about a meter? And him? Yeah, and him, that's going to have to drag him all the way up, so that when he opens the shield, it'll clang onto those two rocks. 
and not be able to cut through, saving her. Just yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on. You weren't he meant smelled... to have her do the fight like this. What no. you should have had her do was use lots of traps and then get away and go and hide again. Yeah. Instead of a one-on-one -on -one fist fight. Because it was never gonna... It just doesn't... It, it doesn't really work with any person as established how strong the Predator is. I also don't like, know... And he still hasn't just squeezed her throat... Kid just Regularly. Throat. <laughs> just kill he just her the regular yeah. way at this point, Predator. Remember, the... The guy who could beat a bear in a fist fight it has her by the throat, and he's just not squeezing. Yeah. yeah. Um. And just, I nah. also go as far as saying I'm not sure these these rocks would stop that shield. I'm gonna be honest with you. If it went, ah, uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'm fine with the rocks. It I'll allow it. Down. It's sci-fi super steel. I don't know that it should be stopped by these rocks. We can allow it, but like on the list of issues, it doesn't really make much of a difference at this point. But, yeah. Because the there's something coming up that's even worse. Carpet. It's just a very slow kind of progress. So the sci-fi super steel is about even with random rock. Yes. <laughs> random rocks are hard, though, to be. They're very... Oh, oh yeah. And now I know what I mean, you're it is, thinking. It is... Imp... How could this get any worse? He has this... By the way, just to repeat, he has the strength to push his shield into a rock. That's how yeah. fucking strong he is. And he's not just squeezing her neck dead. So chat, for so those who haven't seen this movie, she... what's, what's gonna oh, happen right. next? What will it be? It's... Surely she's Isn't doomed. Isn't this incredible? Surely she's gonna die. What could possibly save- The rocks aren't- you know, it's chopping through. The rocks aren't able to stop it fully. It's like she's running out of time. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? He's yelling at her. Mm. She's gonna breathe fire. That would've made more sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 just tapping next frame until it shows it because I at this point I don't even yeah. know what it's gonna be but I also it helps me avoid copyright I'm pretty sure but uh, there's plenty of people in uh, in chat who will know oh dog saves it what a good suggestion that is a He's good guess on, that's, oh, a that's a really good guess still on cooldown you can't access the dog yet yeah yep. so what will it be maybe if she sneezes on him spits on him that could actually have more viability than <laughs> what she decides yeah. to do honestly yeah. Uh, she gives him a big old glare. Look at her. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Uh, and she's uh, made a decision, which is to grab his mandible and simply no. rip it off. Just rips it off? No. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> that's Dude, a, to that's do that. a lie. <laughs> that, I don't believe you. Fuck you. I wouldn't believe it if Ani would have done that. No, I don't believe any person can do that. Bullshit. You're and ripping off a huge part of his flesh. It's like, like a bone and everything in there. And she just stabs him with it. No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this. madness. You're making Eating. noises. Stop. <laughs> and then he goes, ooh, owie, and then stops being owie. mean to her. He doesn't instantly squeeze even out of reflex. He slides out. Yeah. I can't believe she got Well, she does have it. the lower body strength advantage. Of course. And <laughs> <laughs> the oh, end, yes. so at this point, you're just like, oh, just put him out of his misery. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, put him out of his misery. Why? Is it... You pulled True, off part though. of his face. That's not fair. You shouldn't. You can't be... just pull body parts off people. At this point, you that... can't just do that. That's that really rude. That. <laughs> Boo. <sighs> Even if he did manage to kill her and go back, uh, he would get no respect. No, imagine being the Predators watching this. You'd be like, dude, you, um... <laughs> you had it, man. You were right there, man. <laughs> you had it all and you blew so, it. For those no, who are recommending but... Dog, guess what just came off cooldown? No, oh boy. Dog How goes. exciting. And dog it's not just back. Dog. She leveled it up. It's at full level. He ho He's holding an axe. Oh, shit. That's top level doggo right there. So um, basically unstoppable. This seems pretty awkward because they're clearly trying to generate their own like epic hero moment. But it's just she's standing there, predator is standing there, doggo is around, and it has the axe in his mouth. You're like, okay. I mean, this is this is not. I don't see how the pieces this come together odd, for a victory here. I don't know what here. play this is. Yeah. But all right. But the music swells, and she's like, Petsu! I don't know what that means. It probably means help me kill it. 
or something. It, Help it me probably it. means I can't believe I'm so good at this. I thought this would be harder. So yeah, we'll just go nice and slow with this too. Why not? She's running toward the predator. The doggo is running toward the predator. Oh gosh, what's going to happen? Well, he does an epic slide. Apex While the predator, for some reason, is completely distracted, grabs the axe out of Doggo's mouth as she's sliding, and then shoves it into the predator's leg. Ouchies! He he just he couldn't. Does eat remember me. that he's part of a climactic battle, right? I don't even. I don't even know. I think he knows where he. Is. I don't think he knows what's happening at this point because she slides under him, and then jumps on his back. Wraps the fucking thing around his head while he's stumbling around, and it's like, isn't he a predator? Doesn't he no, weigh anymore. like ten billion pounds? <laughs> like, what? Shouldn't this do nothing to? He should just grab her, and that's it. No, that know, mandible was was uh, a huge part of his body weight, so now it's fine. Um, <laughs> the densest part of a predator, other than this one's brain, is the mandible. That is yeah. important to remember. And In the like, deep lore. Wriggling around him for a while, and he's just going, "Oh, oh, jeez, I can't do Ooh, nothing like about this. Like, oh God, I, I wish I could do something." And then she jumps off him to the to the bit of land that's you know next to the, the little twigs and stuff. Yangs Incredible on the acrobatic. rope, of which I'm sorry, but she would never have the leverage to pull him over. This guy, nope. I'm not even sure she could pull, and I'm pretty sure if he wasn't even paying attention, he'd be like. Oh, someone's, someone's like, poking me. Oh, hi, what are you doing? Because, like, I can't even begin to imagine comparing these two's weight. But, uh, yeah, she yanks him, and he... Look at the way he falls. Yeah. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, off the like his... Just needs a funny noise when he falls down. He's like, whoop. Yeah. All that practice pulling, pulling herself up out of the mud. That required a ton of strength. Oh. Yeah, I guess or it's consistent, he's perfectly capable of doing that to the Predator. And like, oh god, it's just yeah. So he's like <laughs> thinking. That just reminds Imagine me getting of those viral and, videos like, all that of the guys in the mud, the mud and just lopping yeah. down into it. He does just do a little floop, Oomph. and it's like, you even couldn't have him die gracefully, could you? <laughs> no, <laughs> die no. like an idiot. But that doesn't kill him. Yeah, it just kind of stands up. Yeah, Which I'm I guess he's too tall, right? Yeah, I'm like amused by the idea tall, that he's yeah. so tall, he's, he's standing on the bottom of this swampy thing, just like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? Um, Stop embarrassing me! <laughs> and so, Stop. how will this end? Well, uh, I, mean, she, I think can't she... Can't get worse, right? Yeah, right. well, this is, I mean, it'll be up to see what, see what we'll think about this, so... Mm. Also, like, is it... He, like, slowly stands up out of the mud... Yeah, yeah. I just like the menacing head first. When you rest, know for a fact that he'd be rushing to get his fucking mouth out of there. Especially with your torn open mandible, dude. You want him, all the mud going in there? I guess so. Maybe he does want that. Um, but then she's like, come on, come on. She doesn't say, do it. Do it, <laughs> come, come on. on. She just says, come Kill on, come me. on, come on, come on, come on. So what she's hoping for is that he'll open up his little dart shooting gun thing. And use it uh -huh. on here. And eagle-eared and nosed viewers will remember that it follows the, the darty thing on the helmet. Of which she mm -hmm. had and placed somewhere earlier. So, when he fires the dart, it will re-angrelate wherever the little helmet is aiming. And unfortunately for this dude... Just so happens to be reangrelating right on his head. Because it's placed on the little rock right there. And he even does a little. What? And just, then boom. Just to be clear, if, if you play this at normal speed, and the amount of time that he has to react to this is quite a lot. It's quite a lot. I think it's lot. like two and a half seconds. It's like two to two and a half seconds. He just looks at it, it's like, oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the predator is killed. Yeah, it yes. sucks. This is the the buried underneath all this bullshit is a neat concept of her using the helmet dots without the predator knowing. But this, that's, it's terrible. I mean, do we this need to explain how sucks. beyond lucky she needs to be for this to line up? 
Yeah, because he has to, he can't adjust this. It's in place wherever it is. And also, important to note, the laser doesn't turn on until the gun is armed, until the, the dart thrower is armed. So she doesn't know where that dot is going to point. You can't eyeball that. No, she just has there's to no get. way. It's just very lucky. It's incredibly lucky. And you know what else is super fucking lucky? This thing has a, let's call it a range in which a it range. will follow yeah. what you've fired yeah. it at with the dart gun itself before it'll you know, re reassess where it's supposed to go. It, like, skims past her fucking face. Oh, yeah. You are so lucky. <laughs> if it had just gone that little bit further forward, you'd have been like, oh, well, if there he you was, go. you're dead. I mean, if he was aiming a little bit to the right, then, like, it, it's done. Yeah, it's you're over. Right. It's if, gonna hit you anyway. And I think this is what Because he was me. almost hitting Tabe when he was on the horse. Even when I was first time around, I was unsatisfied with this, because I, I just felt like, God, Fucking damn it, the Predator was such a moron. He, like, never learned. He never understood shit about his own weaponry. Like, you know that this thing is not going to be that reliable. And she took your mask. Can you at least try to put two and two together? This is what I'm talking about, with that, that read, uh, triangulating where the rock was thrown from in the original movie. That, to me, I'm just like, oh, that's really cool. That shows the Predator has a bit of brains in there. Brains to the point where I wasn't even expecting that to happen. This movie, mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, can you at least try to pretend like you can learn? I'm not even sure you can. Like, it seems like you the have... The second time you get hit by your own thrown spear, you're like, ugh, you suck. I just have a hard time believing that there's no way for the Predator to turn off the tracking. I think it's incredibly stupid that it has to be like bound to this yeah. weapon. It's baked yeah, in. Yeah. Well, you're absolutely right. If... No, I'm shooting without my helmet. Whatever my yeah. helmet, wherever it is, whatever it's pointing at, it's not even going to matter because it's going to go towards that dot. Exactly. It's it going to fuck up my it, shot That's, one again, way or another. His level of intelligence. But what you're highlighting there, I think, is also fair to assume. Like, imagine there was a manual aiming mode. She'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... yeah, she doesn't know how that works. Helmet not detected. Just shooting forward. Which feels like it's something it would they would be. Yeah, it exactly. seems really intuitive that that would be something that's part of the weapon's design. All of the Predator scientists put it together so that all the, the Predators could go out to other planets and leave them alone while they try to build a society or something. <laughs> and you know, people are like, so he killed himself? It's like, yeah. I mean, much. sort of. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, yes, you, you, but no. You can argue, Depends of course, on how killed you... him, but it's, it, I think that we can argue he killed himself because he's that fucking stupid. This wouldn't have killed any reasonably intelligent alien, as far as I'm concerned. It yeah. wouldn't have killed any th creature who just... Like, again, the amount of time I can't it believe they haven't realized where the dots are aiming before he's killed. Why would you do yeah. that? It just makes well, it even worse. I don't know worse. why they would do that. That's, that was, that, I can't I'll believe they make him do that little, I'll tell you. His little head tilt as well. Ugh. I know why. It's to give you that little extra satisfaction. Like, he sees it coming. He knows what's going to happen before he dies. Because that's more satisfying than him just ceasing to exist, essentially. He knows it's coming in his last second. Even though he, he like Ooh. recognizes what it is, and he has plenty of time to move his fucking head, but he doesn't because he's an idiot, dumb, stupid, idiot, moron. Dummy. Now the dumb, stupid, idiot, moron face has got his brain splattered behind it. <laughs> and he's all dead because he shot himself uh -huh. in the face. Figured, you know, right. I've already been shot in the head once today. Maybe I can take it <laughs> twice. Yeah. <laughs> it was really that second one that got me. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. Awful. Next morning, she brings back its head to the camp. What she doesn't do is she doesn't bring back the insane, amazing space age armor and weaponry. But she does yeah. bring back the pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rags, I don't know where to begin. There's so many issues to go over just with this last Oh, scene. go for it. I've been talking plenty. We, uh, God, where do you even... I guess we should just summarize the scene pretty quickly, right? So, like, it's... Yeah, you might as well, back, like, nothing happens, essentially. Holding the predator head, drops it on the floor, and it's it's like it's echoing the scene with her brother, with the mountain lion, and mm -hmm. she gets given, you know, hunter status. And everyone's super happy. Before we close out, we, we, we get the note that, oh, you know, uh, better be careful. We need to move, like, somewhere else because more of them are coming. I think she says that, right? She says they have to move to easier protected ground. 
Yeah, and then and then we that that that's it, right? That pretty much closes out the movie. Essentially, she gets to hold the talking stick. Hooray! The movie's over. So she did it. She showed everyone she, that she can hunt. There's also this little good. bit with her, like standing there with the talking stick, looking all good. Everyone's all proud of her, and then they you just see a small shot with this stick. little girl who's looking at her, like, <laughs> yeah, I can grow up to get a predator to kill himself too. Which uh, it feels like. Fist, That's but, the part where I'm like, oh. so like, aftermath is really important a lot of the time. There's lots of closure to be had. Okay, epilogue. Mm -hmm. We need it. There's a reason why they exist. We got stuff to do. This film, holy fuck, the writer had one goal, and that was it. They forgot about everything else. Like, <laughs> dude, do you even remember who this character is? And they'd be like, what? What, what do you mean? It's like. If fucking like half the hunters, tr the tribe's hunters are dead. Her brother is dead. Do you not remember any of this? Like you, how could you have the final scene not involve any mourning and like just recognition of yeah. that? Really? Because we it was bad enough when it was the one random dude who we didn't even like care about. Okay, yeah. But she's like having a moment of oh man, I'm so fucking cool and awesome, like, <laughs> dude. Needs, this, the scene needs to end in a much somber. Ceremonial, like funeral for them, and then she's looking like sadly. She looks up to the stars, like, Where did this thing come from? Are there more? It came from the sky, I guess, but like, there's no, there's no like, I was able to do it, but and also, also at what cost, you know? The huge missed opportunity, I and mean, it's not necessarily a missed opportunity because they never would have done this. Clearly, they don't want her to be compromised in any way, they wanted to come across as kind of awesome at this scene but the the, the scene awesome. to be here would be like she's conflicted about her pride for having killed this predator because she's she was obsessed with it it's all she wanted to do just to prove that she could do a thing when that desire that like insecurity has cost the life of her brother and several tribes people to the point where it's probably screwed up this tribe's ability to stay safe and stay it, it, yeah it definitely hurts losing one two three four five young men in their prime who are talented and capable that's just i mean emotional stuff notwithstanding that's really gonna hurt and there's just no understanding of that at all that she is the they, reason they're all fucking yeah. dead yeah the first guy like yeah that that was the, the lion stuff that wasn't her fault but it was all the predator deaths it's because she went out to look for it and hunt it knowing what they would do and then she then when they came to before anyone had to die the, she, if she just went back with them and there wouldn't have been that confrontation it's very likely the predator would have just kept watching and seeing what was happening um cuz boy it cuz well we know for a fact the predator would have been much more interested in the french than it would have been in this tribe you know? absolutely all these you know men with guns and stuff there's so much so many more of them and that tribe over there they just got like sharpened sticks and stuff they're not going to be that i mean maybe i'll look to they'll keep an eye on them but man all these mm. all these frenchmen with their guns <sighs> but they show the dogs okay smiles at the dogs okay. the Thank dog's goodness. Fine. that's good i glad Thank the dog is okay so that's happy good. ending yeah um and yeah and so it just um, confirms he's pretty fucking selfish as a character she really only cared about herself like, yeah. uh, and I don't even think that's a harsh assessment. She's literally not thinking about her brother or any of the dead at all. Only thinking Which, about yeah. her own achievements. Honestly, very bizarre. I don't know why they did this. I don't know that that was on purpose, but the problem is, I don't know that all of the decisions with her character were on purpose to the point where she might just be consistently an asshole throughout this whole movie. I'm not actually sure. It's weird. I don't know why they wanted... Like, it must have been an accident, because... Why would you want that for your main character? Why wouldn't you want it to be? I don't think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this, I just didn't, my first watch through, I just didn't pick up a lot of this shit. Yeah. I think it's oh, just yeah. a matter of Damn. typically when you go through your watch through the first time around, because you don't know where everything's leading, it can be hard to keep track of um, all the stuff. Where, like, once, yeah. When you and... know where it's going and you know how it's going to end, you're just looking for different things. And so, yeah, in the case of a second watch through on this film, there's like, it's just a thing you pick up with that character is there is just very little consideration in the film at all for like the consequences of, of what she's everything done, that's yeah. happened. Um, partly what she's done, partly just the actual Mostly conflict what she's itself. Done. Yeah. Well, what I because mean by that is, um, of, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, you want stories to acknowledge when characters have died and what that means to the people that are left behind, you know, who have to keep going on. And this film is just devoid of those scenes. And it's baffling. It's Gordon. It's just the Gordon thing where, where Gordon dies and nobody cares when it demands acknowledgement. In this case, we definitely demand acknowledgement of, at the very least, Tabe, but also, like, everybody else. Yeah. They all died trying to help you. Like, what is wrong with mm. you? You're a horrible person. <laughs> and that you live with them, you know? Like, these aren't random people. You live with them. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... It's... I, as I said, the, when I watched it the second time and took notes... I liked her less and less, and I liked Tabe more and more, and even just kind of the other characters more and more. But my my opinion of her is sunk with a second playthrough, <laughs> watch through. Um, well, as someone just but, highlighted, uh, the, the Rags mentioned this, but yes, she kept the regular gun, not the Predator gun. No, she did not take yeah, the Predator the, gun. The insane <laughs> Predator space age alien technology... She leaves, and but but she brings the pistol back so that we can have a call back to Predator Two. I'm not, dude. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if you, uh, when they were scripting this all up, if it if it was one to one with what we see here, if you told the writer, like, dude, did you forget? Did you forget the brother? I guarantee you, he'd be like, oh shit, yeah, I probably should throw something into that. Actually. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. oh fuck, man, damn. Yeah, which sucks. How? So. How do we, so I guess with the pistol, right? So the implication is that in, in 300 or so years, the Predators are able to get that gun back somehow. 300 or so years? Yeah, for Predator uh, 2. Within, within that time, I they would, get it I back. Would, uh, well, we know where they're going to get it back. They're invading. Yeah, they're coming back, yeah. so. Oh, they're invading. Do you see the end credits? The I, I saw the end of the credits. Some more predators yeah, I, coming. Yeah, I guess that's. Uh, I, I suppose I didn't really know what to think of that. If that was a stylization of them returning one day, or. Yeah, I don't like. I no, I, I it's it's yeah they're coming back. I think that's that's what that they're coming back, and that might be in the sequel. To this I would go as far as saying like they're back because they're like you just killed one of us. Yeah, exactly. Oh. You've uh, you've kind of demonstrated yourselves as being worth our attention. Well, because like, I, like how I found it effect, weird as a comment. Like, hey, human. Hmm. I've, I've seen this comment online where it's just like you took the time, established that gun, and then you let them have it. So you know why don't the predators have it? And I was just sitting like, I don't know. They're gonna get it. Got three hundred years, to get it back. and they're clearly arriving now. I think they're gonna get it back. <laughs> it's gonna yeah. Uh -huh. And it looks predator... like she is keeping it as a sort of thing that she's going to hang on to. So it could be that they kill her and then they take that. I don't see why not. That could that could be that could be you the thing. They could just be she is this selfish of a character, so they could set it up for when she's killed off in the first scene of the sequel. We don't feel too bad about it. You know, what I would prefer to do at this point because I kind of really don't like her. Is Prey Two is like she's heralded as the greatest. You know, hunter tribe. She's even just the chief at this point, but she's way out of her league. Like things are screwing up, things are going bad, and then when the predators finally turn up to try and attack her, she's like fleeing and running and stuff until she maybe has to like really just muster up a bit of strength, but just gets killed, and and they take the gun. Just that sort of like level of look what you've done. But maybe yeah. that's too spiteful. <laughs> she's just trying to come with a different <laughs> plot line. I don't know. So uh, that's but I, I, I really feel like the I I said it in my little reaction like initially I I immediately thought the yeah the climax was a bit anticlimactic and I I, I would have really preferred there to be much more of as I have said a knockdown dragout exchange because you don't just I mean, so I got some comments saying that oh well she earned it at that point she already. Proved this, proved that, proved that. It's like, yeah, but it's not just proving what you can do. It's also showing what doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, I found it wholly unsatisfying. I think the only thing they got right for that ending was just kind of the vibe, if you, if I could even say that, of like the fight being a sort of like this. this the, I don't know. The music is right. It's not well. <laughs> it's it's like the. 
it's it's it thinks it's clever when it isn't it thinks that she's being smart when it none of it makes sense um well, the difference uh, between her being smart and the predator just being an absolute yeah. imbecile yeah it doesn't make her smart to be smarter than something that's like a brick or oh, bricks sorry brick I mean, I don't she's mean smarter than a brick. beaver not sure if the predator <laughs> is <laughs> Well, it's crazy as well because, like, her plan is clearly like the, the to me the big aspect of her plan seems to be the uh, firing its own weapon to its own face. Because if you watch how this unfolds, most of it's just lucky. Like, yeah. she was almost speared to death, but the dog showed. She didn't even command the dog to do anything. It's the dog showed up right in time. If the dog didn't, or the predator didn't give a fuck about a dog, she just got impaled right there and then. It's like, wow. So now you don't get to do the cool run where he stabs himself in your little trap, you don't get to do the part where he chops his own arm off, you don't get to do the part where you, like, go to one-on-one -on -one combat with him, he's just killed you, because... What if he finds his helmet over there, and he's like, that's weird. <laughs> Did you put it over here? Okay. Well, you know, it, you know, it, it auto-corrects, and it just misses him, and she's like, ah, oh, shit. And he's like, oh. Oh. Oh, that was the, the plan you it's had like, there. Oh, man. Now I'm gonna kill uh... you. The one thing that I thought was kind of funny, though, because I noticed the arm getting chopped off so soon in this final fight and thinking, like, oh, that's a really quick handicap right off the bat. Uh, when I was watching all the other Predator movies, one thing I didn't realize initially was uh, in every single one other than the first, the arm Predator's gets arm gets off. chopped off. Yeah. I'm like, oh. That's what that's the subversion that needs to happen in the next movie. You think it's going to get chopped off by something, but it, it doesn't. He moves it away at the last moment or it misses by just a hair. And it chops his leg off and he's like, fuck. Oh, God damn it. At least my mandible didn't get pulled off. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So what do you guys have to say in conclusion on Prey? <coughs> Ooh, it's tough. This one's oh. this one's tough for me. I was way too nice to the movie is what I, th what I figured out. <laughs> I was way too I, uh, nice. <laughs> I think um, my perspective on the film is that um, you have a pretty long list of problems that um, yeah. all on their own could be viewed as minor, but obviously taken all together, deal with some serious damage to the film overall. But at the same time, it's like the film is a matter of minor tweaks, and those minor tweaks would go a long way to making the film better. Yeah, so like there's... what that means mm -hmm. that we have is that we have like a basis upon which we could build something great as opposed to what is usually like an absolutely awful film where it's just fucked. The element and... of is this the fixability of a movie. If this film is very it, fixable. It's extremely yeah, very. fixable. Absolutely. The yeah. the people who made this in a lot of ways knew what to do that a lot of other films just flat out do not even fuck around trying to do. And Mm -hmm. it, it makes it it makes this tough to rate um it's gone down for me but i'm yeah same it's so much to juggle you know um, uh, I'm it's feeling, difficult because i'm feeling pretty you... clear on it at this point because <laughs> especially the seven hour discussion has definitely helped so after i first watched it i was happy to settle on a six um i think i even yeah. said possibly could be up to a seven i could be argued up to a seven and that's why for me it's between well, let's just say one to four is bad, five is mid, and then six to ten is good, right? Like, that's like the most yes. basic way of putting it. So when I said in a tweet, it's good, that's what I'm aiming for, was around about a six. Then I went on Real BBC and, and had a lot of chats about this movie from people who are less enthused by it. And I was like, hey, is this some of these stuff I didn't think about? That's true. Open bar, it was pretty much the same thing. Then I rewatched it with a lot of that in mind. And then after this discussion, I think I'm pretty happy to sit on four. Uh, it's gone down. I'm mm -hmm. thinking around a four to five myself. Um, yeah. Originally, I was also like you. I, I was going with a six. Uh, but on a second viewing, really watching it by myself, taking notes. And I. Oh, yeah, this is this is four to five territory. It's, it's I, such a damn I shame am, because it's so fixable. I genuinely is, missed yeah. a lot of the coincidences in this first time around and I genuinely think it's because of The Predator. I blame that movie for it blinded me to this one because this <laughs> one was like, this is what the baseline should be, right? Uh, but it came across as a almost a miracle compared to The Predator and so I, was, I think I was willing to sort of just 
think more so about the things I was enjoying rather than how everything came together. Because uh, it was, I think, discussions on how different scenes came together, I started to realize, like, man, all the glue is, like, coincidence, 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 coincidence. It's just like, I didn't and realize, And important damn. ones, they're impactful coincidences. Um, well, it's how many coincidences do you need to string up before they amount to a whole? Because I don't yeah. know how many things you would have in this film that are, like, outright obvious. I guess... If you're putting aside, like, stupid shit and fight scenes where it's, like, the world is not reacting as it should, but in terms of mm -hmm. the vast majority of it, it's like, man, that's a stretch. Ooh, that's a stretch. How many stretches do you need to uh, have before they are tantamount to a breach? Um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm basically at a four. Like, I think, um, I think that um, what it does well it doesn't do so well that it would be like a serious counteracting to um to like the problems but at the same time you compare the problems that you have in this film to like you know absolute like fucking dog shit like that there's got to be a way to delineate between a film that is you know i think it's safe to say deeply flawed but has a lot of elements in there that are worthwhile and also like things that could be fixed relatively easily compared to a film that is just riddled from top to bottom, just worthless, like, completely and utterly flawed. And, um, and yet, the articles that was said, like, it's the best one, or that it even comes on par with the original, I would just go as far as saying, like, the original is clearly a movie that people have forgotten how, how good it is, or why yeah. it's so good. Yeah. yeah. More credit, because, yeah, as it stands, like, I guess... I guess the interesting conversation is, yeah, but with that said, is this the best one since the first film? Um, the fact I think there that was a potential fight for this between Predator 2, but at this point... I'm not... At, yeah, I think that the first half of Predator 2 is strong enough that it makes up for a lot of the problems that... Um, I, I When I say makes up, I mean that it puts it over the top. Um, I think so too, yeah. Um, without getting it's also into... very easy... To you go ahead. Super quickly, without I'd like to simplify it so hard that everyone can understand, but at the same time, these numbers don't necessarily mean what they sound like they mean. But when this was at a six, I'd kind of placed Predator Two at sort of a five, maybe five point five, something like that. But when it's got moved down to a four, it's just like, oh, the Predator Two's winning again. It's over because, uh, and that's such a yeah. almost the most robotic way I could put it because half of Predator is Two is good and half is bad as far as I'm concerned. So it's like a five out of ten. It's like the mm -hmm. most simplistic right. way to look at it. Yeah, pretty much. Whereas in this case, it's like, yeah. But this film is like, I guess, more consistent throughout. It's I like think more so. consistently. Whereas there's a drop off in Predator 2. Oh, yeah. Like, Predator 2 hits all... that point and it just tanks into a different I will, movie. I will say, though, the uh, when you hit the. I don't even know if you could call it the third act for this film. The last 20 minutes is pretty bad. Pretty concentrated uh, yeah. bad. Yeah. I agree. Um, Especially on But I guess compared to. Like, compared to, you know, when you've got, like, a straight, like, two-thirds of the film is operating at a general level. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, it could also even be said that, like, the first, the opening part of the film is, like, reasonably decent. Um, I would say so, yeah. Like, up until, up until, um, like, the bear, up until that point, it's like, man, the, really, the main thing that's disappointing about this is, like, decisions that you made in terms of what you want to show, but otherwise, you're building it's... stuff up. It's just that you weren't you you didn't pay it off like you just you just didn't do it yeah i think the real tipping point here was uh when she meets up with a rescue party that's when yes, her in particular so. that's really the point where she in particular drags this movie down a whole lot yeah and like um, i'll just be completely honest i um my mind has been changed quite dramatically since i first watched it and part of my confusion when i, I first so saw too. people reviewing this was like oh i hate her as a main character i remember being like she's not bad what do you mean um, and I just started thinking about it, and I was like, oh shit, yeah, she's kind of an asshole. Are, are our reasons yeah. the same reasons a lot of people would give? In terms of, like, the repercussions and the um, consequences, and how she says things, where she says them? I mean, probably not, like, all of the references, but the, the as was the first person to make me think about it more so. The first one he brought up that made me go, oh, was, like, her just being such a bitch at um, her brother's sort of, like, inauguration as Hunter Man, after he'd saved her yeah. life. It feels like, yeah, that was not well handled in terms of writing that scene. There's a couple of ways you can do it. They didn't do it very well. 
and it seems so obvious what you are, what you should have done. Um, like that doesn't even entail substantially changing the content of your story. Yeah. You know, like, I guess it's worth it because it was a recent movie. Think about Thor Love and Thunder. How do you fix that film? It's like, well, eternity as a concept is like kind of not workable <laughs> at all. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know that we can do anything with that. Uh, yeah. What about like the central arc that the characters are going on? It's like, man, what I don't even know are you, those? <laughs> you, well, yeah, exactly. You that know. you can't even discern what those are. Yeah, I can't like, identify them. Feels like in the case of this film, it's worth highlighting again that there were like clear narrative objectives, like that you can. That not that you can see cynically, like yeah, that's what you were trying to do. You fucking like, as it's more like no, I see what you were trying to do. Like I can see it, but it's not mm -hmm. super complex. It's a little bit like it's you know I in fact it's probably fairly shallow. Um, and it's then, it's, it's just I can see it though. Like I can see the better film amidst this, whereas I don't yeah. see the better film, like Doctor Strange. I don't see it. Other than a totally different story, like a radically different story. If you have like writing band aids that are not huge changes, with just writing band aids, you could really boost this up a lot. Um, yeah, exactly. You don't need to do surgeries or anything like that. Which is the stuff that kind of gets me on the film's side. It's yeah, like, man, and it's, you had something here. Um, it it makes those low points yeah. worse. It makes it that's that's why at it, the it end makes you're like, disappointing. Oh, yeah, you were it does. Oh, why'd you do this? Well, yeah. So, I, 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 when when at the end you're like oh man as opposed to yeah fucking whatever yeah yeah all right yeah, yeah glad that's you. over <laughs> you know, like, I don't yeah it's yeah. You, you get disappointed in a movie because you're like you're better than this you really yeah. are like this is you 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 di you've disappointed me because we've talked we've talked about it what are the oh sorry it sounded like you had something there. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I feel like with a, a lot of the you know uh, the really good Predator movies like Predator One Predator Two to a degree. <laughs> Uh, sure, sure. The more times you watch it, the more things you notice that you you're like, that's cool. I like that. Here, the more times it's like, ah. Well, no. it's it's a it's yeah. a sign of a a good film generally that it improves when you rewatch it because you yeah. start to pick up details that you mm -hmm. I, I you're didn't find difficult to latch onto. Yet. The Tabe effect. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what what? Yeah, what number do you have? Well, I usually go by a five-point system, so I would say about a three out of five. But I think I'd agree with the Lou. Oh, my dog is crying. I haven't fed her. Oh. Uh, I, I think I'd agree with the uh, running consensus here that about a four seems fair. I really like the, like you, know, like you say, the first half is the build-up seems to work pretty well. Uh, and the the look of it all, the just the sense of direction for that. but. Uh, as soon as every, everything should be paying off, things start falling apart. A lot of that is down to the main character's just unlikable decisions and unwillingness to actually consider anyone other than herself. We're, mi we're missing a little bit of the emotional substance where we are, we are a little bit deficient in that in this film. Yeah, there um, doesn't seem to be a lot of attention paid to other people apart from her when she's even with very... her i feel like we're not getting a whole lot of that emotional resonance either like we we're missing this is a film that's quite plot heavy um despite having a very bare bones plot and that there's a lot of focus on what's happening uh and a lot less focus on how the characters are feeling about all of it um which seems like not the correct approach when the story itself is pretty minimal um, yeah. like it's fairly straightforward so that's the opportunity to build character and there's you've just got so many opportunities that weren't seized okay yeah, i i feel like that might be one mm. reason why her brother comes off a lot better on rewatches is number one he cares about people other than himself and number two you really want that he's a, he's a, he's got much more of the regular protagonist traits that people want to see um, but, and I guess, I guess in the case of this film, I don't know that it was their goal to characterize, uh, her the way that they did. Yeah, it's almost, I can't really imagine it was, objective. certainly not. I'm pretty I think sure they she's wanted meant to, make, to be, like, make her determined, but they, they kind of, yeah, made her but just, it's, it's just, you need, and, and the opportunities, they feel like they tie in super well. 
you know, we, we talked about it earlier when her mom said, you don't hunt to like, you don't hunt just to like prove that you can do that. You do it to survive. Why wasn't the arc the shift in realizing that that's yeah. what she needs to do? She needs mm. to actually kill this thing in order to save the tribe rather than prove that she can do it. And in a sense, she earns the right to be like the leader of the tribe because she's discarded her more selfish motivations, her uh, more insular motivations, and they've turned into, you know, she's she has reached the point where she is in a position to lead. Um, yeah. Buried, buried in here, there yeah. is a potential subversive story for a be careful what you wish for scenario. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, when when the impact of the things that you thought you wanted hits the people around you, if you're someone who's never experienced loss and death, and then it really kind of happens and you see how it impacts people around you, all of a sudden what you thought was maybe a fun adventure for honor and, you know, to impress other people becomes like, oh, like, I, I kind of wish things did go back to the way they were. They were safe and familiar and, pe you know, there were, you know, all this carnage didn't happen. And I ain't um, talking in things that just sound crazy to me. Crazy talk. Right. Yeah. And I, yeah. I still I still I, like I, that. Um, people talk about the innocence and like not knowing about death and stuff. And I'm like, ha, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I oh, think I uh, still like um, the uh, <clears throat> what we're having her do throughout the film is just observation and then implementing into her strategy. I think that that could have been made a bit stronger, but like at least it's there. We need to fix like um, personality aspects, not trait aspects for the most part. Um or, or yeah, yeah, like um I get what you mean. We we need to try and dedicate more time to emphasizing aspects of who she already is to make it to I guess lend greater clarity to who she is. Um yeah. Well so next, metal, okay. I think, is next. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave this a six yesterday. <laughs> uh, I think we all did. I almost feel like that was the general vibe. Yeah. The on open bar. I think that's where I was at. Because I, because uh, I covered yesterday on on my own on all my lonesome as as I do on on that forge flame sometimes, and it's like I I was still like on the same page from our first watch. I found some more things. It was like oh, it doesn't really knock it down that much. No, we talked about it extensively, and it's like, oh boy, I was way too nice to that movie. Uh, there's uh, like, yeah, all the characterization stuff. The, obviously, that no one gives a shit about the deaths except the Tabe death, and that's also only just a short thing, and we don't get anything at the ends. At the end, uh, it's like a death by a thousand cuts, basically. Uh, so many small things that you can tweak easily. Just put a scene he here and there, and you can easily get it up to like a five or a six again. But as it stands, it's just like a four. Uh, especially that that end fight, dude. That end fight probably knocks like three points on its own. <laughs> it's like, really it's so unsatisfying. Yeah. It's it so unsatisfying. Much. You watch it and it's like, God damn, what is happening? Like, why oh. did your arm fall off? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? What? What? What the fuck are you doing? Why are you jumping around like a moron? You can just easily catch up to them by foot. You showed it to me, movie. I saw it from. An eagle eye perspective. It wasn't even close. Uh, yeah, why didn't you team up with the Frenchman? This is an easy solution to do for you, or the best solution for you right now. It's like, look at this fucking thing. You know it's here. Shoot, do something. But she doesn't do anything. Doesn't care about the brother really at the end. It's like, yeah, it's, it's really annoying uh, to figure this all out after multiple watches and then discussions. <laughs> it's like, man, this is just getting worse. I was kind of hoping it would get a little better, but it yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Well, um, since we're Coming at back. 7 hours and 15 minutes, uh, the, we're going to probably move the Super Chats portion of this to the Wednesday that's coming up and we can ah. hopefully even uh, get the other half of whatever happened. Uh, luckily, yeah, let's do it. nothing died this time around. I think it's because I actually did get rid of all of the tabs. Ram went back to the I movie. hope, yeah. Woo! That, that oh. shit destroys your memory, those Chrome tabs. Yes. They were um, hungry, it really hungry does. Boys. It really, really does. They are so, hungry boys. But before that, I'd like to thank Mr. Mr. Decker here for hanging out with us. For so hanging out for the whole stream. Fun. Yeah, that's impressive. A lot Legend. of people uh, so don't do that. Um, oh, I have no life. 
Well, <laughs> in that case, why don't you tell people where you don't have a life and where to find all the things you make with your not life, you know? Because, like, I mean, there's a link in the description. It's right at the top. But I, I just sell I yourself review movies. I review movies every Wednesday. I tend to try and do shorter videos, and I get things wrong because I don't have enough time to really dig into it so much. But I do my best. Uh, currently doing the Summer of Leprechaun. Almost finished with that. Have one more Leprechaun movie to review. How are they? Um, How are the Leprechaun movies? <laughs> Uh, th none of them are really good. Oh, but <laughs> but the, the like the high end is a three out of five for the Leprechaun series. What is a what, which is? I've never even seen one of the Leprechaun. Is he just a Leprechaun that kills people? Is that the idea? Yeah, it's a it's a horror comedy where generally Warwick plays a Leprechaun who just kills people and occasionally says Limerick. Sometimes he's in space. Sometimes he's in the hood. It just I remember that. He's yeah. In the hood. <laughs> and sometimes the WWE gets a hold of the series and puts out a generic as hell horror movie and calls it Leprechaun, and I have to review that because <laughs> of posterity. Well, hey, um, and you've got like a bazillion views on your channel, right? You've got a lot of stuff. Oh, you've yeah. got like over, over 450 by now. They could Jeez. probably start with... Um review on uh, The Predator. Or if you guys haven't oh. checked out any of his videos, that's a good one to start on. It's... Oh yeah, The <laughs> Predator. That was, that good was... times. Yeah. But yeah, again, thank you so much for a uh, great rare Anytime. that we get a, a new folk. Well, except for every other Saturday I have a Live and Wired then. Oh, yeah. Ooh, why don't you tell people what that is? What do you get up to on that? Uh, live and Wired is a live show I do every other Saturday, generally just talking about the uh, news in the entertainment sphere, as it were, what's going on online, what's going on in movies, what's going on in video games, and that uh, I, again, try to keep short. <laughs> it's it's an hour show. I cut it down from three because I thought that was a bit much. Um, talking about a movie uh, for three hours is a bit excessive. Yeah, yeah. why would you? We would <laughs> never do that. Nope. That was, that was absurd. That's... Yeah, so it's it's it, 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 live and wired is just a quick little live stream that if you don't catch live, maybe you can catch on a lunch break later. Just enjoy that way. Okay. In in case anyone in this audience likes short things, there's this probably one or two. I think <laughs> people get mad at us when we do a three hour stream, so I don't know. They get very I mean, mad. It's rude. I uh, mean. Well, all right. Uh, again, thank you so much for um coming on, man. Yeah, pretty Everyone, Absolutely. The, the link you to bet. his channel is in the top of the description. Metal. What Lick have you been up to lately? Die. Little shit. Hey, I'm a big shit. Okay, I'm a big poop. Alrighty, big shit. Yeah. Are you? No, a poop I mean, soup? I'm, I'm, I'm a poop soup. Yeah, I made some poop soup earlier today. That was great. Oh man. Yeah. Good, good, good. That poop feels like yesterday when. At the end well, of an poop. EFAP, when you reference something at the beginning of an EFAP, you have to remind yourself that was oh, yes. today. Yeah. Well, for well, me, it, for me it, it was actually yesterday. So. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm already three and a half hours into the next day. Isn't that crazy? You're in the future? Wait, you're in the past. That's right. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm everywhere. I'm yeah. everywhere, everything, all at once, if you will. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god. Don't kill the past. I'm still oh. there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my forge. I did mine on prey yesterday. Uh, I would probably give it a lower score now. That's that's every week. There's already one set up for next week. It's gonna be with meme repository again. I, I know you people love that, uh, but no DC this time. We're gonna, gonna you made me he's making me watch Star Star Trek, uh, the original series. So oh. see how that goes. Uh, I think you wanted to watch the first three episodes or something. Like apparently had three pilot episodes, and he's gonna make me watch those. Uh, so yeah, that should be fun. Uh, other than that, Strumbles on Twitch, and I even even did a did a, did a Strumble on the YouTube's today before I did this, EFAP. So those happen at random times. There's all kinds of stuff happening, and just chipping away on that John Wick script. That movie gets worse and worse every time I go to that script. <laughs> anyway, that's 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 the things. Go, go follow everywhere, or I'll find you. Ah. <laughs> um. Springold, Ragulum. What about you guys? 
Well, I've been uh, just working on this, that, and the other thing. I should have a couple videos out fairly soon. I think they'll line up pretty quickly for this month. And uh, I do hope everyone enjoyed the little chat about the movie. I think it went pretty well. We made it through the whole thing. Hooray. No part twos. Damn. Yeah. Look at us. Don't uh, do. <laughs> it was a short movie and it ended up being that long. We are, we're ballooning. We, it we really are. <laughs> true. It just keeps getting longer. Um, <clears throat> as for me, I'm just, I'm working. I'll, I, hopefully I'll have something to share soon. All right, well, that's it. Um, if anyone follows my Twitter here, you'll know I, I finally mentioned that the new video I'm making is going to be either five and a half hours long or it'll come out in two parts and on production. But I also figure it's worthwhile at this point. The whole reason I don't tell you what I'm working on is just in case problems happen or, you know, video ideas change, whatever. At this point, it's it's coming out this one, so I, I don't mind telling you at this point. Um, but most of you figured it out already, or a lot of you did. You, several people in chat have already said what it is. So, okay, oh just between me and you few people in chat, alright? Secret. It's, it is indeed on the multiverse of man, alright? Go. It's Doctor Strange. I'm going after him. I think, um, I saw someone, like, all of the they were like, they had all the quotes in a row. I think it was like a subreddit post. And um, they were like, <laughs> it makes the most sense because Moller considers this one of the worst, if not the worst movie of all time. It would make sense he would make a video on something like that. But it's like, and he says it's going to be really long, but it's still only about one movie. So it must be something that's really bad. And then they were like, he's also <laughs> uh, been said to have uh, described someone as a brick. Therefore, it's probably a rage. And therefore, that would fit the multiverse. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> these are all <laughs> Congratulations, valid guys. You, you figured it out. That's good stuff. I figured it out because I'm helping on it. Yeah, it's, it's an enormous I figured video. it out because he told me. Um, yeah, yeah. The other thing that I think they pieced together was like he's been talking about the behind the scenes stuff to do with it. Why would he know about all that if he hasn't been looking into it specifically for the video? That's just the like one, yeah. I've discovered behind the scenes stuff about all kinds of things, but you're right in this <laughs> case that I did go searching for more of it because it comes up in the video. It's um I'm very happy with what it is so far. Still plenty of work to do though. So mm. by the time we hit next week, I'll probably be able to tell you when I expect it to release. And I do realize we are actually getting incredibly close to the anniversary now. In, mm. in fact, we are literally two weeks away from the... Oh, wow. Crazy. Someone chat said, I thought Bioshock Infinite. I'm dreading that day because you're not going to make me play that game again, aren't you? I want to get all of happens. you to play it again if I make that video. <laughs> which, which game? Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock I would Infinite. want... That, maybe oh. that'll finally force you to stream, Rex. I, I'd want live and I'd want your commentary. I just want to hear you in pain. That would be interesting. Four years ago, yeah. maybe five years ago, like, hey, play that again. We got to, I got to do something with it. Okay. If Nothing we do happens. it, yeah, I, I suppose I could stream myself playing it. God That'd be a fun little thing to do. You make people do these things for you, and then you don't. Don't even... make me make you stream so. Oh uh, no! What? How bad <laughs> that would be? Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Run, Fringy! He's gonna make you play so much. Okay. So, oh, by uh, the way. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Soma, the writer of Soma, Mikhail Hedberg, is working on, working on yeah. Alone in the Dark. Yeah. Yes, I'm very excited. Which means I now give a shit about I Alone in the Dark. I, I, I said to Mel uh, about that, I was like, oh wow, you made a game just for me? That's nice of you. It's Horace <laughs> yeah. Lovecraft, and it's the guy who wrote Soma. It's like, oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate oh. it. Oh, That's man. very please, of you. Please be good. I just um, want to know what he's been doing this whole time. Just chilling. Well, he's, he's got an IMDb, it'll inform you of all that probably, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see him yeah. work on a full-on story for a horror game. I yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's been quite a while, I'm already feeling the sleep tism, so I'm going to just go ahead and say thank you all for joining us for this wonderful run-through of a, this little movie. Um, yeah, thanks! Thanks for keeping us company, yeah. thank you for the kind, kind donations, we're going to get to all of them on Wednesday. Um, and I suppose, yeah, we'll just see you then. Good night, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next one. See you. Bye. 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 Womp flumes. <laughs>